Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Morning, good morning. If this was a vet, I think we'd all have to be, I don't know, because I'm coughing and spluttering. Claire's coughing and spluttering. Uh, Anna is, Bruce is. How are you doing? Cat's fine. Cat's fine for now. Anyway, morning, morning, morning. I've got so much to tell you today. Um, first of all, I've got my electronic probes. If I, if I go all a bit funny, I can shove those up my nose and stop me sneezing. Um, let, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just launch the early bird and I'll chat to you while we're doing that. So today's early bird. Oh, not late in lighting yet. I don't know why that's come up. Ian, let's see how many times we can blame Ian today, because there'll be a lot of them, I think. Here we go, here we go. It should be £2.49, this lovely little panel. It's not going to be £2.49 today. It's Henry Glass BU panel. 30 by, I don't know why it's 31 centimetres. 30 by 31 centimetres. £1.49, pence. that check. Get this, do your post and packaging, and that's you done for the day. Then you don't need to worry about that at all for the rest of the day. It's really cute, isn't it? I'll let you have a look at it. Be positive, just be, be you, be sweet honey, farm fresh honey, be happy, home sweet home, be kind and be the queen, be the queen. Right, while you're checking out on that, I need to tell you a few things. Yesterday I received my Christmas card and my Christmas present from Steph, they're up here, they, they sent them... Last year, remember we, they, uh, we, when we moved from Ivy House and everything? So I know it was a bit bent when it got here. So I got my two cards. Thank you very much indeed. So one's from Jan and family. One's from Steph. And then Steph sent me a gingerbread man. 
So thank you very much for my Christmas cards and my Christmas presents. Also, now, if you don't do Facebook, you won't know about this. So I'll do, I did a Facebook like, yeah, that can stay, that can, that's that. This, is, this isn't for sale today, but I just want to say, this is my book, right? This is my book. John Scott's Threads of Life. It was supposed to go on pre-order on Sunday and will sell it the following Sunday. It's changed now because you can buy it from this Sunday. Two days' time, you can buy it this Sunday. It's lovely cover, isn't it? And you get a free... Now, yours will be signed. Free signed photo as well with that. So I just want to tell you, that's going to be available on Sunday morning. It'll be on... Um, Pre-order at 7.30 and then we're doing it live at 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. Just so you know, just so you know, because a lot of people won't have seen my Facebook Live last night. So, let's carry on with the early bird. Here we go. £1.49. Graphics back in. <coughs> okay, now that's supposed to be the finished price, but Hannah's in one of those moods today. She's pretending it's her last day like Kat was yesterday. Didn't take the cat long, did it, to put on Facebook. Cat has left Sewing Street and is now working a hobby maker. We're going lower. We can't go. The machine won't let us go lower than a pound. If she could, she would. How much is it? One pound, one penny. Everybody who's checked out already, you will now pay one pound and one pence. I know. I'd use a hanky. In fact, I'll keep it here just to be on the safe side. I'll overlock the edges. One pound and one penny. It's yours for a pound and a penny. Now, if you multi-buy, they don't come join together. You can uh, make little coasters. You can make key rings. You can do what you like. Loads and loads and loads have gone so far. One pound and one penny. While, uh, while you're looking at that, I, I, oh, I have to hold it, don't I? Um, I've got some messages. I'll just use some messages. There's loads of messages. Margaret says, good morning. Uh, Patricia says, love you from Blackpool. Claire says, good morning, John. Hope you're feeling better. I'm, I, I'm not better, but I'm a different to where I was yesterday. Emily says, happy Friday. Uh, Donna says, good morning. Jan, the other Jan. Hang on, all the messages are gone. Uh, good, I hope the fay fever is better today. It's not. I've got an appointment on Tuesday to see the doctor. Trudel says, morning, John and team. Hope you're feeling better. Hilary says, good morning. Michelle says, good morning. And oh, Jill says, um, I blame Rebecca Reed for all the colds that you've got. Mine's not a cold. Mine's definitely hay fever. It's not a cold. Uh, Kath says, morning, John. It was lovely surprise to see you last night. Oh, but didn't I look rough, Kath? Didn't I look awful? Uh, June says, morning, dentist at the moment. Don't do anything exciting without me. Uh, Veronica says, morning from Grimsby. Kat says, morning, John and Stone Street. I hope everyone gets better soon. I cannot read to, wait to read your book. Thank you. You're very kind. Pound and a penny. Oh, I didn't realise you had to still. <laughs> keep keep going through keep going through keep going through right it's about to sell out oh it's sold out it, I, can, I can't need to tell you right it's sold out but there's 100 people got it in their basket so 100 people are going to miss out I shouldn't have taken it to a pound a penny but now they're sold out I can have it smell my hanky now that's good right shall we have a look at today's menu <coughs> Here it is. Eight o'clock. Now they haven't put. Oh, this was Cat, right? Cat, right? Native lighting with Claire. She forgot to put with Claire on it, right? Nine o'clock. Rainbow Blooms quilt with Alice Caroline. Forgot to put Anna Sanders on there. Shall we show a picture of the Rainbow Bloom quilt, please? Oh, okay, I've got a picture of it. I thought we were going to show a picture of it. Sorry, Claire, we just brought you up. Oh. Then you could have been scratching your nose or anything, <laughs> couldn't you? So the Claire, the Claire that's on the wall, the, the quilt that's on the wall is what we've got to come up with. That's kind of right. A quarter to today's stock has already gone. We, you're buying the bottom row, remember? The bottom row. At 10 o'clock, we've got Rib Liberty Riviera Fabric Collection. 11 o'clock. And William Morris, yeah. Summer Sampler with Anna Sanders from Alice Caroline. And then 12 o'clock, we've got Books and Pre-Cuts. Well, it's mainly pre-cuts, but a few books. And there's one that I've got to remind Hannah to crash on. So remind me in the 12 o'clock, seems a long way away, in the 12 o'clock hour that Hannah's got to crash on one of them. Right, uh, now, uh, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is on um, the website. No, no, not the website, the email. 
studiooutsidestreet.com, studiooutsidestreet.com. The next way is by Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out. Michelle says, morning, John, can't wait for your book. Cheryl says, morning, still in bed, but planning to start painting a new fence today. And then the third way is on the website, www.sidestreet.com. Uh, go, go to the website <coughs> and you click on watch the show live. Is it not working? Okay, our internet's playing up. Um, oh, that's a shame, because I wanted to show you the, the pre-order. We're just, we're just waiting to see if we can go to it. It's not the website, it's our internet here not loading. I'm blaming, blaming Xena Princess Warrior. Oh, it's a man with a little girl walking past underneath there. Oh, she's not impressed. She's not impressed. She's like, yeah, keep moving. Um, any, any, is it working? Got a fabulous show. Here we go, here we go. So you go to the website, click on watch live. That's what you see, there's a box on the right hand side there. Write your message in there and it'll come on my bottom later. And then if you scroll down the page, oh, early bird sold out. Native lighting in the first hour, always very, very popular. Then we've got row three, finishing rows, two, four. We haven't got one, we haven't got one. If you've not got one, you've missed out. Then we move on to some Liberty Fabric, Liberty Patterns, William Morris Fabric, Limited Editions, <coughs> Bundles, Fabric, gorgeous, lovely. We've got the Bumblebee Quilt. Then we've got the William Morris Bits and Bobs, lovely William Morris Fabric from Moda there. What's that one in the middle there? What's that one in the middle? No, go down, go down. Oh, it's a, I can't see, because no, you don't, Hannah, our screens here are black. We can't, we can't see it. Glasses case, that is. Oh, there, that's also a glasses case. That's a tray there. <coughs> Manicure set. Oh, the William Morris fan. Then we've got the Alice Caroline summer one. Beautiful, isn't it? And then we've got books and we've got pre-cuts. Now, which is the book you're going to crash? So when we come to do this one, right? That will not be the price that you see on your, there. so how much is that is there? 18.99, it will not be 18.99, we're going lower. Pre-cuts, 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 bundles, pre-cuts. Oh, and then a couple more lamps, which will be on at eight o'clock, not at 12 o'clock. And then we go home, then we go home. Oh my word, what a day, what a day. So should we start? Hello, Claire. Hello, John. Now, Claire's got a cold. She's not got a hay fever. She's no. got a cold. <laughs> what a mess we are, aren't we? <laughs> um, how are you? I'm good, thank you, apart from this horrible cold. And you've been um, flitting all over the country, haven't I you? I have, yes. So we recently launched in the beauty industry. So I've been on all the beauty shows and uh, off to Glasgow tomorrow to another one. So, Lovely. Yeah, burning the candle at both ends. <laughs> exactly. But it's all worth it, isn't it? it Young is, company yeah. doing well, thriving. <laughs> right, so which one do you want to start with, Han? The upsy downsy lamp, please. Upsy downsy <coughs> lamp. Okay, so this is called the reverse light, but yes. John John loves to call it the upsy downsy light. So this is a brilliant little light uh, to use particularly through the summer. Um, it's rechargeable, and once it's charged up, it will last for eight hours. So what you've got here is you've got your on button, and we've got two different lights with this one. We've got the, the white light here, and yeah. then when you turn it over, it changes to warm light. It's not no. always that easy to see um, on the screen. No, it's in it. real life. It's very obvious in yeah, real life. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's also got a little handle on, on here, so you can like, lift it up with the, with the handle. Um, it's brilliant for, say, if you're going camping, to use on your patio furniture in the garden. You can take it on your holiday and you sit outside on your balcony and use it for that. Um, it's festival season coming up, so obviously take your charger and, and keep it charged up and, and, and use it for festivals. It's just a lovely, lovely little light. Um, on here, you can see you've got the, the on button and then you've also got a dimmer switch here. So you just run your finger up and down and then that dims uh, all the way down and then you run it back up to get back up to the, to the brightness there as well. This has always been a really popular light on Sewing Street and every time we've had it, it's sold out. So we've managed to get some more back in stock. Also, can I just point out to split pay? Three-way split pay. So you'll only pay 21.33 today and we'll send it to you if you want to take split pay. No interest charge whatsoever, just the, the price is split three different ways. Yeah. So, so that's the reverse light, and uh, just again, so just see if you can, you can actually, you can see, I think, a little bit on there. 
And you can do half and half if you and lay it on lay, its side yep, as so well. So if you lay oh. it on its side, then you get half half of a warm light and half half of um. You can see the cold. There. What do yeah. you call it? I was calling it the cold. So day. it's daylight. <coughs> it's actually, the daylight. It's I've daylight. got one of these. I have it in my office. So when I do my Facebook lives, it lights up the back of the room for ambiance. I've also got a big. I was saying yesterday when Kerry was on, I've got a big Indian bowl. No, not Indian. African bowl. Um, that I keep the wreath in that she made just there and that's got a hole in the middle and I sit yeah, that in the middle, in the middle so it lights it. up and I also keep it in the garden now in the evenings because if you're sitting out in the evening like you were saying yeah. rather than candles you can have that and it's really really lovely and it does last for eight hours on full what's it yeah. but Vic uses as a nightlight for um, Maisie and she said it lasts yeah. way more than eight hours when she puts it in Maisie's room and lots of people uh, use them as bedside lights as well so you have the white light on when, when you maybe want to read and then have the, have the warm <laughs> light on for ambience later on uh -huh. and um, so yeah lots lots of different things you know power cuts ideal keep it charged up yeah. if you've got that dark cupboard you want to be able to look into and that's what native have tried to do is to not just have lights that are, you can use for your crafting <coughs> but lights that are useful for other things as well oh yeah life. definitely and the bright light is really really bright um now the charger it's a usb one this one yeah isn't it? it's a us it comes with them um, with the charger so you just either plug it into a plug and then put it into the mains or into a power pack so if you're camping and you haven't got power just take your power pack oh, and keep that charged up message and from you your partner oh. business partner or lovey dovey partner i don't know what does it say oh no, no i don't think your partner wants row one available no <laughs> here we go uh we um, are using ours at Le Mans this weekend. Cause a bit of interest in the campsite. Nick, <laughs> Claire's partner. Oh, right, yeah. He's, a, yeah. he's busy at Le Mans this weekend. Is he working or just having fun? No, he's just having fun. It's actually, it was his 50th birthday present, but didn't make it for COVID for two years. So it's two, two years later. And he didn't take things to take you with no, him? Well, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Oh, that's nice. So there you go. So um, <coughs> what's he called, Nick? Nick, Nick yeah. is using it in Le Mans at the moment. Fantastic, 63.99, three split papers. Of 21.33, oh, Hannah's got a strange question. Oh, yeah. is the handle only one on, on one end of the reverse yes, light from Yes, it Riva? is. It's, on, it's when you'll be using it in the warm light, it's on, it's on that side. Not strange, Reva, it's just Hannah saying it strangely, <laughs> that was all. Message from Karen, I have this light and it's been a godsend for my daughter who suffers from chronic migraine and one of her triggers is light. Oh, oh Karen, even yeah. thought, don't even yeah. think of the med. I mean, obviously we can't make medical no. thingies, but that's nice to know that. Yeah. But I'll send her our love as well. Oh, well, actually be good for me with my hay fever because I kind of bright lights on, he says, standing under <laughs> hundreds of bright lights, but kind of bright lights are on with my hay fever. Right, we'll move on then, move on. Okay. Which one Torch you now, oh, I love oh, this, this I love this. Okay, right, this is called the two-in-one travel lamp. Yep. This, again, is an ideal lamp <coughs> for if you're uh, going to be travelling, so small enough to pack in your suitcase to take away with you, take to the campsites, take to festivals. So this is actually a, a two, it's got, you've got two functions with this lamp. So you've got it as a desk lamp, so you just lift it up there, and then you just switch it on here. So you've got different colours of light on this one. You've got warm light, cool light and daylight. So just tap it to go to the different colours. There. There's a real, uh, from here I can see, see there's a massive difference, isn't colours. there? Yeah. yeah, so you've got your warm, your cool and your daylight. When you get to the colour that you want, keep your finger on and then it will dim it down. Take your finger off and then it will take it back up to the Oh, to, to I didn't the know I could do that. As well, I knew I could one. change the light on I mine, didn't, didn't realise you, could, you could zoom it up and down. No. No. And then if you want to be able to use it as a torch, just close it down and that automatically will switch it off. And then you just tap it twice and then you get the, the torch. So you're able to have a torch as well. So I, again, an ideal light for so many different things. So you can use it for, for your crafting. And then lots of people said that they use it to go down to the greenhouse at night to water the plants and find their way oh, through wow. and things like that. So lots of different different um, ways of, use, of using these lamps. Well, we don't have street lights in our village. So if I have to go to the village hall for a meeting or anything yeah. like that, and again, I know it's going to be dark. I take you mine take with me as well, yeah. Me. But you, you might not be sitting here in the studio. It's a really, really bright, the, the torch is a really, really, really bright yeah. light, isn't it? It's not a fee, you know, you can buy some torches. You think, oh, I can't. It's a really powerful, powerful torch. This is one of our, uh, well, you'll tell me if yeah. I'm wrong, but this is one of the most popular lights it here is, at Tone yeah. Street, isn't yeah. it? 
This one and the reverse lights, yeah. um, and then our floor, our Lumina floor lamps, they've always been the most popular here at Sewing Street. I think with this one, the two-in-one travel lamp is so small and compact, and again, once it's charged, it lasts for eight hours if you've got it on the, the brightest setting. And it's a USB charger and this again, one as well. It's yep. a USB. <laughs> right, here we go. Morning, John and Claire. I have the travel light, and it's great. I love it from D in Suffolk. And they go, morning, great to join you. I love the travel lamp. I use it to add extra light when I'm machine sewing, but easy to carry into another room for hand sewing from Emma in West Yorkshire. Uh -huh. There you go, see? <coughs> they it? are popular. We've sold hundreds and hundreds yeah. and hundreds of yeah. them, haven't we? Yeah. 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 And look at the price as well. $45.99. For you get the two lights over that. But look at the split pay. Three split pay at $15.33. So, I mean, the thing is, you kind of think, oh, well, I could, do, I could live with that. I could, but actually, once you've got it, because yeah. mine's on my desk, right? And I, I literally will flip the top up if I just want to light while I'm working. But then, also, I have it by the back door, you know, kind of at night time, because it's so dark where I live, I need to pop out yeah, or anything. Or if I go looking for the cats. I was just going to say that, if you're looking for the cats. <laughs> yeah, and, oh, my nightmare they are. Uh, and where have you got yours, Hannah? Next to her bed, because she reads using it. And she's got a downstairs bathroom. So instead of putting all the lights on and waking Steph up, because he'll moan like nobody's business, moans about aeroplanes, moans about headaches, moans about what... I, I, I have to say, though, put, this is Steph, um, Hannah's boyfriend, right? They went, they've just been to Portugal. And she was telling me all about it, and I thought, it sounds idyllic. She said, yeah, we're going... Uh, what's that thing where you stand on a paddle board and we're going swimming, we're going this, we're doing that. And I talked to Steph like that and she went, he's not been in the swimming pool since he was 15. <laughs> and no, he doesn't like the water. So I was like, nice choice of holiday. Anyway, she put a picture of Instagram and we've been walking along like this. And I said, he looks happy. And she went, yeah, I think so. <laughs> anyway, so downstairs toilet or anything like that if you don't want to wake up the rest of the people in the house. It's perfect. Yeah. I mean, for, for, and it's stylish as well. It's not like one of those clumpy old ugly torches or anything. It's going to look lovely because you have it as a lamp in your house and everything. 45 99 or three split payments of £15.33. pence. Next. A lovely split pay because that's really good. We send it to you after you paid the first payment. So today, what day is it? Friday. If you buy, these come from us, don't they? they these do, lamps, yeah. yeah. So if you get that today, <coughs> pay your fifteen thirty-three. Uh, we'll, it, we'll send it out straight away. We'll send it out to you straight away. You don't have to pay all three before we send it out to you. Next, floor lamps. I've got you. those. I've got those. Right. Are you doing white or black first? Black first of all. Now it's re it's really really weird because the very very first show we did together. Black was the total, total, the most popular in everything. Every lamp was black, 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 black. So when we came to the next one, I was like, oh, well, the black ones will be the most popular. And then really the next show the was completely the opposite. The yeah. next show, the white ones flew out. So it's really what you want. Now, I can say, now this is a bit, when I watch, I'll do that. When I watch a shopping channel, right, I hate it when the presenter goes, oh, yes, I've got this, I've got that. Because you go, like, how many lawnmowers can you have? How many food presses can you have? Right, I've got the uppy downy light. I've got the two-in-one torch light. And I've got this one. I've got this one. And this one sits in my office. You know when I do my Facebook Lives? It sits on that side of my desk. So the actual um, lamp comes up over that desk because you can move it. Look at this. But also, well, I'll tell you in a minute why I can use it. I don't have to keep reaching over and pressing to switch it on. So they're $119.99. Let me just move the white one out of the way for a minute because we've got them in both colours. But the black one is the most <laughs> limited, right? I'm going to lift it up onto the desk so you can see what it looks like, right? So, this comes in the, the slimmest box. When mine arrived, I was like, well, they sent me the wrong lamp. Doesn't it? Because it comes <laughs> yeah. in the slimmest box like that. The only bit of assembly you've got to do is you've just got to screw this to this. And the screw comes with it. And then you've just got to... There. There's a little bit there where that one just fits into that one there. That's all you have to do. It's ready to go. Right, now let me turn it round. I'm doing your job here. That's You're fine, right. no. Okay. <laughs> right, I can tell you because I've got it, right? I'll just bring that down because I'll show you this. Here is your, um, what would you call it? It's control. Control, Panel. right? Control. So you've got your power on and off there. Just a touch, like, like, see, like that. Now, what have you got here? What's the first one down? Because I can't see it on mine. It's colour. Colour, right? So on here, let me just put that over the... Right, let me put it, stretch it over to you. Okay. And we'll put it over... If we, teamwork, right? Let me put it back. Is it on? Yep. Yep. Sorry, Claire. I was going to show it onto the table like that. So if you can go upstairs, Bruce... Right, I can show you now the different colours. Look, can you see changing on the table? Look. So there's five different colours. 
Uh, why do you need different colours? Well, I suppose for matching and, and for so, things yeah, like that. The, so you? the daylight setting is what people would use if they're matching colours, um, and that gives you the, the, the most clarity. Um, some people find that, um, that, that a very bright daylight lamp is a little bit too much for their eyes, so they might want to use the, the cool light or the warm or the warm light. And because each colour has got five different brightnesses, there's 25 different settings on yeah, this Yeah, that's lamp. what I was going to show you next, you see. So the next button down is, look, they've got each... So I'm in one colour there, but look at all the different... Look at the... Can you see? The brightness is there. So I've not changed colour in that one. There are five different settings. So like Claire just said, there are actually 25 settings of this lamp. Now, I'm going to go back here. What I love about this is I've set mine up for my Facebook Lives and to work at and everything like that. When you switch it off, when you switch it back on the next time, it comes to the setting that you've set it yes. to. So you don't then have to go, oh, which one did I have? Did I have a hot one? Did I have a cold one? Did I have one? Three, four, five. It comes <laughs> back on. But the biggest joy, right, as I just said to you, mine's over there behind the table. When you buy the black lamp, you'll get a black one of these, but I've got the white one here, right? You get a remote control. I know, so I can switch mine on and off from stay, sitting in my place. Or if you're in the lounge and you want to switch it on across the room, you can do. So on here, you've got your on off button. You've got your timer, you've got a 60 second timer and a 10 minute timer. Here, you can change the color. Here, you can change the brightnesses. Here, you can put it to a night light. Here, if you just want to set it to 20%, 50% to 100%, you can do. Then here, you've got warm light, cool light, and mix light. So you can do all of that from sitting in your chair. You don't have to move at all. It comes with a battery yeah. already, so you have to worry about getting a battery. And it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Because like I say, mine's the other side of the table. So I literally go to my office, sit down, pick this up. Uh, has this one got batteries in or not? Oh yeah, there you go. Look. Now look at the split pay. It's 119.99. Three payments of 39.99. The amount of people who've bought this who absolutely love it. Yeah. Because it's just, and the other thing I haven't really shown you is uh, so it's not clicky. There's no um you know normally on a gooseneck you can feel the Yeah, the vertebrae. The vertebrae yeah, within it. it. This is as smooth <laughs> as anything. But also sometimes the vertebrae you go click 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 click. That's me making that noise. That's not the lamp, right? But <coughs> If you have it at the table, have it like that. You want it on your sewing machine, really close in on your on your stitches, you can do that. But also, just for ambient lighting in, you know, like in a lounge. Oh, I'll just switch it off. Oh no, I've unplugged it. Um, <laughs> hang on a second. Uh, the other thing that's really good for as well is um, a lot of people say that sometimes people complain when they're working in the lounge because the lights affect, affect the <laughs> yeah. television. So it's it's so directional on just you and what you're working on. So you can bend it, you can bend it down to just your project, and yeah. then the light doesn't spill anywhere else. So look, it can be against the wall like that. You can change the colour. Is it going to work? Yeah, there you go. Change the colour, change the brightness, all from your armchair. And you can, like you say, if you're working on the table and someone else is watching yeah. the telly, it doesn't spill out all over the place. It's just a real. Oh, in fact, Let's put it back on your table. And the other thing is with the with the floor lamps is if you sometimes work in an armchair or a sofa and then sometimes work at a table, it, it's really functional for both because yes. you can just move it so it's light enough. <coughs> to just, it's got a heavy base, obviously for weight, but it's light enough to be able to move around. Well, look like yeah, exactly. I'm just lifting it up down. Also, the thing I love is the base here. I keep unplugging it. The base here is sturdy, but it's slim. So if you are working on the sofa yeah. or you are working on an armchair, that can slide right underneath your armchair or your sofa. So you can have it right next to the arm of the chair. I've only got how many left to your hand? Less than 15 of these now. Less than 15. Oh, question. Hi, can you tell me how wide the base on the floor lamp is, please, from Christine? Do you know that off by heart? I don't hearts? know that one off by heart. <laughs> I have... Eight, eight and three quarter inches or 22 centimetres. And it'll be the same round because it's a circle. Yeah, it's yeah. A circle, yeah. Thank you. Next question. Got the white one now. So it's, it's exactly <laughs> the same. <coughs> but in the white, you're right. Yeah. Exactly the same, but in the white. So it just depends what you want, doesn't it? Yeah, 119.99, split pay of 39.99.
Quick goes right, hi, this one, doesn't it? It's gone up into the rafters. There you go. The thing is, the thing also about the, the gooseneck. Yeah, the goose. I was going to say turtleneck then. I was thinking that's, <laughs> that's a jumper, isn't it? Um, is you can bend it to wherever you want, right? And it just stays. Look, it's yeah. not, and it doesn't ever go. You kind of think sometimes I have mine on quite a funny angle to get to the computer and things. And you think, oh, in a minute, it's going to start going like that. But yeah. it doesn't at all. Yeah. It just stays where, where you, you want it. it. Yeah. And that, you can make it quite artistic as well. Yeah, I mean, that's quite, that was quite a big thing for, for Native. When I used to spend a lot of time talking to people at exhibitions, and that was a big thing. People used to say, you can never get the light where you need it, and it'll never stay there. Yeah. So that's why we had this gooseneck designed, to be able to give everybody the, the light that they needed and to make sure it stayed where The it thing was. about your lamps as well is they, they look beautiful, so it's, they're aesthetically pleasing, but sometimes if you go for the beauty, you don't get the brains, if you know what I mean. You know, but... You, that happened with you, Hannah, yeah. So Steph's gorgeous, but he's got no brains. Oh, you meant you. Oh, she meant her. She meant her. Oh, no, because you're gorgeous. Ah, uh, 119.99. But, but basically, they, they're aesthetically pleasing and they do the job you want them to yeah. do. So I know if you're going to pay £120, you want it to do the job, don't you? This, I can vouch for it because I've got this one as well on the other side of my desk at home. And if you watch my Facebook Lives on the Sunday, you'll see it there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Right, let's move on. Where are we going next then, Han? Magnifying clip, please. Oh, okay. This one. So we have a range of magnifiers in the range, but today we've just bought a couple to, to show you. So this is a nice little handy one. This is a magnifier that you can actually clip on. So you've got the clip here that opens to about six centimetres. Right. You've got little cushion pads in there to protect furniture. Uh -huh. um, if you work maybe on like a lap tray or if you um, use like a stitching frames that are on the floor it clamps onto that as well this is rechargeable and you've got the light on here so um you keep your finger on it to dim it <coughs> down right and this one's got a magnification of 1.3 on there so we've got some little beads here so um let's see if we can Right, um, Margaret right. says, I bought the chameleon magnifier lamp. Do you do a similar one without the magnifier? Because I need it as a bedside lamp. Lynn says, morning, you're looking good. Lynn, you need to get to the um, spec savers. Uh, Ruth says, good morning. Good Everyone says, good morning. That's brilliant. Now, so, so is this the chameleon one, this one? Um, no, this one isn't. This is called the clip-on magnifier. Oh, clip-on magnifier, the right. The next one we're going to do is the chameleon one. Just so. need to do this. <laughs> Where's, uh, that too oh, far, Bruce? There you go. There, there you go. go. There you go. So you can see there that we've got some beads. So yeah. then if I go over, then you can see how much they actually magnify once once we come out. So Oh wow. Although this is actually only 1.3, it still gives you quite a large la large magnification. Whereas the next one I'm going to show you is a three times magnifier. So that one magnifies even more. Okay. So um, this one here is called the uh, white clip on magnifier. It's 31.99. Three split pays of ten pounds sixty six. If you want to take, you don't have to take. You don't have to take the split pay if you don't want to. But if you want to spread out your spending over the months, then that's the easiest way to do it. Ten pounds sixty six today, then ten pounds sixty six a month, then ten sixty six the following month. It's yours, but it's sent to you when the, this we get that first ten sixty six. And again, it's got the gooseneck, so obviously you can you can you can angle it. Um, some people use this in front of their sewing machines because if they're struggling a little bit with being yeah. able to see the needles, so that they'll clamp it on and then and they have it near the sewing machine as well. Brilliant. And then you've obviously got the light on there as well, so it's not as bright as it can be at the moment because it, it needed to be a bit charged a bit longer. Oh, okay, so, that one's yeah. we've only charged yeah. that up a little bit for this yeah. morning. But that one needs. Does to it have a clippy light on the a switch on the side as well, or does it just no, have that, that one's one? Just got the. No, no, that's good because the one with the thing on the side I've got one and not one of yours before I met you and for ages thought it wasn't working and uh, I didn't realise there was another, another a secondary switch, switch at the side yeah. Yeah. single figures on this one now single figures so again yeah that's that's a really popular one if you just need a little magnifier now and again maybe you don't need it all the time yeah. but if you're working on something quite intricate then you might need to do Mary's that. got this attach the headboard so good when confined to bed Mary oh Mary <laughs> do you do your hand stitching in bed or did you see how many sugars you're putting in your tea? <laughs> um, so that's magnifier with lamp, but and it's a clip-on one. Yes. There's four left. Four of those left. That's it. That's it. Let's it. Four of those. I mean, we will get more. I promise we'll get more. But for today, we've only got four left. Okay. Would you like to go to this one next, then? 
And the chameleon one. It's me pointing, she can't see me. Yeah, that, that one next, please. Okay, yeah. right. So this is the one that Margaret's got then. She was just yes. saying, I bought the chameleon magnifying lamp. Do you have a similar one, but without the magnifier, because I need one as a bedside lamp? Yes, so I can show her that in a moment. Okay, lovely. So we just, if we just do this one first. Now, you see, Hannah will prefer this one, because she's got this, not phobia, it's a proper thing you have to think about. Is she, she, because she's frightened that the, she's going to leave the magnifier out. The sun's going to come, not the sun ever shines in her house, but the sun's going to come through the window, shine through it and set fire to it. Now, I'm not saying that that's, <laughs> she saw a modern, an episode of Modern Family and she's been worried about it ever since, right? Oh, okay. Whereas this one has a cover on top of the magnifier. This one has a cover. So yeah. you can use this as a light or you can use this as a magnifier. Yeah. Um, so obviously you just you put, the, put the lid up and down here. Yeah. Uh, then you've got your on switch in the middle. And this one's also got three <coughs> different colour settings. Right. So it's on warm at the moment, then it's cool, and then that's your daylight setting. Again, there's a, re it's a real sometimes difference. you look at lamps, you go warm, cut, and you're like, I can't see any difference. That's yeah. like a major, major change, yeah. isn't it? So you, you, can, you can see that there. And then each colour, again, has got three different brightness levels. So nine, nine settings on, on this one. OK, I'm going to ask a question that we get every single time. What happens if the bulb goes? So these have got all LEDs in, so right. LEDs don't ever need replacing and you <coughs> never actually have a bulb that, that goes. So all our lamps are guaranteed for two years, right. so it, it's, they're so much more efficient LEDs and it's very rare that they actually So it's not a working. light bulb, but it lights up like a light bulb? Yeah, so LEDs are lots of tiny little lights uh, right. around here, they're all sort of like, there's a ring of them around here. Right. Um, so they just work completely differently. Are all of your lights that then? Yeah. None of them need a light bulb? No, none of my lights need a light bulb. So if there's an issue, they can get, not that there will be, but they can get in touch with you, mm. they get in touch with yours, get in touch so with us. So they get in touch with Sewing Street and then Sewing Street would contact me and then I'd organise to replace it if there, if right, there was any issues. But if anyone's got any questions, you've got, you don't sell the no. lights on your website, but you've got a website that people can go to to look at and yeah. up contact you and things and e like that. And email me, yeah, and send questions. Or you can send them in via Sewing Street and they'll, and they'll forward them on to me. Another thing to maybe mention at the moment about the lights is um, LEDs are much more efficient and use much less electricity. So Which that's is what we need. Really good at the moment. And a lot of our lights where they're USB powered means that you maybe have a laptop or a sewing machine that you can power your light from. It <coughs> means you're only using one source of electricity. So you're not having to plug in a lamp and plug in sewing machine or laptop. So that's another thing to consider as well with the USB powered lamps that you are using one less energy source, so so less power. I am. Um, we it's a light we haven't got today, but I've got a uh, the the um the, the clamp clamp the slim, light the slim, slim clamp. the slim line clamp light right, and that I have that plugged into my computer the side of my computer USB all the time. So when I finish working the computer, switch the computer off and the light switch is off, so I don't leave leave a light on by accident or anything like that. You must be so lit up, John. That, well, it's <laughs> also in the, on, it's also in the top. Is it, if you look at my house, it's in that top window there. And every, you can see everyone looking up at night time. <laughs> Are the magnifying lenses glass or acrylic, as I have managed to scratch the one I ha have while sewing? Reva! Are yours glass or acrylic? Um, it depends which one. So this, this particular one is, is acrylic. Right. Um, and, and the small one. But our larger ones, they are glass, actually. So. And when, how far through the, I know you're developing <coughs> a floor lamp magnifier aren't you I am. how far off are we that then um it's going to be here and sewing street got exclusivity for that oh as well so it's going to be here august oh august so, fantastic uh, yeah so Brilliant. um yep yeah, so because lots of people have asked, asked they have that, and they? that's obviously why obviously I've had lots of you um sending messages in saying you know are you going to have one so i've sourced one I wasn't very happy with what was available, and uh, then I've actually designed my own, and um, had it had some changes made to it, and so it'll be here at August time. So. Fantastic! <laughs> now look, this lamp is forty two ninety nine. Again, look at the split payment fourteen thirty three three times. So if you don't want to splash out the forty two ninety nine, just want to splash out fourteen thirty three, then by all means do that, and then it'd be fourteen thirty three for two months after that. You pay your P and P on the first one as well. Can we just what? Add? Do you want to look at the magnification? Oh yeah, let's look at the, let's look at the magnification, yeah. then I'll do that. Okay, so this one is the, the, the one that's on uh, three times. So yeah. this one is gonna be, you can see. Enormous. Almost difficult to see because it's so magnified there. Fantastic, and that's three times. That's three times this one. So this is the highest magnification yeah. we've actually got. So if you've been struggling to thread your needles, um, struggling to sort of see your cross stitch, anything like that, 
a lot of people have said to me that they had to give up their crafts because they couldn't see anymore and they said since they've had this lamp they've been able to go back oh. to doing what they love which has been really nice to hear that when we've been at the exhibitions and lots of people say this has been a life I'd have to have that in the kitchen to read the ingredients <laughs> on the side of packets because they get smaller and smaller don't they yeah. right where do you want to go Hanto recap the two in one travel lamp please oh, okay um, did Most we, popular lamp so far today. Do we want to show the other lamp? The lady of Do this one first. Do the do, do, do two yep. in one first. Then okay. we can go on to the lamp for Margaret. Yeah. Okay. Right. So this is the two in one travel lamp. So ideal for camping, using in the garden, taking to festivals. But it's also great to use as your little craft lamp at home or bedside lamp. So you just lift it up, and then you turn it on to get your first colour, which is um, <coughs> which is the warm light. Then you've got sorry that's the warm light that's daylight and then you've got your cool light so you've got your three colors warm daylight and cool and then you keep your finger on each color and then that will dim down if you want it a bit dimmer and then you just keep tapping through and it'll turn off then close the lamp and then you've got a torch so tap it now twice. You, need to tap, you need to tap it twice don't just try and prep keep yeah. your finger on it like i do you do need to tap, it, tap twice. it twice yeah just tap it twice and then, <coughs> and then that gives you your torch and it's got quite a wide, a wide beam. Um, so you've obviously got the intense that you can see there, but it gives a really wide beam. Just across this way a little bit. That's, that's just to here. That's brilliant. There you yeah. go. It is so very, it very intense. That like. Well. Um, also, it's charged up with a USB. It's charged up with a USB. But this is the modern. It's got a funny name. This one, isn't it? What's it's it called? called the C micro C charging that's cable. Because yeah. remember when we needed to charge it up, and you were like, "It's not just a normal one; yeah. it's a it's a." And that means it's much quicker charging yes. than than the old style charging cables as well. So you're moving with the times and everything as well. Then. Yeah. So obviously, always updating, always looking at things for, for for making improvements as well. Fantastic. Right now, for Margaret, we can now move on to your other, maybe for your bedside lamp. This yeah. one, Margaret. So this is called the compact LED desk lamp. So you've got the same feature features um, as you have on that magnifier so you've got your on button and then you've got your three different colors again there warm light cool light and daylight um, and then three brightnesses on each one and the nice thing about this one, <coughs> Margaret is that when you're not using it you can fold it down flat and pop it in a drawer so if it means that you don't want to have it out all the time oh, then you can you can do that just move it across one. to here a little bit so we can okay. from there you go so it's folding down nice and flat, so really nice and compact, so you can pop that one in a drawer. We also do that one in black. So you've right, got- So we've got the, hang on, so the white one, it's 45 dollars uh, split pair 15 33 and then we've got the white one now. Oh no, hang on, which way around did we that do that? That was the white one. And then that was the white one there. One. And now we'll do the black one, yeah. So it's exactly the same. You've got to turn it on, got your three different colours. Uh, the head also um, extends on this one, so you can lift the head up. You can angle it as well to wherever you want it. You've got your different brightnesses on each colour. And then if you don't want to use it, you want to pack it away, hold it down. So no nice gooseneck on this one. This Not is a solid neck, isn't it? Yeah. So that but that'll slide into a drawer or yeah. into a... It's just getting a bit noisy in the gallery. So, um, <laughs> so you can slide it into a drawer, into a, a cupboard or something like that, yeah. onto your suitcase if you're going away from the Yeah, and that's things. again a nice one to take away with you if you want to be able to, you know, hotels have dreadful light. Oh, yes. Them, so there, you know, if you want to be able to work in while you're staying in a hotel, then that's ideal. Or maybe even put your makeup on in the hotel where you've got bad lighting. Well, no, no, because I mean, lots of my friends work, as you know, Dulcie, yeah. everyone working films, and they're like, they, you can't do your makeup, you can't do any sewing, yeah. you can't do anything like that. Or if you're doing budgets or anything in your hotel room, yeah. you need that extra light don't you because the light in hotel rooms you've got to have the big light on or the dreadful ones by the bed and then there's a weird one at the desk isn't yeah. there and then it's that's it really no, no, 45.99 no. split pair 15 pounds and 33 pence ring light please Ring light next okay jay greenoff's got this <laughs> right so the ring light is an ideal light to use for um if you're doing facebook lives if you're doing blogs can um, you see it over? oh yes you're right instagram over. lives it's ideal for photography. Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to have to move over because when the graphics me. come in, we're going to lose you. You're going to lose me. Can I come along with you? We me? have a limited amount of plugs <laughs> at the back, you see, that's all. Is that okay? There, is that better, Bruce? Yeah, there you yeah. go. Okay. Right, so sorry. So, um, a lot, again, it's, it's used a lot for photography. Um, it's really good if you want to be able to video tutorials or teaching people things like that. So, 
you get three phone holders with it so you can place your phones in so if you may be doing a facebook live and an instagram live and a TikTok, you can do them all at the same time so you just put three three phones in there you don't need to change the the ring to get your different colors which a lot of them are like that on the market but you just touch your button here Woo! and then you've got your different colors so that's a really bright white light there you've got daylight and a warm light and a cool light so again there's five different lights on this one you can lower the head so it may be maybe oh. oops it may be that you are going to be um doing some some training and then you just use the video on your camera and um, you just switch that on and then that will do obviously all of the the videoing for you it's adjust height adjustable as well so you can go up you can go down and you also get a little um usb shutter that that comes with it as well so what this actually does is pairs to your mobile phone so then what you do is you just then um, download an app and then that will automatically operate your phone so no more sort of like going like this like I do when my... John's doing his Facebook lives all right <laughs> well what I don't like about Facebook you switch it on then you've got to wait for it to notify everyone yeah. then you've got to wait this is nothing to do with that switch but no. at the end I was yeah. going bye bye <laughs> oh it won't switch off it won't switch off where's this I can sit there go bye and then click just turn, and it'll turn switch it off. off yeah yeah so this this little um remote control will, will actually operate operate your phone so you don't have to worry about touching it so you can you can use it for videos and you can use it for for taking photos as well yeah um, so yeah, so it, it's, it's a lovely little feature. It makes selfies look amazing, makes you look brilliant, really bright. It, also, I use it in the <coughs> office at home because the office is really dark and it just gives the office such a lovely glow. So you mean not up to your face no. when you're filming, just in the yeah, corner as a lamp? in the corner and it just, just gives the room a real feel of there's daylight in the room as well. So um, it's quite, It is bright though, that it isn't is, it? When yeah. you put it on the brightest, yeah. it's very bright. Yeah, so at the moment, um, it's not even on the brightest foot, I think. So you keep going there and we're up to the brightest. And then if you change all your colors, then again, you can see how bright, how bright they all are. Yeah, and also uh, you see on the telly, don't you, these um, fed up of wearing this or fed up of wearing that and everything. And you, and you could, it'd be brilliant for taking photographs, you just yeah. use it as a light, because the, the better the picture, the, the more it's likely to sell. So if you've got an Etsy or one of those, websites where you have to put a picture you know mm. like Karen from Wigan puts her cushions and her bunting and everything on there if you've got a lamp like this it takes a much better picture and pe people are going to automatically go yeah. oh that whereas if it's a gingy little do you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get one for Paul 95 pounds and 99 pence out of 31.99 on split pay and it is a brilliant it's yeah. kind of that kind of thing like Jane Greenoff was like she got hers she's like, I don't really need one of these darling and now she's <laughs> it all the time, time doesn't she she's got, got it she's I'm putting um, uh, Facebook I went on a date with Jane Greenoff you know went to the, <laughs> we went to the, uh, the Birmingham Philharmonic Orchestra oh nice I don't know posh anyway with, what's that that's that's the case that it comes with as well to obviously keep keep it in so to protect it as well. so now if you so if you you'll take it to a photo shoot or go into someone else's house do it does it all fold up into there then the so the the, the ring goes into this right. um that the actual tripod does fold down it doesn't completely fit into the bag but you okay. can just tuck well, no. it in and have no, it stuck right. out a little bit yeah. um but they do they do sort of come that's mainly for just protecting but also ring, if you it? if you're not going to use it all the time yeah be nice just to keep the bulb no, it's not a bulb is it the light no. bit in there yeah. Yeah. for safekeeping yeah you're going to knock it dust free and things like that and and some people won't want it up in the room because some no. people use their TikTok room as their spare bedroom and things don't they? <coughs> you know what I mean? yeah no definitely so it's um yeah a lot of people keep them in the bags or yeah. some people have them just up all the time because like they're just yeah yeah, yeah. Using, but using as you say if you've got it in the corner of the room if you're like my office is north facing so it's yeah. always dark in there which is why i like all my lamps around my desk <laughs> <laughs> but that'd be brilliant in the in the far corner just to so not now because we've got lovely sunny days but when the wind when the winter starts coming they've got that starts going dark at two o'clock in the afternoon you want some, all right hannah sorry sorry and it's going into a decline <laughs> straight away. Uh, anyway, uh, so it's for a 95, 99. Now Derek's got one of these. You know, Derek, well, he won't miss you because he'll be at school where to be teaching today. Um, and I can say Jane Green as well. Has um, Vic's got one as well? I yes, think Vic's, Vic's, Vic's got has one. got one as well. Yeah. I love this lamp. I use it for my YouTube videos. Fantastic, says Pauline. Apparently, when you go to Vix's house, she makes you have your picture taken in the lamp so you <laughs> and the house look better. Yeah. <laughs> You've been invited round then, Hannah? Oh, that's nice. 
99 The split pay is brilliant, isn't it? Because you pay 31 99 today. Now, does this come from us or does it come from you? Um, that one comes from me. Okay, and she's very good at packing them up and sending them off to you. So if you buy that today, you'll get an email. Or well, it'll be Monday now, won't you? you yeah. get an email on Monday and then you'll set the motion. Yeah. Will you still be in Glasgow? Uh, well, I'll be back uh, Monday night. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be but she's, um, she's got a forklift truck and everything now because you moved warehouses, <laughs> didn't did, you? I did, yeah. So, yeah. And so she's had uh, pictures of her on her Facebook driving forklift trucks. I think... Do I mean forklift truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. forklift truck, lifting everything up. I could have done with you when my books were delivered to the house because <laughs> the lorry, 18 ton lot truck came down my road. She reversed down my road like that. She was brilliant, the driver. But then we're getting them from the, the lorry to my garage. I've got a shingle drive and, oh. and the thing. So she and I were like heaving and pushing and everything. <laughs> anyway, 95 pounds and 99 pence. So it was good fun. 31 pounds and 99 pence. Right, any recaps now, Anne, before we go? Oh, we haven't done this one. Uppy Downy and Torch, please. Oh, okay. They're Hannah's names for everything. Right, Uppy Downy and Torch. We haven't done this one either. So. Oh, what have we got one to do? Got yeah. one to do? Sorry, that was my bad. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah. so What's this? Is, this is the little clip on lamp. So, this is ideal again for clamping onto um, a headboard or to a book. Or, and it's a nice little compact one again so if you're going on <coughs> holiday you can pop it in your bag and, and take it with you but hang on you said clip on but it was sitting on the desk yeah floor, so right? it stands like that you can clip it uh, like that and you can also put a screw in it and put it on the wall because it's, oh, it's got brilliant. a hole there for, for clipping onto the wall so if you want to above, <coughs> your, above uh, your head bed, and that's head charge, a chargeable that's as well. rechargeable um, this one doesn't have a magnifier on it so this is just a light right. this one and again, you've got your, your three different colours. So that's the warm, cool, and daylight. And then if you keep your finger on each one, again, it will dim down, take it off, and then it will go. Jan saying that the, the, uh, the magnifier lamps are great for when she does her EPP. <laughs> you know what, Jan didn't love, didn't touch EPP until recently, and now she's an addict on it. So she'll use one for her EPP. I'd say there was a question, sorry. Christine. Will you be making, hang on, will you be making one with a harness? Would be great for my dad when he's doing the wiring on his train set. What do you actually oh, mean? Oh, do you mean by like that? a steady cam? Like a light that you can put on you? That's a bit excessive, Christine. Is that what you mean? I'm not too sure what you mean, Christine. So well, no, I, I think like... she means like, like in the films when you have a steady cam. So oh. the cameraman has a harness strapped to him and the camera is strapped to him and he goes like this, right? So it'll be like, a, or maybe one of those. Do you do one of and those? Do you mean one on, that goes on the head? Yeah. I don't um, know. That, that's something that, uh, that's maybe what she, what she means. Yeah, maybe if, if, if you let us know, Christine, in know. the next two minutes. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, Christine? Harness? Or is it that nightclub you were going to when you were young? Message from the, uh, on the bottom. I love the clip-on lamp. I have mine to light up my keyboard when it gets a bit dark in the afternoon when I'm working. There you go. And it's yeah. just lightweight and easy yeah. to have there, isn't it? And again, it's another one brilliant to take away with you. So, you know, a little bit of extra light in a hotel or, you know, if, you, if you're on your balcony reading a book um, on your holiday or anything like that. So. <laughs> yeah, lots of reading books on balconies, you don't you? Yeah. <laughs> These products are amazing. I have a few now, so have I. The torch <laughs> is amazing from Jerry in Devon. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry, Jerry and Devon, thank you very much indeed. Right, uppy downy lamp uppy downy and, torch, and torch, and then we'll be done. Okay, right. So, uppy downy light is John's name, n pet name for it, but it's actually the reverse light. <laughs> she hates it. She hates it when I call it the uppy downy light. So but everyone knows what I mean. Everyone knows what you mean. They do. So you've got the the warm light here on this side, and that's where you've got your little handle to be able to either say like hang it from your parasol on on your dining furniture outside have it on your balcony when you're reading your book on holiday <laughs> take it to your festival if you've got to walk to the toilets on the campsite brilliant for that at night yeah um then when you turn it around it will change to daylight so it doesn't show quite that well on the television but it's very very <coughs> not noticeably changes color yeah you've then got your your up and down here your dimmer switch um on there oh is it run out of battery Oh, no, there you go. Oh, no. there you go. There we go. Yeah, so dim it down. Yeah. And then go back up to the brightest there. Once it's charged up from, from a USB cable, it will last for eight hours if it's on the brightest. It will last a lot longer than that if you don't have it on, on the brightest setting. So that's the uppy down okay, light. Okay, that's 63.99, split payments of 21.33. Please be careful if you've got that in your basket. And oh, then... Christine's explained about the harness. Oh, okay. One, with a, one with a magnifier and light you can wear 
so you can work on things and move around. So do you mean around your neck, maybe? Do you mean your neck, Christine, think, or do you mean your head? Mean, yeah, so there, there is options of having it around your neck and having it maybe... I think Christine's drunk. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, torch, then we've got to go. Torch one, yeah, okay. <coughs> so this is a torch lamp, um, two-in-one travel lamp. So Most popular one of the morning. You can um, lift this up and use it as um, a craft lamp or a reading lamp. Touch it for all your different colours, warm light, cool light and daylight. And then you can also use it as a torch. So you tap it twice and then you've got the torch there as well. So this one's brilliant for using in the garden, using at festivals, taking you on holiday. Maybe you're walking home and on a cliff's edge and it's a little bit dark. You want to see where you're going. So this one is brilliant because you've got two uses, two uses for this one. Jan says she's seen some magnifier lamps that hang around your neck and rest on your chest. Maybe that's a harness lamp, maybe. maybe. Maybe it is. Most popular lamp of the day, this £45.99. Three split payments of 15 33 Hannah nearly choked on her breakfast then. Oh, it's lunch now. She's on to her lunch already. <laughs> uh, jet lag, you've been home two days. It was only Portugal. From Portugal. <laughs> yeah. Any excuse. Her meals are all out of sync, she says. <laughs> anyway, £45.99, uh, £15.33. Right, when are you back then? Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. Aren't you next door next week? I am, yes. I'm doing like the six and seven o'clock show. On what day is that? <laughs> on the 20th. I'm there. Sun, Monday, the the Monday the yeah. 20th. Monday yeah. the 20th. So, um... <coughs> oh, yeah, Father's Day. You'll get one of these in time for farm, far, yeah. Farmer's Day. Father's Day. You'll get one of these in time for Father's Day because it's June the 19th, isn't it? So you'll get it in time for them. And also, if you buy it on split pay. I'll share, I'll, I'll split it between the family. I'll, I'll put some money in towards it. Uh, so we'll see you then. Do you know when you're back here? I haven't got another date yet, so um, I'm sure it'll be sometime in July. In July. Brilliant. Yes. Thank you ever so much. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, I'll be back in four minutes time. Oh, with Anna Sanders from Alice Caroline. Right. So can you just step to one side a minute? Yes. I'm sorry. But this, this quilt here, right? So they did row one. They've done row one. We've done row two, we've done row three. Today we're doing row four. We've got row two and row three available. Limited, limited, limited. And we've also got the finisher pack, which is the fabric for the triangles and the binding as well. I need to warn you, loads have gone on pre-order already. Half the stock's gone on pre-order already. Um, I'll see you back here. It, thank you very much indeed, Claire. And I'll see you back here in four minutes. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. 
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Anna Sands is here. Say hello. Hi. Hang on, we just got to you waving. Oh. There you go. Hello. Oh, you look hi. really tiny behind that desk. <laughs> I'm really short. I haven't seen for ages. I thought they were keeping us apart. I know. I think we're trying. troublemakers. Yeah, is that prob what it is? probably. Yeah, I'm I saying reckon. Break. Now, don't say this. I just said, you think I'll say that? So don't say that either. <laughs> Anyway, it's really lovely. She's so well behaved. Behave. Not. Uh, it's really <laughs> lovely to see you. Andrew. Loving that frock. Thank you very much. Um, I was spent. I was meant to wear my Liberty shirt today, and I it's ironed noted. it and everything. I know. Oh, I did. Well, I went to put my pug shirt on. You know, my shirt with pugs on, right? And it's enormous, like this. And I look, you know, when a little old man's like all withered inside of his face, I look like a little <laughs> withered old man. Oh, I know, I am a withered old man, but I love this. Can I say, out of all of the, I, I just adore. This quilt, it's beautiful. It's uh, what, gorgeous, what's it called? It? Rainbow Blooms. Rainbow Blooms, yes. Um, 
I just, I, now is it machined? Is it hand sewn? Is it what? It's all hand sewn. All hand sewn, and then oh. you can you can quilt it. And then you, when machine. you put your bit, your, your triangles in, I suppose you sew those in. Do you? Buy, oh, they no, by no, hand no. as all well. No, no, no. All the quilt top is all EPPs. Wow. English paper pieced, and then you can quilt <coughs> it. Once you do your wadding and your backing, that's the point where you can switch to a machine and and do machine quilting. But Perfect. Equally, you could do that by hand as well. Yep. So it's sold in rows. Let me explain. This is row one which you must have done three months ago, three or four months ago. Something like that. This is row two. Now, what I thought was odd for you is you've got half blocks as well. Because yeah. normally your, your designs or your Alex Caroline designs are very much... We did it so that we could get a maximum amount, amount of Liberty fabric into, you know, and it actually, on balance, it works better oh, no, it's with the gorgeous. half I love and it. the fabrics on it. So this is row two. Now, I haven't got any of row one. I have got some of row two. I have got some of row three, very, th three, very limited. And today... We're doing row four, but you need to know that half the stock of row four has gone already. So what I'm going to do is, before we do any sewing, anything like that, I'm just going to take you through the blocks and what's in them, and the rows and what's in them. So this is row four. This is row four. Seventy-nine ninety-nine. I said split pay. Split pay. Two at uh, thirty-nine ninety-nine. This is row four, so this is what you're buying here. I'm gonna open one and show you everything that you get in it in a minute. So, and that's ours, so I'll then open this one because you brought this one for me to open, didn't you? Right, so, the finished quilt size is 61 inches square, and each block must be then about, I'll talk to you that about that in a minute. Oh, I measure the blocks nice. for you, John. Ooh. So they're about 14 inches by 16 inches. The, the, blocks. the blocks are? Yeah, because they're, um, you know, this way by that. Yeah, way. of course. Right, so in this one, this row four, you get, I'm going to have to hold each of these up because I haven't got an overhead at the moment, but there you go. So you get beautiful squares. Now, this is lawn, this is Tana lawn. Now, uh, Alice Caroline work very, very closely with Liberty. Sometimes they use the Liberty as it comes. Sometimes they have brand new Liberties, so you can date your quilt eventually, because that Liberty bring out different ones at different times. But also, she's allowed to colour in different colours as well, isn't she? So, yeah. so re it's with Liberty's um, blessing and permission and everything like that. She doesn't do it randomly. So I'm wondering, how many of these are going to be? So the, the capel there, the goldy one, is, that a, one? is an Alice Caroline. So that, she's taken a Liberty print, but she's coloured it in in her own colours, look. Yeah. So Alice works with the design team, so the design, the design team would actually produce the, you know, the CADs for doing it, but Alice creates the colours uh -huh. and, yeah. It's Beautiful, a, an and look process. at the colours in here, they're just stunning. So you've got enough of all the fabric. Do you know what, I bought some Cosmos for my garden, especially because I love Liberty oh, Cosmos. Oh yeah. yeah, we're great in a garden. Yeah, beautiful, look, so you get all your square, oh that's nice. Now, you see, it. now if somebody showed me that, I wouldn't automatically say Liberty for that one. Yeah, it's a really well known one actually. It's oh called, is it? Yeah, it's called Carleen, it's like a 1950s tea dress print. It's beautiful, yeah, it's absolutely nice. stunning. Uh, then we've got uh, Wiltshire Berry, whatever it's called, Wiltshire Shadow. No, no, just Wiltshire. Just Wiltshire, because Wiltshire shadows when it's That's one quilting cotton. Quilting cotton, yeah. it's one colour, yeah. Then now this one here, I definitely used that one on Seven Brides and Seven Brothers when we did the national and international tour of the clothes for that. Then you get the red one, you get the flat. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful, isn't it? The colours and design of that one. That one looks lovely and vintage. Then you've got this one. Then now, this one, if I'm not mistaken, is the same as the binding fabric, is it not? It is the binding fabric. That's binding an Alice fabric. Caroline exclusive as well. So that's the, she's taken the Wiltshire pattern yeah, so and coloured it in. You won't get it anywhere else other than here or on our website. There you go. Then there's what, there's loads. There's, then that's a lovely vintage one there as well, look, isn't it? There, oh, now that one is that one. Look. But that's obviously in the traditional. Yeah, yeah. And then look, this, and then we've got now. Are these these aren't Liberty? They're not are Liberty. They? These are just high other... quality quilting Oh yes, cottons. of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, do Liberty do their tarn lawns in plain? They do and do their tarn lawns in plain. Yeah. I've yeah. never seen. I've never ever seen them. Have you we, not? No, oh, we'll weird. have to. Be, we'll have to put those in a project there. Yeah. Oh, I'll just get to Liberty's next time I'm in London like, and just really? waft it. <laughs> anyway, so you get the blue, you get the lilac, you get the lavender. Oh, bright yellow. 
Lovely. You can see where that goes. And then you get the cream, which is your backing, back, background, background for the square, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's the... But it's still little bits of EPP. Yeah. So you get all your fabrics there. So this is for the whole row. That's, that will do that whole row there. Yes, but not the joining triangles. Right, so, so this will do all your blocks, blocks all your blocks, row. right? So you definitely need the finishing pack. But okay, so then in the instructions, you get colour pictures, look. So you can see where the fabrics go. Ah, oh, there's another one. Plus instructions. Have I got these the wrong way around? There you go, that, and that's the main quilt. Oh my word, and then it's even got the names of all yeah. the fabrics. We've started putting those in with like a little bit of um, history and inspiration behind why Liberty designed them or where, where they've come from, because oh, that's our customers love that's to see important. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then you lay out, how you lay it out, your pieces are out on there, how you actually do your EPP. And then I'm presuming in here, oh my word. Yeah, we've gone off, we've gone paper. No, but it's fantastic, but loads in there. So yeah. now, is this enough to do all three and a half blocks? Yeah, yeah. So you, you don't, don't need, need to, to repeat. repeat? No, 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 no. So there's so enough you... in there. And remember, they're reusable, so you can use these over and over again. So yeah, so you could buy the row, make the quilt, <coughs> and then use your own fabrics to make a to make a cushion afterwards. Okay, half the stock is now checked out, so please be careful, we haven't even started demonstrating it or anything. So that is all row four. So across the bottom, so you've got three full blocks and a half a block. I love those half a blocks, I think they're brilliant. I'd quite like a cushion, kind of made out of those half oh, blocks. Oh, like in a moon, like you could make it into like a, yeah, that would look great on a Really, stage, it? really gorgeous. Now, are they all the same shape or are they all different shapes? What, uh, no, no, because that's different. got a tumbling block at the end, and that's yeah. got a fishtail. I don't know that they're all different, but there's four or five different yes. designs within it, yeah. Gorgeous, aren't they? So you get all that Liberty fabric, your papers, all your instructions, and the creams for the, it, the little triangles, not the big triangles. So basically, with this kit, you're going to make that. You're going to make that. You're going to make that and you're going to make that. So aren't you? Because you're making the, the colourful blocks. In so so blocks. far, you've made just the blocks. You haven't made the triangles that go between the blocks or the triangles that finish a line. Because, put all that to one side there. So that is row four. Right, before I show you the finishing blocks, actually, I'll, show you, shall I just do the other rows that we've got? We don't have row one. But what we were saying earlier, <laughs> is if you want to, if you've missed row one, thinking, oh, really, we should have done that. Maybe if you like row three, say, or row two, buy two of those, put those in the top, but move them around. So you, you could, you could you, you know, they're in a different order because you're still going to get all those gorgeous Liberty prints, aren't you? Or you could do repeat of rows and make your quilt bigger if you want a bigger, you know, oh, on the size yes, of the quilt yes, that you yes, like. Sure. Yeah, definitely. So there's no number one. Now, if you're absent, have you got any row ones on your website? Not yet, because we don't like to... Um... No, no, okay, then. it's okay. <laughs> At the will... moment, you can't buy row one, but maybe in the future you might be Maybe in the future. Maybe you'll in be the able future. To find them on our right, so let me take you through row two, which is, well, I'm not going to open this one, I'm just going to show you all the fabrics in there. I love the way they've just been put in, in like haphazard fashion. You think that's haphazard? Yeah, look. Well, that might be from the last time. No, they're all the same. Oh, no. Louise, Louise would... would probably kill you for saying no no but even the one you brought was like that haphazard i don't think they're haphazard i think they're carefully placed to make to showcase all the beautiful fabrics john <laughs> haphazard who's packed those what's her name oh, louise, okay. louise. Well, luckily she's on holiday no, oh she's on holiday <laughs> she'll watch it later she's in a foreign country so that's all good <laughs> oh no i can see it now we like we, we do it so that you can see all the no, beautiful prints i say keep back louise i do apologize <laughs> so this I is row two 79.99 or split pay 39.99 Beautiful, so that's row two. So let's have a look at row two. So you've got the bright, well, you've got the same basic colors in there, the blue, the, the lilac, and the yellow, haven't you? Yeah. But then you've got lots of different prints in there. Yeah, so there's 70 different prints in the whole oh, ton wow. of prints. And then you've got the planes, which sort of draw out the colors in the blocks. So well, no, I love it. I, we had a quilt the other day 
not a Liberty one, but it was all, everything was patterned and I loved it. But I said to, it was Emma Bradford's one, I said, imagine if you just swapped those for planes, yeah. it would make the whole thing it really makes it pop, pop out. It? And that's what they do on there, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and that's why we sort of frame it in the cream as well, because it actually really makes it, showcases the Liberty fabric so beautifully. They are gorgeous. And the Liberty is so perfect for English paper piecing as well, yeah. because you've got such, I mean, we've had this conversation before about, uh, you know, the intricacies of the design. You know, if you look at this one, it's just, you know, it's tiny print and not many fabrics or, you know, fabric designs do do that sort of detail no, exactly. in print, which makes it perfect for EPP. I uh, got my part four, must confess, I have not finished part one yet, but I'm really enjoying it. And I love all the info on the fabrics from Kate in Mercer. Well, that's the thing about it. It's a, you know, it's a, English paper piecing is a slow sewing thing, isn't it? So you could, you know, buy it all and then just sew it through the winter. It's yeah, just, exactly. You know, There's no rush. And just there? pick it up and put it down as, you know, you go out and about. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. It. But I agree with Kate, I think it's lovely because normally I go, What's this one called? What's this one called? You go, That's Amelia, that's a 1940. <laughs> but this way you're going to know all the fabrics you've got in your kit, they're all listed in there. Uh, no, we're not offering a mega bundle of all of them. No, we're not doing that. We're missing row one, you see. Row one sold out completely. But you could repeat another row if you want to, or buy two of each of the ones that are left over and have a bigger quilt. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's for number row two. I've also got row three here, which again has got all your different fabrics in there. Beautiful. So row three has got some dark, oh, I say it's got darker prints in, but I can still see one. But now there's nothing stopping you if you've bought all four rows for, for moving them around, are they? Oh, no, 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 absolutely. So you could finish all your blocks and then place them in the way that you, that you want. want them. Apart from obviously the half blocks. Yeah, you, you, can, go. you can put that half block down here and that. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can move those around, around. You can do what you like. And some people would, you know, prefer like the stronger colors at the top and then yeah. maybe the lighter colors down at the bottom. I wonder what it would look like if you did all the half blocks going just down one side. Well, it's, yes. Oh you, no. No, no, you can do that because you could shift it across and flip it. Yeah, so you can, yes, you, you can. You should, yes, you can do that. Yeah. Oh, see, no, I see what you mean. No, yeah, yeah, no, you can because then you just have to, you just have to play around with these triangles. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah, but yeah. You, can, you can do whatever you want with it, really, can't you? Yeah, you get enough of this cream fabric to do, to yeah. do plenty, oh, and you yeah. get all the. Fabulous, seventy nine ninety nine. That is row three, and then we've got row four today, which we've just done. And then we've also got they called it five, right? So this one is the finishing pack. So in this one, uh, I don't think I need to open it, do I? I know you brought me one to open, but you get a... I'm going to open it. Let's sort of show the, um, the shapes, the triangles. Yeah. So this one here is, if you look at the quilt, so you see the big triangles in between the blocks. Should I point that? Yeah, there and there. This is for those. And also at the end of the row here, there's a half an isosceles triangle at the end there. So in this one, your finishing line, you get, oh, lots of this. This is beautiful cotton, this. <coughs> you get your cream cotton to do your triangles out of. This is your binding, so that's which nice, is Caroline, exclusive. exclusive, exclusive. You cannot buy that anywhere else but in this kit. Right, and then there seems to be an awful lot of instructions in here. It's, it's more the template. So right. not many instructions, but the template. Lots of, oh, I see. So how you put the, <coughs> excuse me, the rows together, what you need to cut, Yeah, if you're going to make it bigger, you'll need more than one of these, obviously. There's your um, triangle template. Oh! So on the, on the blocks, <laughs> they're all pre-cut, but because these triangles are bespoke, we've designed it bespokely to fit the quilt oh, together. Oh, wow. You cannot get the pre-cut die. So we, we, we order the pre-cut die shapes in. I see. But you see. can order those of that size. So those are your, <clears> the equivalent <throat> of your papers? Yes. Fine, I've got so it So they're now. on like quite thick card yes, so that you yeah. can... So that you can um, I see. So even <clears throat> the big triangles are EPP. That's what we're saying, yes. isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. even the big triangles <clears throat> are EPP. So now, so you do the same as you do normally. You cut that out with a quarter inch around the edge, fold it over. Yeah. Stick yeah. it down with your glue and then whip it. You can machine sew them together. Well, yeah, but if you've done all of that by hand. I'm a big fan of like if you've got a quilt top that's all by hand. Yeah, yeah. it's a hand sewn project. In fact, I would I would hand quilt it as well. I would do like we haven't had yeah, time like to do that. Yeah, like you've got time to do that. I haven't got time to do that. I have actually. I, I have. I do like hand sewing. 
quilt tops. Yeah. I've done, I've done two in the last two years, <coughs> massive ones. Yeah. Um, you know, you can do beautiful design, like hand stitched designs in lots of different oh, colours, yeah. bringing out the colours of this. Or Is that you can one send it quilted? away. It, it's quilted in between. Oh, scenes. just in the line, Jack. Okay. Know, so it's just stitched <laughs> in the Excuse ditch. Me. So that's your finishing block there. That's why it looks like there's so much in the instructions because you get all the papers to do all of those triangles between the blocks. Again, 39.99 that one. Well, not again, it is 39.99. Um, beautiful, right. Shall we make a block? What time is it? We've witted on for long enough, haven't we? Shall we make a block? We don't witter, do we, John? Do what? We never witter, do we? No. <laughs> So <clears throat> I'm just going to make a little bit of a block because then I'm going to show you how to join the join the other blocks together. Oh, okay, perfect. So perfect, on previous perfect. shows I've made two, yeah. uh, two or three blocks. Yeah, it just shows and, how it um, goes together. Yeah. yeah. So for people who've never done English paper piecing before, it's a really lovely slow sewing process, and you know it's I love it. You can pre-cut. What I would do is I would pre-make all of my pieces, pre-prepare. Prepare them. Pre prepare, pre prepare, pre -prepare them. them. Pre -prepare. I can't speak today. Yeah. Forgive me. So you do all your early. gluing first <coughs> before would, you did any stitching? Yes. So I would I would baste all of my pieces, uh -huh. then I would put them in a pouch, take them out and about with me and sew while I'm waiting for my many children's activities. I was gonna say, not you've got many children. <laughs> no, I've got two children. The but many, many activities, activities of your two children. The many activities. Yeah, Are they of that age now where they today, do it John? all the time? They do something oh. every day. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think my boy does something like 20 hours of sport a week or something ridiculous like that. So there's nothing wrong with him? It's 20 very, hours of sport? Nobody very does sporty. <laughs> Where'd he get that from? Andy, not me. <laughs> <laughs> my husband, yeah, not me. Oh. He's, he's the sporty one. Right. So, <clears throat> so from your um, fabrics that you get, there's cutting layouts and, and in all of the packs. You get your pre-cut piece and you would cut it with a quarter inch seam. So you can see here that it's got a quarter inch seam around the outside. Now you can either use scissors or a rotary cutter. It doesn't matter. <coughs> if you use scissors, I pick it up, pick it up and, and cut as Just I'm going cut along. You can multi-cut if you do um, uh, rotary, rotary cutter. cutting, but with scissors it's a bit more tricky because it can slip. So also, we... my little bit of advice here would be some of the Liberty Lawns, they're Ooh. so beautiful on both sides, aren't they? Just Excellent. to check, yeah. just to check you've got the so right that, side. This is a really good example of that. Can you, s have you got an overhead? Yeah, yeah, yeah so you're so right on you there. there that's there. the right side. Look on the little telly there. Oh, sorry, yeah. that one. Yeah. That's the right side and then that's the wrong side. So it's actually really quite tricky to tell but the, the right side is much finer and it's often got like a dark outline yeah. of the prints so you place the paper on the wrong side of the fabric mm -hmm. and then you glue I glue the paper but although who was it who was somebody somebody glues the paper the, the, the fabric, fabric don't they who was it who's, who's, was it Jenny Jackson yeah it was fabric. Jenny Jackson yeah so she does the fabric but I find if you do that it sort of slips well, it's what, whatever makes you happy, really, isn't it? It's whatever makes you happy. It's whatever you get yourself into a into a rhythm. You don't want to you don't want to fold it over too tightly because you also want to be able to pick up the threads of the fabric. Yeah. But a neat finish, so that it's all tucked in nicely. So you've got one piece already prepared there. Got a message, Pauline. I've just put the TV on. Is row four today and finishing row, please. I'm still on row one, but so lovely. Yes, Pauline, today we're doing row four and we're doing the, the finishing one, but I've got row three and row two if you want that as well. It doesn't really matter if you're on row one at all. I mean, you know, as I said before, you, you just prepare it and then just go out and about with it. Yeah. There's no great rush to finish it. There'll be lots of people, you know, in our like Facebook sewing groups that, mm. that are doing it and, you know, merrily sewing along. So we just baste it. You can also thread baste if you prefer. Okay. Um, lots of people do thread baste and <coughs> they're used to thread basting and that's what they love yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. And they, oh, I don't want to do the glue. The, the glue incidentally doesn't, some people think, oh, it's blue. It might show through on the fabric. It doesn't. If you dab it with a bit of water when, you're, when it's time to take the paper out, then you know it just comes out easily. Uh -huh. And it dries clear as well, no matter what color you use. Yeah, it does. Uh, in, in actual fact, the colours are really. What's this colour? This colour. Uh, yeah, because they come in blue, see. pink, but and yeah, yellow. So don't you can get choice. like like fl really fluorescent ones, can't yeah. you? Which um, which can be a bit alarming. But they still dry clear. And if you're going to machine them, you can. Uh, and well, answer them. It's not going to clag your needle. No. So at this point, once you've prepped <coughs> the pieces, I mean, I've, I've, this isn't the whole 
not all the pieces for the block, but uh -huh. uh, just the ones that we need. I use a thread conditioner. Right, yo. Just because it stops some of the thread from uh, knotting too much. So you just put it through like yeah. that. You can use a beeswax, you can use, I'm sure you've got lots of different ones. Oh, yeah, on check your on the website. I don't know what's there at the moment. You just pull it through and then you're ready to go. Right, single thread mm -hmm. or double thread? Single thread. And knot or no knot? I've knot at the bottom and then I anchor the thread here. As well, well, you actually tie a knot? A tiny little knot. Now, if you use a very thick thread, I wouldn't recommend using a very thick thread, actually, but if you use a thicker thread, I wouldn't anchor it because you don't want it to it make a hole. Yeah, because you'll hear it go... Pop. But I'm using these Aurifil ones, so I've got these gorgeous Aurifil ones, and I know that you do Aurifil threads. Are they 80? <coughs> uh, 80? Yes, they're, no, they're 50 weights. Oh, 50 weights. 50 weights. Oh, 50 weight. oh, yeah, 50 weight. lots of people like using 80 weight, yeah. but, but 50 weights are just as good. Yeah. And also you can machine sew with a... With a 50 weight as well. Brilliant. So we use those. A nice quality thread mm -hmm. is, is always good. Now there's a lovely 50 weight box coming up very, very soon. I had to sign 500 of them this morning, so I know full well. That's a, that's a lot of work to do in before this morning. Before well, I started, that's exactly. Amazing. Just waiting for Anna to arrive. So you, you, <laughs> so this is the picture. This is my own home printing, so it's not as good quality as the printer okay, that you then. get in the, in the pack. But you, you can follow this diagram yep. and you can see that that's in the middle and then it's around the outside. And you can work in a sort of a circular motion. Lots of people like making in sections, actually. So some people would make this section and then sew it to this section. Right, okay. It depends on how you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Lots of people work in different ways. So you take your two pieces <coughs> and then you sew them right sides together. Okay, lovely. Just with a very simple whip stitch. And you're catching just a few of the threads not the card, you don't touch the card. It doesn't matter if you do, but, because <clears throat> the card will, I'll show you taking the papers out shortly. Yeah, lovely. But, um, it, and it doesn't matter if you, if you do catch the card. But you just want to try and catch a few, just a few, as little as the fabric as possible, and as many stitches as you can bear per inch. <laughs> uh -huh. Some people do, uh, you know, 20 stitches per inch, but I, I don't. I just do about, I don't know, about 10, 12, something like that. So you just keep sewing like this. And then it just gradually builds up as you're going along. But it's th very therapeutic. It's very therapeutic. You can, I, I sit and watch telly sewing. You know, once you get into the sort of rhythm, it, it's very easy to sort of do other things uh -huh. while, while you're sewing. The trouble is, I used to do uh, wig making many years ago. And uh, you, you do, it was, this was the same sort of thing, it was very therapeutic, but you'd end up going, oh, I'll just do this bit and then I'll go to bed. Oh, no, I'll just finish this bit and yeah. I'll go to bed. Now, I can imagine that's the same if you think, oh, I'll just add a couple more on here and then I'll, and then I'll finish, then yeah. I'll put it down. Now, I would recommend you keep, or, once you've pre-prepared all, all of your bits, yeah. keep, them in a, keep them in one place and keep your blocks separately. Right. So I would prepare one block and then I would sew that block. Okay. And also don't leave the whites to the end. <laughs> don't leave what? Don't leave all the whites to the end. Lots oh. of people sew all the pretty fabrics and they oh, leave all right. the whites. Yes, yes, they're yeah. like, oh, the whites are a bit boring. Yeah. They're not boring. You do them at the same time because yeah. otherwise you'll have a lot of white. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> so I'm using a, a gold tip needle. Have you, have you got Gold tip right? needle? Do we yes. have gold tip needles on the website? What size? Gold is it? eye. Oh, right. A clover gold eye. No, we haven't got yeah. those. Size between size nine and 11. Okay. Uh, is what I'd recommend. Nine is uh, bigger than 11. Yeah. And yeah, a fine needle, whatever, a sharp or um, an in-between. It's uh, just useful for having a very sharp one because yes, exactly. oh, the, the tana is very fine. Lots of people ask, oh, is it, is it too fine? It feels like silk. It doesn't feel like silk at all. It, it's 100% it's cotton. But it also, it sort of has that sort of silky touch to mm. it, but it doesn't slip like silk. Mm. But it's got such a high thread count that actually, if you use a too big a needle or too big a thread, it, it does make, you know, holes in it. Yeah. Which you don't want. Well, that's only like machining something with a big, thick needle. You wouldn't do tarn alone with a size 16 needle, no. would you? No. No. <laughs> so I've got to this point here, and then uh -huh. we want to join our next piece. Right. So at this point... You can either finish your thread off here. I don't like to finish threads off because I think it's it's another point where it can unravel. So uh -huh. I just tuck so it. So you just tuck the whole thread down the, whole the back thread of that one. Down the back of it through, and then I'd start the next piece. 
Brilliant. It wastes a bit more thread, but it's. Yeah. I find it's a better finish. <coughs> so we'll just start the next piece at this point here. A lot of people um, worry as well about if they can see your stitches through to the other side. Yeah, I've seen lots of people so um, so like this, like flat. Yeah, I can't and just get... whip it round. Have you had anybody on here? Yeah, doing... yeah, yeah. Uh, when we were saying quarter, we did that, yeah. Yeah, because... I think your stitches like that are pretty blind because you're sewing on the reverse side. Yeah. But I, ca I can't get... But I quite like... If somebody's hand-stitched me a quilt, I quite like to see some of their stitches. You know, not great yeah. big gaping ones, but like... Well, but, if, you, if you zoom down onto that... Hang on, get Bruce I on don't, that one. I don't think you can see many stitches. No, no, no. no, no. Lots of people I, don't. But even if you can, I just think... I don't care. I think... Because if somebody's hand-stitched something lovingly like that, I don't... I quite like to see... Because if you see old, really old ones, you can see those stitches, can't you? Yes, and also, you know, you see your stitching, you know, when you're quilting at the end. Yeah. And I think the beauty is in, is in the stitches. Yeah, of course it is. And, you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect project, does it? You know, as you say, it's a, it's a hand project and... It's a beautiful thing to receive a gift that's been, you know, hand sewn for you. Oh yeah, totally. So yeah, it it builds up. It's I think it takes about it takes me about three hours to make a block. Right. Okay. From start to finish. If you're a beginner, it will probably take you longer. But it's not a race, is it? Oh, it's not a race, and that's the thing is it's a long it's a long term yeah. project that's uh, you know that's something that you can you can do over the winter. Exactly. Just as we're going into summer. And the summer. Well, you think, you know, it takes takes a while. <coughs> but you can see it in the garden now doing it, can't you? You can. That's the other thing. A good light source is really yeah. well, important. Just that well, you just have lighting the on, but... Yes, I was looking at that. You know, if you're sitting inside in a dark corner, mm -hmm. definitely get some light. Definitely. Particularly if you're sort of, if you struggle with, like me, with, with seeing and glasses. Yeah. I'm over here. <laughs> And it doesn't matter if you get a knot, you know, you can try and untangle it, but if you don't, it, it's all on the reverse side of the quilt anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, you can just carry on. As I said, the sort of less joins in the thread, the better, really. Yeah. It, equally, try not to make your thread too long because the longer it is, the knottier it becomes. Yeah. Message from Susan. Just tuned in. Please, what thread are you using? Sue in Cardiff. Bonadar, Sue. What thread are you using? I'm using an Aurifil 50, uh, what did I say, 58? 58, yeah. Yes, Aurifil 58, but you can get them on sewing. That's a gorgeous box, that one. Yeah, this goes with our, um, one of our The thing we're doing in the next hour. No, no, well, it's very similar, actually. It's yeah, very similar. Yeah, of happiness, I can yeah, see yeah, it from here. Yeah, 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 so it's very um, similar. Basically, it's Aurifil, 100% cotton, Italian thread, but it's at 50 weight. 50 weight. 50 weight. Yeah. <laughs> so, the lower the number, the thicker the thread. So they do 40 weight, 50 weight, they do 80 weight, they do 12. So you 50 weight, you can also use on a sewing machine as well. And I've got a birthday box coming out of 50 weight threads. Yeah, so 50 weight is a great sort of general. And what colour would you use then? Would you so always use the same colour? I am <coughs> using sort of this off white, yeah. but you could you, you can you can match. So let me get this out here. So there's like a range of colours in here. So for example, for this one, you could choose a dark colour, but you're sewing it to a light colour. So yeah. uh, I, I always recommend something that's off-white or a grey off-white. Okay, yeah, we, really I would well. say like a cream or a silvery grey. A grey. cream or a silvery grey, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you want to just choose one thread, yeah. then, then go for something like that. Lots yeah, of because otherwise do. you're going to be stressing about, oh, have I done the right colour? And if I'm doing a dark to a light, do I do the dark, do I do the yes. light? Just do it all with the same cream or silver yeah, yeah, grey, yeah. 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 Uh, unless, probably unless you're sewing two really dark colours together yeah. and then I go for something a bit darker. So you can see at this point we've, you know, I flipped it over. Don't worry about bending. You can see I'm just bending the paper yeah. there lightly. You don't have to fold it in half. And then we're, we're just carrying on. And we're just working around in a circle until the whole block's done. Do you not wear a thimble? I don't wear a thimble. I can't get on with a thimble. I'd rather have a hole in my finger. Yeah. <laughs> if you do a lot of it at a time, it you know. It yeah. Well, no. I just here. remember when I used to be sewing a lot that the ends of your fingers are either bleeding or they're callous, aren't they? I think but then I got used to having a thimble, and I just. I don't like a thimble. I don't. I've tried all yeah. of them. I just can't get on with it. It just uh, makes me more cack-handed than I normally am, John. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you use, Hannah? Do you say? Oh, she uses the ones that are like little leather patches you stick on the oh, end I've, of your that's finger. The one I, uh, uh, that's the one I tried recently, but I just, I can't, no. I can't get on with it. Yeah. 
but uh, you know, if you do want a thimble, you know, try all the yeah, yeah, loads yeah. of different And it gets claustrophobic with a thick thimble on the end of a finger. <laughs> Um, uh, what's the name? Louisa Galt's got one that's got like um, a hole in it. So it's solid on the way you're pushing it through, but the rest of it's open sort of thing. Oh, so okay. Cheap old plastic things. <laughs> she won't mind me saying that. <coughs> so once you've made your blocks, I mean, obviously I've put the same three bits together here, but um, you, I'll show you in a minute two okay. blocks that I made on the previous show. Brilliant. Um, Hannah, what were you saying? <coughs> oh, exactly the same amount of uh, row five, four and finishing have gone. So that means there must be lots of people who've done the whole quilt then. Yeah, yeah. That's, well, it's just such a lovely project, mm. isn't it? Right, I'm going to finish that off okay, there. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to show what you get in the finishing pack. Excellent. Right, uh, Lynn says, I've tried to use the glue pen for my EPP, but whether I use a bit or a lot, the material does not stay stuck to the papers. What am I doing wrong? I think you need to press it, really press it down, don't you, once you've you glued do. it? You do, yeah. You, yeah, so, I mean, you can see it comes off quite easily. I'll show again because you can... I mean, you, I, I don't think you do need a lot. Are you, it depends on the... Which, which glue pen is she using? I guess I'm using a Soline one. You know the ones we've got, aren't they, Soline? Yeah. Maybe it's the glue pen, and uh, Hannah's uh, worried that you've left the top off and it's dried out. Oh, that can is the other option. reactivate with a bit of water. Yeah, so I'll show again how much I'm using. Yeah, here you go, Lynn. So that, that is plenty. If, you, if, you, if it clumps, and then you can see I'm pressing down. Yeah. You're definitely using a glue pen. Yeah, it's got to be it's got to be a, a a fabric glue pen. Okay, Julie's got a question now. S stupid question. First of all, we don't no question is stupid, Julie. Why loop the cotton to the top of the next piece? Why not carry on from the corner that you've already reached? You can do that. You can do that, but then you get a so for it, say I've I finished off here. Yeah. Am I in the right place for the screen? To the right, a tiny bit. That's all. Okay. So say I finished here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There's no knot. Bear with, bear with. I mean, that's just the way I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I started sewing this next piece here and sewed along here or up here, I'd have to then stop it and go along there, wouldn't I? Right. So I just get to the point where I can then just carry on going and then carry on going. So if I, I could either get to this point and then sew up this join or sew along here, but then I'd have to start again. Yeah. I suppose I could sew up here and then start up here and then do up there. Yeah, yeah. That's you understood that, well it. done. <laughs> I think it's just whatever suits you best. None of it's right or wrong, is it? Nothing's right or wrong. Absolutely. Everyone finds their own style and, yeah. and actually... You know, that's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, if you can do a whip stitch, you can make this quilt. Yeah. So what are you going to show us now then? Well, it is, it's more of the same because it's all English paper piece. Yeah. But I just wanted to show you the two blocks that I've oh, remade. They're gorgeous. So I started these they? on previous shows. I thought I'd actually show you one. Right, so that's row one you've got so there. So this is row and one. And the green one, one is, oh, they're all both no, they're, row one. They're both, they're both row one because one. I wanted to show actually how it all joins together okay so that's what when you're making this you will make three of those and a half one and that's what they look like you haven't yes. got the triangles in between you need to get the finishing thing to do the triangles in between yeah so yeah. this is this is the, the first two blocks yeah not, not including the half block yeah and yeah so you've just got the same thing here so this is exactly the same process of... The finish, it's your, what do we call it, the finishing this kit? This is a finishing kit. So you cut out your triangle. Yes, yeah, sorry that these are not pre-cut, but they're bespoke, so we, so we couldn't get them bespoke. Oh, no, 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 because well, that would have put the price up for the, for the viewer, wouldn't it? If you'd had them all pre-cut well, bespoke, a, it would have cost a fortune yeah, to take an age. Well, it's not actually a product that's actually available to buy. No, that's what I mean. So you <laughs> then have to pay somebody, because Jenny Jackson gets her dad to cut all her papers out and yeah. everything. So you'd have well, to... Yeah, you can get specific <coughs> dyes for them, but uh, so you can see there that that's it's a long um, edge to glue. Yeah. But and you could thread base these if you want to. If you thread based, then you have to take the um, 
well you can do blind thread basting of course but yeah. not on all shapes but you have to take the threads out at the end of the yeah, project yeah of course this way you're just taking the papers out and you're done aren't you yeah 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 but some people really don't like no 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 i understand so yeah that's just again just using the glue and just trying to get it a nice finish there and you never cut your dog ears off do you at any point i don't cut my dog ears off i do, when i do cut the triangles i would snip the points off oh you would yes and then not these dog ears no but when i would to save bulk i would snip the tops off so you've got your triangle there and then it's just a matter of getting the two blocks and you can see you're joining here right now you could if you wanted to you could get your seam allowance from here and so but it would be more tricky I think than hand sewing oh no no I understand that yeah so we're just going to sew along along this so it's literally the same thing but I've never seen an EPP of this size done before no, so no, it's no, literally you just line it up with the edge of the yeah. where it's supposed to join and you could pin it if you want to make it make sure it's you know bang on or use right. a clover clip or something yeah 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 you could just pin it at that that corner if you didn't want it to shift because it's quite it is quite a big piece so it, it it's got the potential to shift hasn't it uh-huh yeah and so we just start the we just start the sewing again and it's you know it's just uh, as i said before i just love the fact that it's a, a whole hand sewn project so it's not it's not like normal where no, 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 don't mean to say normal it's not like where you're making you don't ever make a finished square because you've got your shape of your coloured one in the inside and then you're just fitting triangles in between them it's so you never end up because you know like on quilts we're so used to ending up yeah you have yeah. your shape and then you put your corners on your corners on yeah. and then it's a square that's where you got your half blocks but this is yeah so this is never ever a square so you put that on to that one by that one yeah and that one to that one by that one and then at the end here you've got the other ones to square off the end yeah, but you yeah. never ever end up with no. uh, 12 squares to no, then join don't. together no that's why it's in rows yeah um, because it's you know it's the easiest way to to make it so you would make your complete row yes and then you would sew your rows together then did you then hand stitch the rows together as well yeah. well it was a team effort at alice caroline oh no I'm no gonna, I'm, I'm sure i'm not gonna lie everybody made a block actually oh uh, yeah it was really fun we we do these like sewing nights and so yeah we all made and a charge block. overtime for it of course, no. of course. So, so you basically you've made that row and you've made that row and then you put them together yeah. and stitch them together. Yeah. Do you do it the same way as we're doing? Because there won't be any yeah. paper. Are the papers still in? The papers are still in. Oh, okay. You right. keep the papers in. <coughs> right, that's a good point. So I will show you how to take the papers out. Right. Okay. So, so and sorry, I've made you jump in. No, no. It's so fine. on there, you've just literally sewed down all that side of that triangle. Yes. And then you get your next block and you line your next block yes. up to do the whole row. Yes. But before this point, I, when it's small, it's good to keep the papers in because it gives it structure. Yeah. But at this point, if you've sewn around all the edges of your papers, of your piece, then you can take the papers out. But not the ones on the outside. Not the ones on the outside. So everything on the edge, yep. all of these need to stay. will need to stay. So okay. anything that's got a, an open joint will have to stay. Right. Everything else you can take out. And, and you you're literally just peeling back the fabric where you've glued yeah. it onto them. Yeah, so you're literally peeling it back. And if you're doing this a year out. later, um, the best way is give it a quick press with your iron because that will loosen off the glue as yeah, well. Yeah, or a bit of water. A bit of water. A tiny bit of water. Well, we won't water anywhere near it. Well, no, it, 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 they're water-soluble glue pens, I know, aren't but they? you know what I mean? You're thinking this is my best Liberty fabric. I don't want to get a cotton tip. We've got to wash it at some point. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Uh, that's a good point. You probably should hand wash this quilt once it's finished. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, you see, so some of those bits <coughs> have caught the paper. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, you just pull out. Yeah. And it does make it, once it, once it gets large, yeah. you'll find you want to take the papers out. Keep the papers in for storing your blocks while you're making them, because uh -huh. it keeps them all nice and flat. And then, at this point, to make it a bit easier to sew you take your papers out mm -hmm. so you can carry on and take right, them okay. out and, and then but you it just put makes your triangle. it a bit easier yes i see what you yeah, mean yeah you yeah. see and then you can sew your triangles in 
and then your rows together. And again, you know, just a really nice, complete hand sewn finished project. So the oh, just to reiterate, all of the all of the shapes for all of the patterns are already cut out for you. The only ones you have to cut out are in that finishing here in the instructions of he go oh they go the, the, to make the, the oh come on John to make the diamonds in between you have to cut these out now you cut out on the line on the line cut out on the line but then you cut your fabric quarter of an inch bigger than that so you can fold yeah. it over and then these ones so they're the ones that go between the blocks and they're the ones that go at the end of the rows yep so that you have to cut those out we but do everything paper else scissors. is cut for you with your paper scissors with your paper not scissors your fabric not scissors. your fabric scissors <laughs> yes mum well, you, you ruin your fabric scissors. You certainly would cut that much out. <coughs> and there was, I was going to ask another question then. Hang on. Okay, come to me. Cut the paper. Out. What other top tips can we give? So we've done thread. We've done needle. Yes, it's funny. It's like something just went through my brain and then it's gone again. It doesn't you take much. You can use your clips. All yeah. Threads. Good light source, we've done that, haven't mm -hmm. we? Yeah, so, and actually, the, the one of the really, really lovely things about this as a sewing project, you don't really need very much to do it. You yeah. need the kits, and you need a needle, and some thread and some scissors. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. And, you know, if for a, if you don't have much room, or you don't, you know, like to have much equipment, then, you know, it's No, a great exactly, project. because you mean, you don't need a machine or anything. Did, did the uh, binding go on by hand as well? I think it, yes, it was. That's Obviously, cool. yes, they've, uh, they've used some Liberty fabric for the back, you don't get the backing no, it, in. Yeah, it's been handbound. <laughs> sewn on the front and then handbound yeah, to the yeah, back. Yeah. That's probably how I would do it, because, you know, I, it's, if it's a hand sewn project, I'll. Oh, no, no, I, like I agree. I agree. I was about to say, what you could do is you could all take, like you were saying, everybody at Alice Caroline made a block, but then if you did that in a sewing group, at the end, who's going to have, you know, you're going to write, well, I, I made that. I made that. I want mine yeah, back. Yeah, this is the thing. We, we don't fight about it, Alice Caroline, because, you know, it's, it's Surrey Street, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, no, no, what I was thinking was, if you made it in a group, you could then auction it off for charity or something like that yeah, to like make money for, for a charity or something. Yeah, That'd yeah, be yeah. nice, wouldn't like it? From the, qu from the quilting, yeah, quilting yeah. guild of Long Marsden or something. It'd yeah, yeah, gift, yeah. That's a lovely it? idea. Yeah. And then, like you say, you've got the pattern and you've got all the papers to make it in your own. You go go to Liberties, buy loads of Liberty fabric or buy some from us and completely make it in your own colourways. Yeah, that's the other thing. You see, if you made that in like greens and reds and golds, it'd be a beautiful Christmas. Oh, Christmas shapes as well, wouldn't it? Oh, you're giving people ideas now, yeah. yeah. You have to get all your, your, your charms in your next hour. Yes, exactly, exactly. Not Christmas charms, yes. No, we've got Chris Christmas, we've got some, oh no, it's quilting with the Christmas. Oh, is it? I was yeah. going to say it's a bit early for Christmas, but it's not early no, for no, Christmas, No, no, it's it? in July, isn't it? No, no, we've got some of um, some uh, that we're going to reduce later. <laughs> oh, I've, ru I've ruined the surprise. Sorry, oh, sorry, everybody, I've ruined the surprise. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so, you, you know, the beauty in this quilt are all the different prints. Yeah, of course. You know, like you were saying about you know, a classic or, you know, this is a William Morris print. Uh, oh, I've, ha I've hand-basted that one there, you can see. Oh, and you're not taking the threads out yet? Was that you or did somebody else make that one? No, I've made this. Oh, I made you're it on the, showing the, the two different shows. versions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, if, you, if I went into a shop and thought, well, I'm going to buy some Liberty fabrics to match, I wouldn't necessarily put that red with that green, with that purple, with that blue. All of that's been done for you, hasn't it? So yeah. you know that there's no worry that you think you're sitting it going, oh, I don't know if this purple goes with this red. You know that it's been tried and tested by not only... So who will have designed it? Will Alice Caroline have designed it? Or Al the Alice and Laura. Will have designed yeah. the whole thing. So, so you Alice is like the head of Alice Caroline. Yeah. And she, you know, she's like the main designer. But we've got an another amazing designer, Laura, yeah. who would basically put it all up on a screen and like color match the balance it all that's so what that, i mean so you don't because <clears> if we if we were chosen those colors as you, yourself yeah. you could end up with one corner of all the dark colors and yeah. one bit i think it's not balanced whereas your design team and then you have all stitched together i'm sure yeah. at some point you've gone oh alice this yellow don't go with this blue you know what i mean and she'll <laughs> yeah. have slapped you and yeah so alice done. and laura will like talk about all the color balance yeah. and 
you know, like all that fabric would go really nicely there. Yeah, so, so all that stress is because if you choose yourself, sometimes it's like, it's hard. why did I choose that? It's you know, really, ooh. yeah, that, and that's, that's the dark art of design. Yeah, no, of course it's, it's the dark art. Well, we, call, we call it all dark. Lots of things dark art. It's actually the dark art of, yeah. of designing. And, but it and is, it is, and market. it's a gift, isn't it? You know, some people have got it, some people haven't. Yeah, but. and we've, you know, we've got the, the benefit of having all of the pictures mm. of 600, 700 Liberty fabrics, so you can just zip it in and oh, go, but oh, that oh, works amazingly. Oh, no, oh no, that doesn't work well. Oh, you know, so that that's one of the beautiful things about it as well. And so, I, I mean, I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And you do as well, because it's absolutely flying out. Shall I just do, while you're sitting there, I might just yeah, do a recap yeah. of what we've had. Row four is in at the moment. That's this one here. That's the one we'll work on, the bottom one. This is row four. It's the one that we're working on today. So it's got the dark red triangles at the end. There, that's that one. That's the row we're doing now. 79.99, split pay 39.99. Loads have gone. So many have gone, I can't tell you. <laughs> Bruce is agreeing with me, that's fine. 79.99, that's row four, remember? There's the picture of row four. We've got the finishing pack today, which is all the cream you need for all the triangles between the blocks and your binding. Uh, now, um, this is totally not exclusive to this, to this project. That is a Liberty print that's been recolored by Alice Caroline, not available anywhere else at this moment in time. So that's all your triangles. It's all your triangles between your blocks and your binding. $39.99. I've got it here, Hannah. It's it. This one, you mean? Yeah. Right, then I've also got uh, row three available. Remember, split pay. Oh, it'll come drop down in a minute. That's your row three, which is that one there. $79.99. Uh, there it goes, 39, it's very slow today, isn't it? 39.99 split pay, if you want to take the split pay option. Beautiful. Then I've also got row two. We haven't got row one. Row one is completely and utterly sold out. But you could substitute it with one of the other rows if you wanted to. 79.99. Obviously the instructions don't come on their own. It's a pack, it's a deal, it's a... Project all in one. Sorry, we used lots of words that made no sense there. So that one there is your row two. And then your finishing one is this one. I thought you'd be shown this. 39.99. Losing losing the what's it to what's it today? 39.99. Right, while you're still sitting there, I'm going to show you what um, Anna's going to be doing in her next hour. It's this. It's one of four. We've already done spring. This one is summer. And there are different techniques in there. There's applique, there's piecing, and there's EPP. Yep. Is there any foundation paper piecing? There's not in that one, is there? No. No. But you get the whole, you get everything to make that, apart from your bonder web. Everything to make, and your wadding, everything to make that in your next hour. So we've done spring, this is summer, we've got autumn coming in, or, or, or July. July. <laughs> Sorry, it's a and bit early. And we've got winter coming in? Uh, September. September. Okay, that's at uh, that's, uh, 11 o'clock. Oh, hang on. Is there anything else you need to say about the construction of this one? No. No? All right, then fine. We'll go for a break. We're going to go for a break, make sure you check out. Uh, now, I've got in the next hour, I've got some Liberty fabric, but it's not Tarna Lawn, it's quilting weight. We've also got some William Morris and some patterns and some Christmas fabric, which I'm going to reduce, which I wasn't supposed to tell you. And Anna will be back in an hour to do that summer. And we've got some little squares as well coming up in that hour. Thank you ever so much. That was brilliant. Uh, keep all that safe because you went, oh no, there's no row in another row. We won't be doing this again. No, this is the end. Oh. No, you can't have the quilt. Hannah's going, can I have the quilt? <laughs> anyway, I'll see, you in, I'll see you in four minutes. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools?
and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Town Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter 
or visit the program guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Do you know what? You have to be able to multitask here. I had two people talking to me at the same time. I've got both the, got both the gists of it. I'll just move that out of the way. Uh, anyway, um, I've got gorgeous fabric this hour. Beautiful fabrics coming up. <coughs> I'm going to start with the two that were meant to be a surprise. These are by the half meter. They are Liberty Ribbon Christmas, Christmas Ribbon even. I've got it in green and I've got it in blue. It's by the half meter. So you're buying it off the bolt, ready to go. I think this is cute, this one. Right, it should be £7.49 for half meter. It's uh, merry and bright, all wrapped up. It's not ribbon fabric, it's all wrapped up. Bang. Uh, there we go, it's 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight, 100% cotton, beautiful. Now it's not like we just used, that was Tarn at oh. £2 saving per half a metre, that's £4 a metre off. Go to Liberties and try and buy, oh excuse me, go and buy a metre of fabric from Liberties, that's all I'm saying. Gorgeous, keep going through, any messages you want, get them through, you've gone very quiet with your messages. We got very quiet, gone, Facebook's gone a bit quiet as well. Anyway, £5.49 for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? All the different coloured ribbons. Christmas trees, stars, dots. <coughs> Excuse me. Have you seen that, lo seen that lovely Xena Princess Warriors on Jewelry Maker today? Don't go now. You can go in the break and have a look at her. Say hello. £5.49 for half a metre. That's the green one. Now, I've also got it in the bleu. Le bleu. It's a very, very dark navy, this one. Beautiful. Hang on, I've got, I've not got enough room on the desk. Hang on. Another two pounds off this one. There we go. Beautiful, £5.49, half a metre. It's Liberty Quilting Weight Cotton, 100% cotton, machine washable, 44 inches wide. Good morning, Dawn, loving the ribbons. Never too early for Christmas. You, no, never is. They could actually, apart from the Christmas tree there, <coughs> they could, it could be an Easter tree, could be a birthday tree, could be a... Um, Fourth of July tree, holiday tree, I love you tree, morning, Morag, what, what, oh thank you, Morag is making jammy dodger biscuits, how do you make jammy dodger, oh, well it doesn't matter, I bet they're delicious, but you can buy them in the supermarket you know, um, I have, no Dawn, I have an all-round tree. It's my Feng Shui tree in my bed, not in my bedroom. What's that room? My lounge. I know. It's got all those um, lovely things you've bought me and Hannah bought me this animal. Was it a camp? I think it was a camel, wasn't it? 
No, it's there. It's weird, isn't it? Because it's only when someone else comes in and has to go, oh, I love your feng shui tree. And you kind of think, oh, yeah, I've got a great big tree in the corner of my lounge, all these things hanging off it. Anyway, moving on. They're the, <coughs> they're the only two I'm crashing. Right, Riviera Bundles. One with the beach huts first. <coughs> these, <coughs> excuse me. These are limited. Oh, I love this fabric. So this is a bundle where you get half a metre of each of these. So you get half a metre of the seashells, half a metre of the multicoloured flowers. That is just glorious, isn't it? Half a metre of that and half a metre of the beach huts. 29.96 for two metres of fabric. Bless you. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Oh, two left. Two left. You're very busy today. You're very quick today. <laughs> what are you saying, hun? Biz <laughs> She's saying busy to herself. Cat, did that bumblebee quilt get put away? It's just the front of a quilt that um, Delphine made there. We had it out uh, yesterday, I think it was. Anyway. Twenty nine ninety six. That's going to sell out. Remember, it's quilting weight fabric. This is not your tarn or lawn. Yeah, green boated one. Right here we go. So you get the green boats. Look with the fishes and the flowers. You get the gorgeous flower bundle. Oh, that's nice. Look like anemones, those don't they? And then seaweed. Twenty nine ninety six. How many of these have we got? Oh, only six of these left now. I'm intrigued in about jammy, jammy dodgy biscuits, me. £29.96. Getting yeah, all four of those. I might miss, move them around like that. There you go. That creaking you hear isn't me, it's the chair, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> That was me. Yeah, that wasn't the chair. Twenty nine ninety six. Keep it's a competition. Get no prizes, just guess. Right now, does it matter which one next? That's so. Yeah. So shells, blue flowers. Oh, now I've got seven of these left now. That's all. Oh, I love these. Once they've gone, they've gone. John, you sound less streamy today. Did you go to the doctors? Bernie, I did go to the doctors and they told me, come back on Tuesday. So I've got an appointment on Tuesday morning and it's not even with a doctor, it's with a breathing specialist. <laughs> they said, oh, you'll be speaking to Leanne. I went, oh, is she a new doctor? And she, no, she's our breathing specialist. I was like, um, okay. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. I know, you can't go in, can you, and say, I want an appointment, you have to go in and wait for them to call you up. Anyway, it's fine, I've got an appointment Tuesday morning, I'm not going to moan. But yeah, I'm more chesty today, it's kind of gone to my chest day rather than streaming today. Yesterday was disgusting, I know. Oh no, you'd have hated it, Hannah. You'd have seen what we have to put up with, they're the other 50 weeks of the year down here. Yeah, <laughs> Hannah's been on holiday, had no allergies, no hay fever, nothing. Landed back in the Britain, boom. Right, these are by the half metre, aren't they now? Yeah, with the, but they're not, they're not this range, are they? No, that's fine then. So these are now by the half metre. So this one here is EO, EO, YV78. These are from the Riviera, Riviera, Riviera collection. These are from the Riviera collection. Uh, 749 for half a metre. This is our latest, this is our latest Liberty collections. Hardly any of it left at all. And there's less than 10 metres this one now. <coughs> Thanks, Ken. £7.49 for half a metre. But now you're buying off the bolts. So if you want three metres to make something, you can have three metres to make something. Do you know what I mean, Harry? Gorgeous, moving on. 
I've got some little girls um, dress patterns coming up in a minute. These are lovely made up in those. Then I've got, oh, this is pretty. P-E-Y-V-40. Oh, isn't that lovely? Look at that all over print. <coughs> Excuse me. What's the matter? Okay. This is vintage, so, no, Riviera Vintage Summer Wildflower Poppy. My poppies are coming up now. My cosmoses are looking lovely. My two big rose bushes, are oh, the whole rose garden looks fabulous. Just need a bit of nice weather to sit out there in. Beautiful. That's lovely. It's £7.49. For half a metre, obviously, you can buy it off the bolt now. That, that single, that single, that's a bundle. Right, next one is KVYV31. This is Poppy again, Wildflower Poppy. It's lovely, it's the same as the last one, just a different coloration. They're lovely, aren't they? £7.49, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Do you cut your roses off or try and make them last? Oh, no, no, I leave them where they are. Just do what Lynch does. And then every now and then I go and do deadheading. <coughs> but it does remind me of when my nan was in hospital. And I'm going back years and years and years now, like 40 years now. And uh, I used to go around picking roses for her on a Sunday afternoon before we went to visit her in hospital. She broke her leg and she didn't come out of hospital for a year. Oh, no. No. Barrowmore, I think it was called Barrowmore Hospital. It was in the countryside. It was nice, it was nice, but I don't know why she was there so long. And then a couple more of On Their Own. This is pretty, this one. This one is um, IJYV86. Summer Meadow, this one's called. <coughs> Uh, bright Summer Meadow, this one is. Bright Summer Meadow. Don't think I can name any of those flowers. Maybe Forget-Me-Nots. Hannah says she'd never forget me. That's what they say. And then, you know, I bet Kat can't remember who we are now. Now she's moved on. She not even text you today. Oh, no. Normally, by now, we'd have about ten voicemails from Cat each, but nothing. She'd be watching at home. Coastal flowers. These are called. Oh, sorry, I was a bit ahead of myself there. Sorry. What kind of flowers do you think they are then? If they're coastal. Alpine. Alpine. <coughs> On the seaside. Don't they wilt over your lawn? No, Dawn, they're big, sturdy rose bushes. I'll take a picture and put it on my Facebook when I've got time. I think Facebook's had enough for me now, for the time being. Love that one. Now I've got a couple of little girls' dress patterns. Because you were able to buy those fabrics by the half metre. Which one would you like to do first? Yeah, but I know which one you mean. This one. Ki Kiki, Dungaree. Now, this is size 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Why did you put 3 to 14? I don't know. It's cute now. There's variations galore in here. Look, A, B. E, C, D, F. Dungarees. Are they little skirts on there? Dungarees. <coughs> I think they are, aren't they? Dunga skirts. They're lovely. That's so cute, isn't it? I suppose they put the trousers in for the older children, but they can be any... any hang on. You can do any of them. Look, that's really good value for money, isn't it? If you think you can do... Let me just see what the difference is. That square bib... 
rounded bib, um, rounded bib with pocket, square bib with pocket, and then dungaree as we know them, with square front and rounded front. Six different versions in there. Oh yeah, Viv, they did look like dog roses. I agree with you that. Oh, June's loving the deep brown sexy voice today. June. <coughs> it comes with the odd cough. Sandra. Morning, John and team. Sorry, Mr. Start of the show. Are we served by your book on Sunday? Can't wait. Yes, Sandra. It's there. It's there. Can you see? Um, you can. Now, it's not just pre-order on Sunday. It's, you can buy it and it'll be shipped out on the Monday. So rather than, remember originally we were going to put on pre-order this Sunday and it was going to be shipped next week. It's going to be shipped straight away. So we'll be leaving the building. They're all in the warehouse, all ready to go. Uh, other pattern. This one's the Mabel tea dress. So this one is in sizes six months, 12 months, 24 months, three years and four years. And there'll be variations, look. Oh, and a hat. She's not even wearing the hat. I bet she threw a tantrum, refused to. So look, you've got the one. Then now they're very on trend, those sleeves, aren't they? They were like, and fitted sleeve with like a big frill around the bottom. Then you've got your sleeves that she's got there. Then she's got the sleeves you've got there gathered in. And then sleeveless. And the little hat. Or bonnet. £12.49, <coughs> excuse me, £12.49, the Mabel tea dress, is cute isn't it? Liberty Sewing Club. Gorgeous. Now, <coughs> I've got Emily Bell, Emily Bell, Wiltshire Shadow, Wiltshire Shadow, and Tile and Tile. Oh, of course, they're not there on that side, aren't they? Sorry. Blue Emily Bells. This will sell out today. I can't make any more. We might get it back in stock, but at the moment, there's no more in stock to make any of these bundles up. Are they the bundle yet? 22.47. Half metre of the pale blue, half metre of the mid, half metre of the navy. Only two of those remaining now. You're loving your liberty this morning. Gorgeous. One of those, just one left now. Oh no, sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Got the other Emily Bell. I love these colours. Look at these together. So remember, you get half a metre of each, 22.47. So you get the magenta, you get the mustard, and you get the tangerine. That's what I'm calling them anyway. I don't know if they're the right colours. Oh, no. Golden ochre, tangerine, and magenta. I've got two out of three. Yeah, I could work for Liberty, couldn't I? 2247. Uh, and says, great news about your book. I've just received my Jubilee badge, so I can use the code. Oh, yeah, you can. Yes, you can, indeed. And you get a signed photo with it as well. Yeah, uh, Hannah singing the official Jubilee song. I don't remember hearing it at the concert. I fast forwarded through a lot of that concert, I have to say. And why did they make those kids sit all the way through it? It's just unfair, isn't it? £22 and 47 pence. Were the puppets? Oh, I didn't see the parade. I only saw the concert. I, I, I tried to find the, par the parade on catch up, but I can't find the parade. Anyway. Beautiful. £22.47. Love those three colours. Single figures. Right, these are... Right, now, one's a mix, isn't it? And one's... Yeah. So this one is all Wiltshire Shadow. So you get pink, <coughs> plum, and ivory. 
The other photo I'm going to try and get too because you can't see this one. Raspberry Road Central and Right Whites, they're called. So I've got all three of those wrong. I must have had the day off when we did Wiltshire Shadow colouring in. I know, they're beautiful, aren't they? The colours of the Wiltshire Shadows are beautiful, aren't they? Have you not got any in the cupboard? And I fancy some raspberry jam, jammy dodges, you see? It's all tying in now. Twenty-two forty-seven. Beautiful. Now this one's a mix of Wiltshire Shadow, Wiltshire Shadow, and then you've got a little bit of Emily Bell there. <coughs> okay, Cream Classic. I would say it was Sorbet Speciality, this one. I don't know why they've called it Cream Classic. Magnolia, Petal and Shell. Okay. I've got no idea. That's Magnolia. Yeah. <laughs> Shell and Petal. I love it. I love that colourway, but I wouldn't call it cream, that's all. So you get two um, Wiltshire Shadows, one Emily Bell. <coughs> they look beautiful in your stash, wouldn't they? Gorgeous. Next. I've got one more Liberty thing. Do you want to do that or not? And then, and then, and then we'll just, that's it done then, isn't it? Then it's Liberty covered then, and then we can concentrate on William Morris then. Now, this is a quilt that um, Delphine made. Honeybee quilt. Thank you. Now, you can make both the quilt and the cushion from this bundle. So, what you get in the bundle is you get um, half a metre of black, half a metre of white. I think it's uh, two metres of the grey. And then you get these fat eighths, right? And the, obviously the instructions. Now you can do it FPP or piecing, the choice is yours, right? Here's the quilt. That's the quilt, there. And this is the cushion. 46.99, right. Hannah is gonna match Kat's price. Now Kat was in a strange mood yesterday because it was her last day. She was doing all sorts of things. Thirty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's the quilt there. You can see there. It's cute, isn't it? So each of your bumblebees are a different colour. Yeah, I said that yesterday. Look how they're written fat eights. Eight f eights. <laughs> anyway, I mean, if you think about the patterns, worth nine. Well, it's worth more than nine ninety-nine because it's two patterns in there. Plus all that lovely fabric. The beauty. It's all Wiltshire Shadow, remember? But in your different range, in your different colourways. So each of your bumblebees are different colours. So the white is for the wings, the black's for the body and the head, and then these are the rest of the stripy bodies and the grey is your background. <coughs> Excuse me. Coffee, coffee. Stunning. Third six ninety nine. Quilt and a cushion. Delphine. Oh, I saw last night the project she's doing, one of the projects she's doing for my birthday show. Oh, amazing. Uh, amazing. Honeybee quilt. Now, where would you like to go next then? On the fabric or the goodies or the quilt kit? Fabrics first. Oh, I love these. These are the Moda William Morris. And I'd have all these if I could. Because now, remember, oh, I haven't seen Hannah for so long. So when it was Dulcie's birthday, I had all these people come to stay. I splashed out on William Morris sheets and duvet covers and pillowcases. I know, I've got Strawberry Thief. 
On my bed, I, I don't think I've got the one on my bed. It's very, very gold and luscious. Right, so I've got strawberry thief, just one strawberry thief I got, yeah. Now these are by the half meter off the bolt, remember? This only has been on there once before, you know, so it's brand new. We've seen other strawberry thieves, but this was lovely. Look at the colour, very natural colours, these. We've called it, uh, brown. <laughs> Took me a while to find that, it's brown. I would say that the predominant colour in that is green, personally, but maybe they've just colored, named it after the background fabric, brown. Beautiful. £7.49. I've got a honeysuckle in a few colours, haven't I? Yeah. I love the £7.49 for half me, 100% cotton from Modar. Oh, now there's no quote. There's normally a quote, isn't there? Best of Morris by Barbara Brackman, Modar, 100% cotton. Anyway. Love the strawberry thief. Now, honeysuckle, I've got it in that colour. I've got it in that colour. I've got it in that colour. Well, that's it, I think. Yeah, that's it. So I've got honeysuckle in three colours, look. Oh, aren't they delicious? Which, oh, now I've got it in brown. Should we do that one first? DJW102. You see, I'm seeing home furnishing, I'm seeing cushions. I want to get a William Morris wallpaper for my hall and my landing. I still haven't done any of that. There's no carpet on the stairs. There's still a crack in the lounge ceiling. There's still a hole in the kitchen floor, uh, ceiling. But they had lovely, no, the bed, guest bedrooms are all lovely. They're just getting there. Mind you, they're all so drunk after Dulcie's party. Anyway, isn't it beautiful? £7.49. This is floral vine on bran. Bran. It's lovely, isn't it? You see, I don't normally like brown in fabrics, but I love that. You all right over there? You know, Kat didn't have hay fever earlier. Oh, she's sneezing now. That's stunning. Next, would you like to do red or... You see, I love honeysuckle. I've got one honeysuckle in my garden. It's just a little bit weird. Well, I planted it and it grew and then the top on the trellis is all full leaves and bloom and everything, but from the floor to about six foot high, it's just a stalk. No. Seven pound 49 for half a meter, home percent cotton. Good morning, John Scott. You still sound a little poorly. Some William Morris fabric to match. I've been asked some William Morris fabric to match my Lewis and Irene Celtic dreams in purple. I've got no purple today. Got a couple of blues. Anyway, keep your eye out. Okay, that's lovely. Now we're moving on. Now is this black or navy, this one? RWW146, let's have a look. <coughs> Oh, they're called on black. It might be black. I think it's midnight. Rather than jet black, I think it's midnight. I think that's what it is. Lovely, though, isn't it? £7.49 for half a metre. What are you going to make out of it? I know we've sold loads and loads of this at the launch. It was so popular. Can't really go wrong with William Morris, can you? So that's on, they're calling it on black. I'd say it was more of a midnight. It's only seven metres of that one left. It's only been on air once before. Now, what pattern are we going with now? Okay, then let's do this one because I love this one. I think I've got it in three colours. Yep, three colours. Oh, this is so 1920s, isn't it? It's so beautiful. 
Which one would you like to do first? That's red. Yeah. It's beautiful. Look at it. So this one is called your win Pimpernel. And it's in deep red. The background's deep red. <coughs> then you've got beautiful greens on there. Ochres, yellows, creams. In the break, Alan came in and said, I've got to go and do a voiceover after the show. Good luck with that one, eh? Ugh. £7.49. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Nothing else but gorgeous. I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the print. Homeware. I mean, buying it off the bolt, you see, this look lovely in a skirt. Big circular skirt with thick tights and boots. I'm talking winter now, obviously. Patchwork jilt, quilted jacket. Chilted, yeah, you could do a jilted jacket. Patchwork quilted jacket, look lovely in this. Morning, John. At the end of September, cut the honeysuckle right down. It's only four inches of showing and it should grow and bloom lovely. Oh, thank you, Jane. Danny should have known that then, shouldn't he? Danny my gardener. In September, September. I'm imagining the end of September it'll still be in full bloom. Now I've got uh, ZBW146. It's pretty, isn't it? <coughs> oh, we knew she wouldn't be long before she came back. She's not talking to me now. It's cats in the gallery. Why aren't you talking to me? Oh, she's gone already. She'll come this way round in a minute. Here you go. Yeah. Uh, this is a brown, Hannah, this one. What's the matter, Kat? Why aren't you talking to me? Oh, look at you dressing up. She got all dressed up for her first day. It's not really her first day, because she's doing freelance today. She doesn't actually start at Maker till the 15th. Oh, she bought them yesterday with her higher wages, you see. I was going to say you look lovely, but she's gone. No, she's gone. She's gone. Uh, 7.49, half a metre. We have to do her menu later. She was just coming in to remind us. And then this one is luscious. ASW114. It's going to say black, isn't it, this one? Black. Uh, it's, again, it's the midnight one, I'd say. No. I love all the detailing in it and everything like that. Stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Isn't it? See, I can see a dress in this. Hannah's seeing um, household, housewares. Lots and lots of housewares. Beautiful. Yes, now I've got willow. I've got some willow in two colours. Hang on, let's just sort this out. Then I've got a iris in one colour. Then I've got the rabbit fabric in one colour. Hang on, I'm just... Are these all the same? Yeah, and then these are all the same, I think. Oh, mm, yeah, I think they're all the same. Right. Rabbit first, because it's about to sell out. One and a half metres, this one left, if you want this one. <coughs> Look, there's the big rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit. I tell you what, these mornings driving in at the moment, there's so much wildlife out on the streets. To yesterday, there were so many monk jacks. There were like hundreds, well, not hundreds, that's exaggerating. Just from my village. Not hundreds. It wasn't like, you know, Meryl Streep in I Have a Farm in Africa. What was that? What was that film called? She played like Edwardian lady on a farm in Africa. At a farm in Africa. Anyway, that was the one where my friend Jenny, right, my, Jen, Jen, my friend Jenny looks after Meryl on all the film shows, like her costumes, everything. Well, no, she's on Doc Martin at the moment, but not Meryl. Meryl's not on Doc Martin, Jenny is. Yeah, so uh, it was the first morning she was getting Meryl ready and it was like she wore stiff, her costume was like a stiff 
collar and a tie and to put them on what you do is you tie the tie this is a little trick of the trade you tie the tie to the left hand side the right hand side and then you pull it around like that and it fits nicely nicely over the stud at the front anyway she put the tie up like that and then she pulled it let go of the tie and she just thumped Meryl Streep in the face Meryl Streep went flying across the dressing room and everything and Jenny thought that's it that's it this is the end of it, and they've become best friends. They're really, really good friends. That was donkey's years ago. It's before I even worked in the film industry. I had a farm in Africa. And then there was nice swelling music, and there was all the... What was that called? I can't remember now. Anyway, £7.49. Out of Africa. Thank you, Dawn. It was called Out of Africa. Oh, yes, Mus in Suffolk. Thank you, Out of Africa. Bunny's about to sell out. Sold out. Iris. There's five meets this one left. Now it's Iris and Spotty Birds, look. Oh, and then there's a very sly looking bird there. Anyway. <coughs> thank you, everyone out of Africa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Trees are such beautiful fabrics. I drive to work down little lanes at 3.30 in the morning and there are so many young foxes and badgers about. Today I saw a barn owl. Oh, do you know what? When I drive down Station Road going into my village, the amount of times an owl flies level with me in the morning. It's beautiful. I can see them in my stash. What, the animals in the morning? Or these fabrics? Oh, okay. <laughs> So what's this one called? Iris Floral Vinyl Cream. <coughs> it's called Out of Africa. Out of Africa, not this fabric. Oh, Bruce is getting upset now. Stop texting. You don't want to upset Bruce. He's like one of those blue torch, like, you know, fine, fine, fine. Like that. £10.49. Not blue torch. Paint, you know, like a firework. Beautiful, Iris. Now, let's we do Willow. I, I think it's called Willow. Put it in two colours. Blue one first. Nice. Love the way it blends between the blue and the green. <coughs> Seven pound forty nine for half a meter, hundred percent cotton, machine washable, quilting weight. <coughs> I love that. That's isn't this one like? Oh no, it's the next one maybe. Which is the one that Giles and Mary have on um, um, goggle box? I think it's this one, isn't it? One like that. This maybe not. They have the chair and the wall. Oh, I know Willow, who's four years old today, says Dawn. Ah. Morning, John, says Prince. Oh, no, Princess, I meant to ask this morning. It's been too hectic to ask, but I'll definitely ask. I've, def I've, I've definitely got two with mine at home. Yesterday, I did the Gemini machine, and I said you get two metal plates with it, right? And Princess said she only got one with hers. Now, I know when mine was delivered, I got two with it. But I don't know if mine was one, because mine was from the, up in the office in Newcastle. I will definitely find out for you, though. £7.49. <coughs> OK, moving on. Now, I just need to check that these are all... I'm sure they're all the same pattern, but that flower... Oh, it is, yeah, it is, it is. So I've got this in four different colours. Two are very similar. Okay, we need to do this one first. Only two metres of this one left now. Anemone. Oh, hang on. Uh, uh, yeah, light blue, black. Ooh. Let's have a look. Large floral vine on light blue, black. Buy the half meat, £7.49. <coughs> Hang on, I'm just going to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the background, it's not textures, but it looks like there's a texture in the background. In fact, 
I can't quite figure it out. It is that like, does look like a tiny stripe, but I don't know how it stops and starts between the flowers. It's very clever. Definitely looks like there's some texture. Not texture, because it's the same texture, but like the background does look like it's got a dove, uh, like a shot with a different colour. We visited uh, Hilltop Beatrix Potter's house years ago, and these fabric remind me of the wallpaper in the bedroom. So beautiful, says Julie. I mean, they are, aren't they? I'd love that. I can't wait to get my um, hall and landing decorated. He says. The trouble is... Oh, the, ki the kitchen's going ahead, but in a different format. Um, but the trouble is, well, in the past, like Dulce keeps saying, get your hall and landing done, get your hall and stairs done. Every house I've had in the past, I've had the hall and landing done and then moved. It's been a kind of... And then I did see a rather lovely flat for sale in London at the weekend. Next, which one do you want to do next? Does it matter? Okay, so then we've got BMW. Well, it's a car, isn't it? BMW 190. This is lovely and rich, this one. Now, it says it's sage green. No, it's gorgeous. No, no, I mean, the background is like um, a biscuit. I'd call that biscuit. And then the leaves are sage green. Then that beautiful powder blue. No, not powder. Cornflower blue. Cornflower blue. Lovely. Is there anyone from Crafter's Companion in today? Do you know, if they've got Crafter's Companion on the show next door. I can ask Kat. I'll ask Kat in the break, darling. Lovely. Now, I wonder what they, these flowers are then. Anemones, but they both anemones because they've got different stamens or what those things are called inside than they have, haven't they? Oh, okay, so I can ask somebody from Crafter's Companion. Lovely. Righto, now I've got another bluey green one. Uh, 09, CLW109. lovely isn't it so it's got the blue background this one they've called it light blue I'd call it Air Force blue this one myself just so you know you, what colour you're getting it's lovely isn't it £7.49 now Got the red one next, which is DRW193. You see, it doesn't look different in a different colour. I mean, obviously it is different because it's a different colour, but it makes the whole pattern look different. Deep red, they've called this one. Oh, Phoenix. Hannah's calling this one Phoenix, like Phoenix Nights with Peter, what's K, yeah. Beautiful. And then last but not least is brown. We started with brown and we're finished with brown. Oh, this is stunning. <laughs> It's, I don't like brown fabric, right? And yet, that's beautiful. Very rich, isn't it? That one looks like a real rich Christmas cake. Not that I don't like Christmas cake either, but you know what I mean. Oh, there's only five metres that one left. Only five metres that one left. Uh, how do I choose when they're all so lovely? The deep red is stunning. I know, I know. I love this one. It depends on what project you're doing, I suppose. The project would have to be quite big as well, because I think you'd, if you chop this up, you might lose the impact. I don't know. I might be wrong. But I'd be worried about losing the impact of the fabric. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Right, that's William Morris' fabric all done now. Oh, no, no, it isn't. Tell a lie. Tell a lie. Now, these are very, very similar. The, I call it the tile fabric, right? There's, yep. Yeah. This is mint, this one. Is it tiles? Is it called tiles? It won't be. Hawkdale scroll, it's called. That's right, it always confused me because it's called scroll, this one. I think it's because there's a scroll inside each of the tiles. What? I did say we weren't crashing any more prices in this hour. Sorry, Jan. Five ninety-nine for half a meter. Cut off the roll. Now this is the mint version. I've got a grey version coming up in a second. Did you say your book is on pre-order? No, not till Sunday. On Sunday, you can, it's there. You can buy it. You can physically buy it on Sunday. What I was saying about pre-order is, you know, on a normal day, the, 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 the um, shop opens at half past seven, even though we don't come on air at eight o'clock. So from half past seven on Sunday morning, you'll be able to buy it. And it'll be sent out for you Monday, Tuesday. So you'll get it before my birthday. Beautiful. And then, last but not least, in the William Morris fabric, we've got scrolls in... Have they called it grey? Yeah. Silver! <coughs> well, if we took the last one down, we have to take this one down, don't we? Chicka chicka boom boom. Where are you? Five ninety nine. Beautiful. Maybe as a uh, lining for your handbag or something like that. Handbag. Now, I've got some William Morris gifts and a William Morris quilt. Well, I say William Morris, it's a strawberry thief quilt. Oh, can't do a little quilt. So I've got glasses, cases, I've got coasters. I've got um, manicure and I've got two trays you can sit and watch the telly in on your knee. Manicure, very popular on pre-order. Oh, does it? Your mum and dad are putting a lot on Facebook at the moment. Yeah. Lots, she's, she's obviously fallen back in love. Not they ever fell out of love, but they're obviously having a very romantic time at the moment. She didn't... Oh, she can do videos and hearts and things. Right, here we go. This is cute, isn't it? Look. Oh, come on, John. Oh. So, you get your little set in here. Your clippers, your scissors, your cuticle removers, your tweezers, your nail file and your pointy thing. Yeah, Christmas gift, says Bruce. He'd love one of these for Christmas if anyone's getting him anything. Eight pounds, 99 pence, is it a bit dark? Can you see that? Okay, then let me get things out then. Look, little scissors. I think, I don't know what that is, is that cuticles? Use that on your cuticles. Tweezers. Oh, hang on, I've left something in there. Nail file. That one there is obviously your nail clipper. And I'm thinking that's for your back friends, isn't it, that one? It's very extensive, isn't it, for £8.99? That one, or I've never seen that one or that one, really. They, normally you'd expect to get that, wouldn't you? I think that one there is for cutting your back, friends, like that. You know the little bits of skin? Oh, hang on. The little bit of skin that come there, I think it's for clipping those off. You see, mine are looking quite... It's because I've started taking um, collagen. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Wayne started losing it at 25, so I've been losing it for a long time, haven't I? Anyway, it's full of fish. Right? And I'm not supposed to eat fish, am I? Because it upsets my tummy. So I tried it when I was off. Didn't upset my tummy at all. So I'm glug it down. Uh, it's the one Peter Andre recommends. And then that one there, I think that's for pushing your cuticle back like that, isn't it? No, I think he got the, I think he stopped doing it. I think it's someone else now. But anyway, tastes very nice. It's wild berry flavour. And I checked it with my friend Nadine the other day when I saw Nadine, the beauty editor. She said it's fine as long as you get 10,000 thingies in one go, which I do in mine. Anyway, I've only, all I've noticed is my nails grow much quicker. My hair's been growing quicker and slight, um, the wrinkles under my eyes are slightly going. And then Nadine just went, oh, just come to my Botox lady. It'd be so much easier. <laughs> be a bit more expensive. The, this is only 29 pounds. The Botox would be like 700, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's move on. That's gorgeous. Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, have it in the birth, um, Father's Day. Father's Day gifts, you'll have it by Father's Day. Glasses cases, in which version? Strawberry Thief in red. I know. Just, well, Hayley's not watching. Just like what they've been left on. Right, so you get this, and you get the matching cloth, and you can fit your glasses in lovely like that. You can't see that in there, can you? Lovely cloth. How much are they? Eleven ninety-nine. I love the fact that the cloth matches. <coughs> right, you're going to find that at the bottom. You know when you go look, my my um, glasses cases are all brown. So you look at them in the bottom of your bag, you can't see them for love nor money, can you? Beautiful, that's that one. Then I've got, I've got Golden Lily and I've got a bright blue one. Oh, seaweed. Oh, there's only one left. There's only one seaweed left. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? That's really nice. Look at the cloth. It's a proper cloth, it's not just a bit of cotton thrown in, it's proper cloth. In fact, they've used the cloth to cover the case with, haven't they? Only one of those available, that one's about to go. It's lovely though, isn't it, that packet? Look. Gorge. Now I've got Golden Lily in green. <coughs> Bright, another bright one. Eleven ninety nine. There's your golden lily um, cloth. Beautiful. Oh look, it's perfect time this hour, isn't it? Now, I, oh. <laughs> it's like, I wouldn't get able to get to do that again. I put it on like that and the air got in it. It shot out again. Right, trays. I've got these that Margaret bought me for my birthday. Or was it Christmas last year? Mine's got the skyline of New York on it, though, mine. Not very William Morris. 27 99 Strawberry Thief. What it is, is, look, this is full of polystyrene balls. So if you're sitting, having your lunch or your dinner on your lap, watching the telly, watching Love Island... I haven't seen last night, so don't tell me what happened last night. 27.99. I caught up yesterday with that. What was the other thing I watched last night? Secret Life of the Zoo, I finished that now. Um, Love Island and Location, Location, Location last night. I have such a fascinating life, don't I? 27.99, Strawberry Thief Cushion Tray. Then I've got the Golden Lily. It's a very big print, isn't it, that one? It's lovely. This one's got the green bottom, or the chartreuse bottom. Do, 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 green bottom. Now that was, what was that? A oh, green giant. Do, 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 green giant. 
Was it sweet corn? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I've got a horrible story about sweet corn. We won't go there. Yeah. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. And then last but not least this, I've got these lovely coasters. Now, these look nice in little pools. Have see that lovely picture he put up of his um, Game of Thrones goblet he put up? I'm a bit worried about him though, because he said, oh look, there's, there's the um, honeysuckle one. There's the seaweed one, golden lily, strawberry thief, and then two others. He looked a bit worried this week, didn't he? He said he'd had a bad couple of weeks. At least he's been to the gym in his 80s tracksuit. 14.99. Ah, I think they're cute. Cork on the bottom. As Bruce says, have them in your cupboard, ready for Christmas presents or the presents every now and then. You suddenly think, oh, I've forgotten to. You never know, do you, Bruce, when you're going to need a gift. In fact, it's even better to have them already wrapped. Then if someone comes round to your house and it's going, oh, it's my birthday, go, I've got your present upstairs, I'll just go and get it. Nothing worse than when you hear them wrapping it in the other room, is it? <laughs> Bruce says, you wrap them up, you put it in a plastic bag, and on the outside of the plastic bag, you write what's inside, in case you don't get them the wrong gift. $14.99. He's very prepared, isn't he? Right. After the break... Alexander's back. She's going to be doing the um, summer little gorgeous little... Oh, it's beautiful. There's a bit of a plique, a bit of uh, EPP and a bit of piecing. Uh, and we've got some lovely uh, Liberty. Are they five-inch squares she's got? They are, aren't they? Uh, don't go anywhere. I can go now, can I? We'll see you in four. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. 
You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Do you remember during yesterday's show, Susie Duncan messaged in saying, what requests have you got for cakes, right? And I went, oh, I'll have a gluten-free lemon drizzle, please. Joking. So her husband, Simon, had just come in for a meeting with Paul upstairs. He went, oh, I've got something for you. So I've got a gluten-free lemon drizzle cake. Now, Hannah, you need to get upstairs quickly because they look, they look like the most incredible chocolate cakes just gone upstairs. Not gluten-free, but that's just gone up to the meeting with Paul. Oh, in fact, he's there. I was just talking about him. Get a cake for Hannah. Hannah wants a cake. They're just, they're just waving. They're just waving at me. Right. This is what we're doing. This is gorgeous. These are lovely. We've already done the spring one. This is the summer one. We've got autumn coming in July and winter coming in... September. Yeah. September. September. Hannah said winter. September's not winter. We're ahead of the game. Ahead of the game. 59.99. Right, what you get in the kit is everything you need, basically. But you just need a piece of wadding, I take it. And wadding. some Wonder Web. Well, yeah, Hannah's web. put the Wonder Web in, haven't you, Hannah? And some threads to do the uh, embroidery. But Am I allowed to open this? That's yours. It's entirely up to you. How many have I got, Han? I'll put it away neatly. So, beautifully packaged, Laura. Louise. Louise, <laughs> Louise. <laughs> Laura's a designer. Laura's a designer. <laughs> He's on a holiday. You should know everyone at Alice Caroline by now, John. I know. Well, they're all L's, aren't they? Look. The thing is, I <coughs> it's that thing where if you haven't met them, yeah. so I've met Alice Caroline yeah. and I've met you, but I've met all the others. No. See, so when be, I know their names, but you kind of it's when you can see a face to a You're name. Going to festival quilts. I am going to we'll be. We'll all be there. Saturday and Sunday. I'm doing all this year. Saturday and Sunday. Right. So in here you get this fabric. That's your border. What's that called? Mortimer. Mortimer. That's William Morris. William Morris Mortimer. 
Then you've got that your inner border and your sashing running through between the blocks. Then you've got your cream. Now there's enough here for the front and the back. Yep. So you get twice that front and the back there. And I'm not going to open this one. You get all of these beautiful. Remember, these are all tar. This one's not tarn and lawn. That's your solid cotton. But these are all tarn and lawn. Beautiful colours. Now, are any of those recoloured in ones? Uh, yep. This. The purpley one at the yeah. end. Yeah. I think that's the only one. That's the only one. But beautiful, aren't they? Like a rainbow oh, no, of colours. This one. this one as well. Oh, that one as well. That one as well. Beautiful, so for $59.99. Now, when we did the spring one, these sold out, we had to get more. We had to get more in, didn't we? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so then you get your instructions here. Now, because it's a mixture of EPP, normal piecing, applique, raw edge applique, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Here are all your instructions, right? So what you get here is, now that's a basic drawing, that's the actual finish, what the finished thing looks like, that's your basic blocks there. Then you've got EPP instructions, applique instructions, piecing instructions. Then what this is here is you see you find that fabric, I'm not, I'm not going to get it out. Where have I put it now? Under there? Oh, here. There it is. Oh, I'll put it inside. <laughs> what you do is you find that fabric and there, and you know that you have to cut these out of that fabric. It's so organised. Then, the next fabric. The next one along, you need to cut those out, whether it's right side up or wrong side up. And then, all the way through all the different fabrics, you just have... Oh, that one's easy. You just have to cut the sunflower head out of that one. Beautiful, there's all the fabrics, what you cut out of them. You can see some of them, you get lots left over. Yeah, you get like lots left one. over <clears> that <throat> one there, wouldn't you? You just cut your fried egg out of that one. <laughs> oh, and that's, I was going to say, what's that? That's the body, isn't it, of the um, dragonfly. Then you also get all your templates in here. Look, all your pieces that you need to cut out, all your pattern pieces, all your templates are all in there for everything we don't leave they don't leave you stranded all your templates all your cutting out for all the different sections even the patchwork templates there quarter of the stock's flown out i knew it would it's all well the spring one i was on for the spring one it was really 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 popular so you get everything absolutely everything you need apart from a bit of bond web and a, it's a square of wadding you need, isn't it, to go inside? That's it. So for fifty nine ninety nine, you get an awful lot of Liberty fabric in there. Loads of instructions. So you've got the instructions. You can carry on making this over and over and over and over again because you've got the instructions. You've got the templates for it. Fifty nine ninety nine. Right. So we are going to show you how to do this block here, like the echinacea block. Oh, so you can't see it. There you go. This block here, which is your piecing block, and if we've got time, we'll do that last block there as well. Uh, we've got wadding about the half metre, one piece being wet, plenty, it's 108 inches wide, isn't it? It's the smallest cut that we do on its own. Uh, the graphics will come in. <coughs> Excuse me, 6.99 half metre, that'll be plenty, 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 plenty. Um, and we'll show you Bond Web in a minute as well. Right, so where are you going to start? I'm going to start with a patchwork. Right, lovely. Um, <clears throat> because I don't think I've got to a patchwork one before. Oh, OK. And as I said, the English paper piecing, I've already done a lot of English paper piecing this morning. So yeah. I, if we've got time, we'll do it. We'll all right, do it don't all. worry. Don't worry if we have it again. <clears throat> so it was great that you said about the, the templates, because you get all of the templates. All you've got to do is cut, cut them out. out yeah. And then, you've, then you'd obviously just match it up to your fabrics. And the brilliant thing about those five the, the the charms that you get within the pack yeah. is that you you know the, the the plan of where you put everything means that there's no waste of fabric and you get some left over on exactly some of them. exactly okay so on the patchwork block you cut out your squares and your triangles so i've got the triangles here and then we're piecing the triangles right side together am i in the right place oh, i need to move over a bit don't i as long as you've got your uh, tummy on the white mark that's it 
<laughs> My hand's not over there. <laughs> <coughs> so we're doing right sides together <coughs> on the patterned uh, and the cream. Lovely. And as I said, or as you said actually last time. There's a pin there. Thank you. Always loose stuff. Yeah. As uh, I said last time. As you said last time, it's quite easy with Liberty Tana to get the right and the wrong side modelled up. That's yeah. a very good example because, you know, it's it's a very dark print and it's and it's very fine on both sides. This is another good example. So now that. it doesn't matter that we're sewing uh, quilting weight to Tana lawn, does it? No, no, it's fine. I mean, some people like to pre-wash the, the um, quilting weight beforehand at 30 degrees, but you don't need to pre-wash Tana because it doesn't shrink. No, oh, it doesn't? No, Tana, oh. well, quilting weight does shrink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at Liberty quilting weight, yeah. but you, know, you had Liberty quilting weights on the last hour, I certainly you? did, so yeah, wash so that those does shrink, yeah. So you need to wash those, pre-wash those, uh, but Tana doesn't shrink, so you don't need to pre-wash. Now why is that? Have they pre-shrunk it then? No, no, it's just so fine. It's, I don't, never knew that, all these yeah. years, and I never knew that. Oh, John, I never thought I could teach you something that Oh, you, you don't teach know. me lots. No, you know everything. No, <laughs> I wish. <clears throat> you do, you're amazing. Thank you. So we've just got um, the four different triangles there that the templates are, uh -huh. are in, and then we're just going to sew them with a very scant quarter-inch seam. You need to go scant quarter-inch because um, otherwise the block doesn't turn out the right size. Okay, perfect. So on this block, I'm just going to back... I've started a bit further along. And I'm gonna and I backstitched because I don't want the point to get jammed in my exactly. machine. Just need to explain that Anna's using her own machine from home. I am. <clears throat> and so we're gonna chain piece. Oh, Ooh, well there it has. That didn't sound it needs right. a service, and the guy who does the servicing in Cheltenham has stopped working. What well, retired? He's closed out. I know, I'm gutted. Oh no. So we're gonna chain piece this. Okay together. Yeah, we see a lot of action in your um, sewing machine. My sewing machine, yeah. And you can either take the pins out as you're going along. No, you will take the pins out as you're going along. You will take the pins out as you're going along? Yeah. Am I being... Uh, no, wanting? I trained and we used to sew over pins all the time, but <laughs> we advise not to. Yeah, well, sometimes I have the pins a bit um, further out. You just have to be careful with the points. Yeah. So I have my pin further out there. But I will take it out just because <laughs> you'll get, I'll get into trouble. <coughs> and my last one. You're doing very well with your hay fever, John, I have to well, say. Well, uh, uh, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood today. I mean, it's still not right, but they're much better than I was yesterday. Oh, I was in a right old state yesterday. <laughs> I also slept better last night. I slept sitting up last night. Did you? And that makes a difference. Okay, so we've got our chain here. We're just going to cut the pieces and then we're going to iron. No, you know what? Yeah, yeah, one of Oh, did you put it on? Oh, okay. I did. Well done. Just trying to be organised. Well, no, no, because I switched off <coughs> at the beginning of the last hour, you see, and then I thought, oh, I no. I forgot to I use it in the off. last hour, didn't no, I? No, you didn't. My hour, it was just sitting here, switched on. Oh, was it? So I've just oh, moved it. Oh, that's my it. fault. Yes, I'm blaming I'm so, you. So, yeah, feel free to blame me. I'm quite happy to be blamed. Right, let <coughs> me <laughs> put that up there. So, we're just so Alice Caroline's having a stand at uh, Festival of Quilts then? Yeah, massive one. Brilliant. So exciting this year. And so we're going to press these over to the dark side of the fabric. Uh-huh. Just make sure we get our... All of them here. Yeah, so a really big stand with lots of exciting things on. So we we'll very much look forward to seeing you there, John. I'll be there. Are you there every day? I'm not there every day, no. I'm, f I'm coming back from holiday oh. the day before. Oh, perfectly timed. <laughs> and yeah, I'll be doing the setup. And first couple of days, I think. I might not see you on the Saturday. Oh, no, Sunday. I'm doing Saturday and Sunday. Alice will be there. You can go oh, yeah, I'll go and see her. Yeah. You can go and say hi to Alice. And then you can meet all the rest of the team. Yes, I will. Will they be wearing badges? Oh, I haven't got that far yet, John. <laughs> I haven't got that far. Right. And then we need to trim these down. Right. Pop down there. <clears throat> two. Two 
and one eighth of an inch. Two, they have to be two and one eighth of an inch. Yep. Precise. Yeah, it's, it, it, it does need to be precise this one. I'm just gonna trim a bit off the one side first so that we can work, so we can trim evenly. Uh-huh. Trim a bit off that side. Sorry, bear with me. So. No, you're not cutting much off, are you? Just cutting I'm not cutting off. much off, no, it's just, <coughs> it's just making sure that they're all the same size. Just put that there. This could take me a while for four bolts, couldn't it? I, didn't, I should have pre-done them. Oh, no. I'm normally so good at pre-doing everything, John, aren't I? <laughs> yes, you are. So that's the first one. So and it's we'll literally do... just trimming them off to make them neat, isn't it? Two, yes, two... and I'm trying to trim a little bit off each side yeah. so that you don't get it uneven. Move that across. So are you going as Sewing Street to the Festival of Quilts? I'll be there on the, in the Sewing Street Lounge on the Saturday and Sunday. Ooh. And on the Sunday, I'm giving a talk in the theatre at one o'clock. Oh, what's your talk on? Well, I, uh, you know, Wendy, who organises everything, yeah. she messaged me saying, would I give a talk? And I went, yeah, I don't do Sunday. She went, I've given you Sunday at one o'clock. <laughs> so I said, that's fine. <laughs> then uh, she said, uh, she sent me an email going, can you tell me what, you know, what your show's all about? Yeah. I didn't see the email, so I never replied. So then she missed me going, uh, I've titled, so she's just called it, John Scott <coughs> loves the life, the life, the loves, the work, whatever, you know, like anything you want to ask John, come along and ask him. So it's literally just me sitting there and you asking me questions. That's perfect for you though, isn't it? Yeah. It's only 45 minutes. <laughs> On Sunday at one o'clock in the theatre, but you do have to buy tickets for that. So your, your general tickets to get in to the show don't cover that, that show as well. Exciting. But if you want a discount for the main tickets, you just go to my Facebook page. Ooh. Mm, got a discount this is worth code. knowing. I know, Bruce bought his tickets, he didn't know. That's a shame. I know. Oh well. You'll so what be day worth you it, going, John. Sorry, what day are you going, Bruce? Well, he's going on Saturday, he won't see you there then. Well, I might end up going all the days, you never yeah. know, do you? And uh, where are you going on your holidays? I'm going to the Amalfi Coast. You're going to what? The Amalfi Coast. Oh, very nice. Oh no. You leave the kids at home? No. Oh. <laughs> Can't leave the kids at home. They're too little to leave at home. Well, they're not that little anymore. Oh, they're not that little anymore. No. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. I know. I have heard, though, that you can't get anywhere by car. You have to go everywhere by boat. Have you been? Uh, it's Positano in the Amalfi Coast. Yes. yes. My friend Francesca got married in Positano. It's beautiful, it's supposed mm. to be amazing, isn't it? Yeah. You can go place by car, you get to Positano and, and by car, but it's like rickety roads, it's not, it's Is easier it? to go by boat, yeah. Mm. Oh, you have a lovely time. I know, I'm quite excited. So I should be very relaxed when I come at the festival. <laughs> <laughs> I should be a new me. You'll be relaxed and broke. Relaxed and broke. Yeah. Yes. Oh no, Is it, it's very expensive. Yeah, it's, it? But it's worth it. It's worth it. So then we are going to build the block. Okay. So just need to refer to the instructions for the right. It's best if you lay it out first. Of course. Bear with me. Don't Do know you want the finished thing here? No, no, I've got it, it's fine. As long as I've, just look at the picture. Oh, sorry. No, that's right. I'm always doing this, aren't I? I'm always moving. So if you just lay it out like that and then you can build your rows. Yeah, lovely. I've got that right, haven't I, John? You got what? I've got that uh, right. Yeah, I've got the blue on the left, yeah. I've got an <coughs> apricotty one on the right, yeah. I've got a pink one at the bottom yeah. and the red flowers on the left. Great. Yeah. So then we're <coughs> going to sew our rows. So the, you, when you sewed the middle one together, yeah. were they two and one eighth as well? Yes. Yeah. They were. And you can chain piece this as well. Uh -huh. Again, a scant 
quarter inch. Quarter inch. I'm gonna just. Ooh, there's a bit of a bubble down here. It's, so what? There's a bubble down here. I'm gonna fall off it. What a hair bubble? No, <laughs> the the lump of. I think it's to protect the um all the cables. Is it? Oh, you're on top of that. You oh, know yes. me, John. I'm a bit clumsy. Yeah, don't worry. I do like to fall over and fall <laughs> off things. <laughs> Yeah, so you can chain the first two bits of this as well. We're so close up on your um, machine because you see the dust on the top I'm of so it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not very, um, yeah. Well, it I needs, if clean it needs it a more. service, then, you know. I should clean it more. Yeah, it does need a service. It desperately needs a service. The trouble is when you found somebody you rely on over the years, when they then retire or leave, you're like, oh, where am I going to go now? I know. So normally you'd press it at that stage, but I can do this stage first, so save me getting the iron out twice. <coughs> so it's that. Yeah. Okay. And then obviously you just build your rows and then you just sew your rows together. Uh, it's like making a baby quilt, isn't it? It is like making a baby quilt. And essentially, it's interesting what you were saying about the quilt behind, because yes, you're right. It's not in squares, whereas no, most, no. most quilts are. Yeah. <coughs> Which is what's so lovely about it. Yeah, it makes it a bit more, makes it a bit more organic, doesn't it, yeah. I suppose? Yeah, we have got the removal men in. I do apologise about that. <laughs> You're having a move around? No, Cat loves to tidy up during this show. Oh. <laughs> She's keeping everyone on the straight and narrow, is she? Well, she just likes the place all neat and tidy. You know? <laughs> she does run a tight ship. There's loads of cleaning up <coughs> after I'm coming on, isn't there? There's what? Like, uh, sorry, cat. There's like loads. Of, I've just chucked uh, everything on the floor. Oh look, Ooh. we have a cleaner now, though. Cat doesn't Do have to you? clean. Yeah, we have a cleaner. Oh, amazing. What? She asked for a bin. Oh, she's asked for a bin now. That is progress. There's a meeting about it, apparently. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> so we've got our rows, mm -hmm. and then we just sew the rows together. Just have this is underneath there. Thank you. Just have a little trim. Oh yeah, trim as you go. Trim as you go, yeah, otherwise it gets caught, doesn't it? And at this point we just want to make sure that your, that your joints meet as best that they can. Uh huh. So. I like this because you could do a little, because there's nine little projects. If you just want to see a bit of sewing one afternoon, yeah. you have to sit down and do the whole thing. Just make one of the blocks. Yep, and you can do all the, well, I mean, there's only one pieced block. This is the only pieced block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the others, you can do all the EPP at the same time. Yeah. Again, going back to what I was saying earlier about preparing them all in advance. Mm -hmm. So the uh, raw edge applique needs a sewing machine. Yeah. We'll demo that next. What's this in this corner? English paper paste. No, it's a pomegranate. Oh. Look. Laura, if you're watching, what is it? Isn't Laura away? No, Laura's away. No, oh, I'm Louise confused. is away. Louise's away. Laura's away. It's a what, Hannah? Yeah, it's what I thought it was a pomegranate, look. I don't, I, I don't think it was designed as a pomegranate. I may be wrong, but... I'm not very good with pomegranates in a pin. You have to take... Uh, yeah, I like it. You just buy it in a tray at Marks and Spencer's. Oh, I've got a really great tip for pomegranates. Oh yeah, what's that? Yeah, you put it in. Um, oh, we're not holding that one again. What? You put it in um, water. You cut it in half, put it in water, and that's the point where you they come out really easily. No, the pips. Do they? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing. Laura, in fact, told me how to do that. And it trans oh. transformed my life because I'm really into Persian food. Oh, okay. And so, yeah. Very nice. I know. 
I told you my sewing machine needed a service. It's really jamming. Oh. <laughs> so if anyone knows corner. of a good Benina man or lady in, in the Cheltenham area. In the Cheltenham area, yeah. Give me a shout. So what you get, while we're saying that, I'll just explain uh, what you get in the whole kit here for your $59.99. You get all of your instructions with all of your templates and all of your layouts and how to do everything in there. Pages and, are you right, Ken? Pages and pages and pages of it. Then you get all the fabrics here for all your um, applique and piecing and everything like that. You get your lovely piece. Of, now, they're all tarn and lawn. This is quilting weight cotton. That is enough for the front and the back there. Then you get this piece, which is for your sashing and your first border. And then that one there is for your binding. And all of that together makes this the summer um, mini sampler quilt. We've already done spring. We've got autumn and winter to yet come. Doesn't it? Yeah, while we're sewing, you don't mind me doing this, do you? No, You've got a little charm pack here. So if you want to recreate your own or make some cards. Now, is it Laura or Louise that makes the cards? Uh, those ones were made. I think Anna JP made those oh, ones. Oh, honestly. How many people are there in this place? You've met Anna. We are the I know Anna. Ceremony. I know Anna. And also... Well, there's about 20 of us. Oh, there really that many? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my word. Yeah. So this is 16 99 It takes a lot of effort to make these packs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five inch squares, 20 different prints. I don't know why I'm showing you the same thing twice. 16 99 <laughs> They are your tarn and lawn. Lovely present this would make. What I'm showing you on the back is you can make a patchwork cushion or you can make, <coughs> excuse me, applique cards or something like that. I brought these as well, actually, because I thought those have been made with those five Oh, drawers. lovely. Not from, that, not from that pack of old, but you can make yeah, pinwheels, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can, can make, make all sorts of things. Pinwheels and quilts out of them and things. They're cute. Just get a bit Just of fun. Just mix them with some planes. Yeah. Beautiful. <clears throat> that one's yours, though. Right, how are you doing? Yes, I finished. Yes, she's finished. So, <coughs> so we sewed the three rows together, paying particular attention to pinning the points. Hang on a sec, we'll just look at that. Let me just move it to your right a little bit. So paying particular attention to the points. Mm -hmm. So if I pin those points first yep. across, and then it doesn't sort of matter, because you'll trim the edges anyway. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it doesn't matter along your along your outer edge Brilliant. so that's that block finished so if we move lovely i'm going to move it out onto the um i'll do the raw edge applique next lovely if that's all right with you more than all right so we've only got the big the big rolls of bond we haven't got the little ones but if you're going to do we're running through you get five meters of 30 um centimeter width 23.99 to be honest you can never have enough bond web in exactly. life i think uh, I need the iron again, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, all you need is a bit of bond web, a bit of wadding, whatever is your choice of wadding. Yeah. I like the, you saw the heirloom here? <coughs> we do the 80-20, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's, that's the one we always recommend. Yeah. So, you get your templates. You've pre-cut. So, on that patchwork one, we, we pre-cut these small. Yeah, squares. For the rest, oops, for oh. the rest of the squares... For the rest of them, you pre-cut a five and a half by five and a oh, half, yeah, inch, that's half your inch square. Yeah, so yeah. that's your background of each block. Definitely. So that's five and a half inches by five and a half inches. And then all that's in sort the instructions. Of, all in the instructions. And then that makes up the remainder eight blocks. Yeah. So there's only one there's only there's one. There's only one which is pieced. which is pieced, yeah. Yeah. Everything else is is -E appliqued or, or applique, yeah. Well it's all appliqued, isn't it? So one way or another onto the yeah. background. So, we, now you can either, 
You can either cut out the pieces and then bond a web the exact amount of fabric, or you can do a sort of a larger piece oh, and no, then cut no, it out. Oh no, no, I don't think you do the larger piece because then when you if you try and do it with the smaller piece, it always it gets slips. sticky yeah. and yeah. yeah. So again, make sure it's on the reverse side. Another good example of where it's and I always come it in a little bit from the edge so that uh -huh. you don't make everything sticky. Do I need to move across? Just a tiny bit. I've obviously got this like lilt to my left, haven't I? Because I'm over here, that's why oh, you're trying to get what? towards me, that's what it that's is. That's what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So put that down there. And then we're gonna get our pattern piece. Now, those scissors. Yes, not often. shears, they're not your shears, but they are, because you don't want to, you, what I'm saying is you don't well, want to use your best shears to cut through, or do you? <laughs> what? Well, well. I sharpen them quite regularly. Right, that's okay. In my defense. Yeah. We've got, we have got a sharpener at, at work. Oh, okay. So, um, Well, no, yeah. no, you see, no, I, you cut should. Through, well, I cut through Bondweb with my scissors, but I wouldn't cut with my normal shears, but I wouldn't cut through paper with my yeah, best scissors. Yeah, so you can uh, cut the piece out, I, you know, I'm being lazy because I'm cutting through all three layers at the same okay, time. Okay, fine. Uh, but it's, it's uh, you know, it's entirely up it's to what, you. What, what are you scissors, trying to say? It's entirely up to you what scissors you use for this process. You can use the paper scissors to completely cut out the paper template and then pin the paper template on, or, in fact, I'm going to roughly cut that. Oh, here side. we go. Dawn knows a father and son business Ooh. called Tom Dilly www.tomso.co.uk They're in Swindon. How far oh, is that from you? That's not far. 45. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's I'll okay. I'll send you that link later. Thank you. So we're just cutting out our piece now with the template on the right side of the fabric. Uh-huh. If they are <coughs> symmetrical, it doesn't matter whether it's on the right or the wrong side, but no. obviously some pieces are not symmetrical. Mm-hmm. And for those people who've never done raw edge applique before, it's it's as it says on the tin, it, you are you're appliqueing it and then you're stitching the raw edge to the fabric. Now the beauty of that with Liberty Tana yeah. is that it hardly ever frays. Oh brilliant. So Dave, you're gonna throw it in and out the washing machine. You can throw yeah. it in and out the washing as long as you've pre washed it. Yeah. Pre shrunk your pre shrunk your background, but you yeah. don't have to pre shrink the Tana lawn. No. Are those bits. So yeah, we've got that finished. Just, just gonna yep, put that fine. on the floor. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> <clears throat> and then we go back to our iron and iron that on. So I've already ironed a couple of pieces on just so that you Lovely, can see yeah. that it's um, a thing. But you want to just keep away. The, the stems are okay to be at the bottom. Yeah. They'll get sewn into the seam. But the actual echinacea, try not to um, try not to sew it in. Okay. And then we're going to use the pin to get the backing off. Lovely. The bond web. Then we're just going to take some time to position it. I've got the stem there. We're just going to position it as we want to. Like that, so I'm away from that seam there. Of course. And just a fairly hot iron, but don't leave it on there to burn. Uh huh. <laughs> Which has happened before. And then we're going to move to the sewing machine. You're not going to do the ball. Well, I'm going to sew this bit first oh, and then okay, the ball. Okay. So the way that the pattern is done is that you sew each piece in a layer. Fine. So you would sew this piece first. So right. I've already sewn Oh, this. okay. So you, you sew, sew them as you go, <coughs> sew as you go, rather yes. than sticking them all and then sewing afterwards. Yes. Okay. So you would do the ball afterwards. Yeah. Now, I use needle down for this, just because then you can turn the corners quickly. Uh-huh. And then just take some care at your starting point. <coughs> And then sew with a, a very, as close to the edge as you possibly can. Just do a couple of stitches at the start. And just sew as close to the edge as you, as you can. A couple of millimetres. And with the fabric being a bright colour, it's quite easy to see. 
And what colour thread would you use? I'm, well, I'm just using a cream thread, but you can... A cream would be fine, but you can use... A, on this one, I think it's all colour matched. It is colour matched. Do you make this one, then? No, that's because Lara made that. OK. <laughs> So Lara, yeah, she's colour matched all of them. Lara yeah. is our pattern tester, so she okay. tests all our patterns before they come to you, Aww. so that we know that the instructions. Another L, are, another either L's or A's. Yes, right? yes, yeah, L's or A's. <laughs> <coughs> so the Talking needle... of which, my niece has moved into a flat in LA. She's really? just moved to LA. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, but the frightening thing was she went to the airport. She flew in. She's only my, you know, my little Alex, only twenty-two, or whatever. She flew into the airport, uh, got an Uber to where she had to collect her car from. That was $75. And then she got there and there was all some issues and everything. Anyway, she eventually got the car and it was enormous. And she's used to driving a little Fiat 500 here. And she had to drive back to the apartment that she rented um, down a six lane motorway sort of thing. Oh, everything's um, bigger, super size in America. Yeah. Anyway, she's fine now. She's found the local coffee shop and the local um, park and there's lots of water <coughs> around, so she's very happy. So at the points where you come up into here, you have to just go a little bit further than you think uh -huh. so that you can get into the next seam. And I'm just swivelling it, but you can do the drop the feed dog if you want to. I've discovered that I prefer it this way too. Oh, no, I, I, if I'm... I only drop the feed dog if I'm doing the free motion embroidery the way you're doing, or free motion applique, the way you're doing, you're following the lines, aren't you? So I yes. keep my feed dogs up for that. You would. Yeah, but some people, uh, the instructions give you both options, to be honest. Yes, Viv, on... I've told her she needs to defluff her machine. I know, I'm so sorry. I know. She's not like she didn't know she was coming on telly or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sorry. It's been a very busy couple of weeks. Really? Caroline, yes. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Haven't you had half term recently? Has the kids been on school holiday recently? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't it's all going on then. It is all going on, yes. And then we go to the uh, little... Ball. Ball. But it's not... What is it? It's the centre... If I could find it. Oh, no. What it's it. supposed to be yellow. Yellow yeah. and pink. Um... Oh no. Can we pretend this oh, one has. Oh, you got it. Yes. <laughs> got it, got it. So many little bits. This yeah. is what actually, that's a good tip. If you're going to pre cut everything <coughs> out, have little envelopes and have everything in it. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, a good tip. So you've already bonded web this one, have you? I've already bonded webbed it. Just taking the backing off. And then we're just going to put it on there. And then so around that one. We're doing all right for time, are we? We're all right. We've got 20 minutes. Yeah. You're whizzing along. I know. This is not normal, is it? No. <laughs> so we're just going to do this one as well. I'm really embarrassed about the fluff on my machine. Oh, now. be quiet. We've all got it. <laughs> Nowhere near as bad as mine. These are well used and loved. Well, well used, not loved. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I've got a question. Do you do workshops? Yeah, yes. Do you do workshops? Alice is doing two workshops. She's doing an English paper piecing beginner's workshop and she's doing a workshop for this. So if you want to sign up to the workshop for this, um, you can and, learn... And that's on uh, <coughs> by your website, is yeah, it? Yeah, so it's on Zoom. Oh, it's on Zoom, it's yeah, not real. Yeah, you can ask at... Not real. As no, in... as it... Oh, it's on Zoom. But it is yeah. real, as in she'll be there. Yeah, yeah, of course. I've got She's you. Not, Alice is not fictional this yeah, time. Yeah, I filmed it earlier. <laughs> and we're also doing a really exciting thing, which is a behind the scenes with Liberty. So we've got an ex-Liberty designer, Emma Morstan. So she, oh. was, a, she was head designer for Liberty yeah. and Liberty Interiors for 23 years. <gasps> so we've got like a come and ask all the questions. So oh, that's, that's a live thing, is it? That's a live so thing, So where yeah. do they find that? On our website. Which is? AliceCaroline.com. Thank you. I just assume everybody knows by yeah. now on here, but no, that's not true, and is it? You, you don't do any of the workshops, then? I'm not doing any of the workshops. Would you normally? Uh, I have done workshops before yeah. now. I'm, I'm not doing um, those ones, because no. we've decided to sell Alice this time. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> I've been saying, not that I don't love you coming in, but I, we've been, how many years it was since we were at Sewing Quarter we were trying to get her to come on, haven't I we? I know, but I know. 
But it's quite exciting. It'll be really exciting. I think it'll be lovely. Oh, no, I think it'll be fantastic. And yeah. then when she's used to doing that, then she can come on here. She can. <laughs> she can. I can hand over. Or a combination of the both of us. Yeah, oh, oh I'll that, have that would be off. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's some hand stitching detail oh, is on that? this one. Yeah, let me just grab my. So. So to do the hand stitching before you put it onto the backing or anything like that, the hand stitching yes. is just on that one layer. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. So in natural fact, this is slightly different to others. So raw edge applique, on some of the other projects that we've done, you do your you do your quilt sandwich first yes. and then you do then and, you it's part through, of the, yeah. and it's part of the quilting process for this one it's sort of all on before so it's decorative rather than quilting yes yeah. and then you can quilt it however you want to quilt it you know stitch in the ditch just around the just around how is it quilted it it's not quilted no it isn't on this side it's around there yeah so around that epp it's top stitched on around that epp it's top stitched on but there's no quilting gotta get anywhere. it ready for the tv show yeah there you go <laughs> we can and come it back so there's just some stitching detail and you could draw a line you know it's from these points here right up uh-huh and what so, are you using i'm using that orophil again oh, i just saw thread. them out there you saw my 500 500 so, this is Oh, you signed every single one? Yeah. That's crazy. Cat helped. She didn't do any signing, but Cat put say. them out on the table. We put 50 yeah. out, I signed them. We put those 50 away, got another 50 out, I signed those. Oh I wouldn't have done word. it, I'd still be there if it wasn't for Cat this morning. Yeah, you would. <coughs> so I'm just, I'm using a double thread, 58, okay. and then... So you're not embroidering it then, it's just a much finer kind of decorative stitch, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. It's just for a bit. Oh, you could do it on a machine, you know. If, if you could oh no, it. I like I like the thing because when we come to another star up here, you've done like extra points just using the embroidery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, and the stalk. Obviously, this hydrangea would fall over if the stalk was only that thin. <laughs> you want a you want a thicker stalk, do you, John? Oh no, I, I like it. I love hydrangeas. Mine got attacked by the frost this year, so they're tiny again this year. Oh. Yeah, so I'm just coming in and out there, okay. and then I'll just come back out to this one here. So yeah, just a bit of uh, just a bit of extra cute detail. You could you could go as a dark or as light a colour as you choose, uh -huh. as you want. It's just um, delineating the petals, really, isn't it? It is. Is that the right word? Delineating. I don't think that's the right word. It's a good word, John. <laughs> it sounds good. It's a good word. Yeah, because it makes quite a difference, doesn't oh, it? Oh, no, no, Viv, she wasn't embarrassed. She wasn't embarrassed, were you? Viv's apologising for making you embarrassed. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, well, it just... just it's yeah. hardly got anything on it compared to most people's. <laughs> I don't look inside, probably. Yeah. <laughs> we're all, we're all guilty of it. None of us clean out our machines enough. Oh, no, I know. But it does make them run smoother. Mm -hmm. I will before the next show, I will never have. <laughs> You got your next one booked in? Yeah, it's the the autumn sampler. And what date in July is it? And oh, we've got the Tree of Life quilt as well. That's going to oh, be, that's gonna be on that day. Yeah, tenth of July. Oh, I, I think. don't know what date. I don't it's know. Saturday. Oh, because that's it. It'll be me. It'll be a Saturday or or a Sunday. I'm normally Saturday. It's a Friday. It's really thrown me coming in on a Friday. Oh, because you're normally on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah. The the traffic was like, oh, there's actually traffic on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody else is actually up. I have to say, the traffic meet when I came in at half past five this morning, the traffic was really bad this half morning. Five. Gosh, that is it. Oh, is that to sign your. That's to no, sign. no, no, no. I always leave home at half past five, get here for six. Gosh, that is early. You're super keen. Super keen. You've got to learn all the stuff, haven't you? Yeah. So, it's just a bit of. Sweet hand stitching on there. And you have to bagsy your seat in the changing room because only two chairs. <laughs> and this morning there was me, Zena, um, who else was in there? Claire was in there. I decided to stay out. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So you just do that on both of the flowers. And then we'll just finish it off at the back. Okay. Along that. And then, have we got time to do the EPP block? <coughs> do what, what? The English paper piece block. Yep. So that, apart from doing the same process on here, yeah, that yeah, yeah, block yeah. is finished. Brilliant. So that's quite 
point to. Oh, so I can either do the English paper piece book or I can do some joining, or have I got time for both? Uh, have you started the English paper piece book? Of course, block? yes. <laughs> You can do a bit of that then, we'll always, join it. Always, yeah. started. always started. <laughs> so this is really sweet. I love this clover, it's so cute. Aww. So you get your templates again. I'll just show Four it. Four leaf clover. Yep, I'll show it quickly because we've done, already done quite a lot of English paper yeah, yeah, this fine. morning, haven't we? So you cut out your templates, your fabric with a quarter inch seam. Again, I'm gonna glue baste. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna glue baste that corner first because that's, that's the bit that's a bit more difficult to tuck it in. Yeah. And then we're going to sew the sort of the clover petals together. So the way that this one's constructed, well, you can do it, you can do it from here right round. Uh -huh. But I think probably it's best to do your Leaves. Ooh, yeah, here. yeah, no, sorry. you're right. Oh, sorry, they move forward. No, that's fine. So you yeah, do your leaves right here and then uh, together and then you sew it to the main Yeah, lock. yeah, so put them in pairs and then sew the pairs together. Yeah. yeah. So, again, right sides together. Whip, whip, whip. Whip, whip, whip. And then it's appliqued onto the background. Is it appliqued by hand or by machine? You could do either, but that it's a, it'll be appliqued by hand. Yeah, it is. I was going to say, <laughs> I think so. Well, no, no, it is because. But then what they've done is they've quilted it by stitching in the ditch around the around the edge of ah, it. Ah, so that can, yeah. So again, whip stitch all the way down. Again, you could use your lovely Aurifil threads for this. You could not for, not for sale till June the nineteenth, <sighs> next Sunday. That's exciting. How many? How many threads in the pack? Six. You get three variegated, three plain. Lovely. I'm a massive fan of Aurifil thread. Mm. I think someone's given Bruce a chatty pill. We're hearing all about how he gets dressed in the morning. Oh. I know. He's like a fireman. He has to be prepared. <laughs> he literally gets up four minutes before he has to be here. Oh, really? <laughs> That's brave. 20 past four? You only live down the road? And what are you doing all that time? It's watching the telly and having his breakfast. Oh, I don't have breakfast. You have your porridge pot when you get here. Say that again. You have your porridge pot when you get here. No, I have that my cucumber and my boiled egg when I get here. Oh, it's a bit early for eggs, isn't it? At five o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Protein, you see, to keep you, me going for the five hours. Are you gluten free? Um, I'm gluten free. I live my life gluten free, so that if I came to your house and you made pasta and it was normal pasta, I'd be fine. If I ate normal pasta all the time, I'd be really poorly. So oh. I live a gluten free life when I'm on my own. So when I go out, I don't have to have it. Right. But if I ate gluten free every, if I ate gluten every day, or I drank dairy every day, I'd be really poorly. Oh. So this is the last petal in our, our four-leaf clover. Not that I'm inviting myself round or anything for pasta. Alice is gluten-free. Oh? Yeah. Who's your husband is? Alec, no, Alice. Oh, Alice, oh, is she? Yeah. So I can go to hers for... What can you're saying get... is don't come to mine for pasta, go to Alice's for pasta. Well, come, come to Alice on the stand, because she'll have gluten-free cake. Oh, <laughs> fine. Well, no, no, it's only because I went to stay with my friend Francesca, who's Italian, and is the most incredible cook. And she goes, well, you don't, I don't eat this. And I was like, I'll eat it, I'll eat it when I'm here, I'll eat it. So we had this inc just amazing, and I don't know how she does it. She goes, oh, it's all I've got in the cupboard. And she whips up the most delicious, delicious, delicious meals. So I had pasta, I had dairy, I had cheese, I had ice cream, I had all sorts of things. You had the works. Were you okay the next day? Yeah, 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 absolutely fine. <laughs> And we went out for breakfast the next morning. So then this is hand stitched to the background. Okay. I won't I probably won't do that because we'll just <coughs> no, show you how fine. it's joined. Yeah. We just finished that one off. I'm trying to go so really fast now. This is Are what you? happens. It Not goes that bored or anything. Alright. <laughs> <You're all right. laughs> Matey, oh, those roots are coming out. Those East End roots are coming out now. <laughs> aren't they? All right, mate. I'm a Gloucestershire girl through and through. You're a what girl? Gloucestershire. No. Yeah. You sound like you're off East Enders. Well, you know, 
It's not my actual accent. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> so you can angle it. You can do whatever you like. You would yep. take the papers out yep. beforehand. Yep. Press it. Take yep. the papers out. You can use some best press. <coughs> I'm just going to pin it. And then there's some other stitching detail on this one, which is. Um, Shall I show you on this camera? Can yeah. we see that cat? So this is the uh, clover that we've just made, and then you see the bottom bit there isn't joined together, and you can do a little stalk coming out of your four-leaf clover. So you can either do that freehand, or you could use a like a pen, like a friction pen, like yeah, this one, friction. and uh, draw it on, and then obviously it would come off. Come off. And then it's the, the blocks are constructed in a way where you put your side borders on. Yeah. And then your top and bottom parts of the rows. So you're joining your rows again together. Yeah. And then and then it builds into your nine patch. Fantastic. So there. I mean, I'll carry on saying the you border. Can't but that. You can't Someone's asked to see inside the five inch charm pack, so I'm just gonna go open that now. <laughs> This isn't part of this, this isn't part of this deal. This is just, if you want 20 different five inch charms made of the Tarna lawn. These are the ones you're gonna get. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold this, there you go. So you get all these different beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fabrics. All five inches make a lovely present this for somebody. That's, that must be a William Morris one, that pink and grey one, is it? It is, yeah. What's going on next door? Oh, sounds like they're having a party. These are just beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Look at that precious green one there. So you get all of these five inch squares, 20 different ones for 16 99 Beautifully packaged, not <laughs> random. <laughs> That's like the rabbit one we had earlier, wasn't it? No rabbit. Gorgeous, aren't they? Look. Lovely array of colours, like a rainbow of colours. I think I'm going to quite like this one. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful, look. They are the ones you're going to get. 25-inch squares. Or there are 5-inch squares, 20 of them. A few 16-inch, Tarn alone. <coughs> Excuse me. That's yours, that's yours, that's mine, that's mine. So what are you doing now then? I'm just trimming this block, this patchwork block, down to um, five and a half inches. Lovely. So it's the same size as the others. And then you can put the borders on. It's a lovely little project to do, isn't it? Be enjoy, you know, kind of enjoyable to it. It's not overwhelming like well, a big quilt or something. I think that's the beauty of samplers, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you know, you can simply enjoy, enjoy like the different techniques. Yes, and yes. if you're not, if you've, if you, if you've just done one type of sewing and you've not done the others, it's a great way to learn. Yeah, exactly. So then we're just adding our border. So this is the Phoebe that you, the fabric that you right, the, the border fabric and, and the it, sashing border. Yeah. yeah so that's sashing. the sashing, and we're just attaching it to our pieces. Sue says the colour's beautiful. My Liberty stash, however, is for stroking only. <laughs> I know what you mean. I've got loads of Liberty at home, and it, I, I, I go to the cupboard and think, "Oh, we need to use some blue," and I pull it, and I'm like, "No, I'm not using Liberty. That's going back in the cupboard," which is stupid, really. I think I don't think it's uncommon. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. But it's there for a reason. You bought it because you like it. And I you, know. You, what, what good is it locked away in a cupboard? Yeah, but you know, it, again, it's beautiful to stroke yeah. and look at. So we're just adding our sashing on here with a quarter inch seam. Oh, so it's not done like quilts you go. It's literally just a sashing. You literally yes. Put you're making the whole you're making the whole mini quilt top. Yeah. Like you would a, a normal like, large yeah. quilt, and then you are you know then you're attaching your wadding and your backing. Brilliant. Right. While you're stitching that, I'll just go through everything that you get in the kit to make this. For your fifty nine ninety nine, you do get your piece of fabric for your uh, binding. You get your piece of fabric that Anna's just using there for your sashing and your border. 
This is your, now they're Tarna Lawns. This is your quilting weight cream cotton. As you, you get enough of that for the back and the front. Then you get all of these lovely squares. These are different to the squares I've just shown you. These are the ones you get, the rainbow of colour that you get in here. And then you get all of your instructions with all of your templates, all of your piecing, everything you need is all in there together. $59.99. And with all of that, you can create this. Couldn't see what I've done with them. You create that sampler summer quilt. We've got one, and we've already done the spring. We've got the autumn and the winter due in July and September. They are cute. Beautiful. They're already designed. Okay, already designed, cute. all ready to go. All ready to go. Oh no, that's yours. <coughs> Again, with the border fabric, you need to be careful about the right and the wrong side. Yeah. Just, it's uh, again another fine one. We'll just press those out. Okay, while you're carrying that, I'm just going to, because the quilt behind Anna is about to leave as well with Anna. <coughs> so let me, oh, excuse me. Let me just recap what we did today. We did row four, which is the bottom row. This rainbow blooms quilt four, so we're doing that row there. And you've got all the fabric you need in there to do the blocks. Graphics just come in. That's row four. So that will make, in there, you make these three whole blocks and that half a block there. You don't make the triangles between. You don't make the triangles between. They come in another package in a second. So you make three blocks and a half on that one. Then we've also got the finishing pack, which is this one. So, <coughs> excuse me, this is for all the triangles in between the blocks and the half triangles at the side to complete, make it into a square. And this fabric here for your binding, which is completely and utterly exclusive to this project. 39.99. And then I've also got row three, which is that row there. Row three, that, there we go. Fabrics beautifully packed in order. <laughs> what made me think they were random then? I don't know. Do apologize. And then row two, we haven't got row one. Row one is completely and utterly sold out. So there we go. Here's row two. Remember, that's it now. This quilt is finished. That Anna won't be coming back to do any more of these. If we've, <coughs> if we've got any more of the rows left, we will actually have them for sale in the future. But that's that project done. Beautiful. How are you doing over there? Yep, almost got a row. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll have a good cough in the break, I'll be fine. So I've sewn the sashing to uh -huh. both of those pieces. I'm just attaching it into the left two, and then we've got a row. <coughs> and then Brilliant. at that point, we had our longer pieces oh, of sashing. Yeah. But then the the thing is, this is the bit that frightens me about big quilts, is when you think, well, oh, I've got to do the sashing right the way across a 200 inch quilt or whatever. Yeah. Whereas this, it's what? 12 inches, 14 inches, do you know what yeah. I mean? So you don't need to worry that you're going to have to be sewing really, really long. And as Anna said earlier, good way to practice before you come to a bigger quilt. Absolutely. That's one good thing about that quilt behind you. There's no sashing, is there? It's literally blocks and tri triangles, blocks yeah. and triangles, and then sew the rows together. Absolutely. <coughs> yeah, you've just got to uh, pay attention to the points on that one. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we are. Fabulous. That's our row done. Yours obviously won't have the pins in it. You'll have finished. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I apologise about the pins. No, don't okay. apologise. And then we sew the sashing to the top. Yeah. And, the and bottom. then you have another row. Yeah, and then you have your other row with your sashing, and then you and then your third row. Brilliant. So yeah, it's a, it's a lovely project and a, and just such a great one to to learn yeah, exactly. learn new techniques. Very very popular as well. Thank you ever so much. No problem. We'll see you on what day? July the 11th, you say? It's either the 10th or the 11th, whichever is the weekend. Okay. 
Well, we'll see you then. Thank you ever so much. It's been lovely no to see you. Lovely to Don't see. go anywhere. It's me up after the break doing pre cuts and books. I'll see you in four. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet, and all things yarn? Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! 
Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Princess, if you're watching, you do only get one. Answer Princess's question. Sorry, it looks all bare now. Doesn't that lovely quilt's gone? But you can still see my book. I've put it on the wrong side. I haven't had the shelf, really. Hang on. Now, I'm going to start. I've got my lemon drizzle cake here, so nobody... What? No, there you go. It'll be there, fine. No, there you go. It's perfect. There you see. Right. This book, I said at 8 o'clock this morning, we're going to do this book at 12 o'clock. We had to remind Hannah to reduce the price, so we're doing it first, so we don't forget, right? Paper piecing all year round, 18 99 sells really well at that price. It is by best-selling author, Mary Hertel. Uh, mix and match 24 blocks, 20, no, not 27 projects to sew. Right? Now it's paper piecing this, so if you've never done foundation paper piecing and you want to have a go at it, this is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant book to start. Look at all the projects here. So they're the block patterns and these are the projects that you can make using those block patterns. Baby quilt, mini quilt, you can do anything with them really, can't you do anything? Hand towel, now I'm not sure I'd want a hand towel with an applique on it, would you? Anyway, baby bib and pillows. But here we go, we've got January, oh look, January. So we've got snowman, we've got hearts for February, we've got gnomes for March, we've got bunnies and chicks for April, butterflies for May, watching can and tulips for June, July are dogs with sunglasses on, crabs and octopuses, for August, celebrate your holidays. Uh, September, you get a squirrel and his nuts. In October, you get a cat with a bow tie and a cat with a hat. November, you get... Now, I don't think that's very fair because you're going to kill the turkey to eat it for Thanksgiving, aren't you? But the turkey with the hat on looking a bit befuddled. And then a turkey showing off his lovely tail. And then December, Christmas puppy. Because we all think of a puppy at Christmas, don't we? A puppy is for Christmas, not just for life. Anyway, there's all the different techniques. There are the projects. We are going to crash the price, remember? Look, so you get all of your templates in the back there. And how you make them. Oh, that'll be, that's quite big, isn't it? I didn't expect it to be that big, yeah. Crab. Tulips. Butterfly. Flutterby. Chicken. Rabbit. Rabbit. No, gnome with fish. Bished fish. 
Anyway, it's, it's somebody in, you're not watching Love Island. One of the people on it's called Bish the Fish. 18 99 where are you going to go in the price, Helen? How much? Blimey, she's taking quite a lot of 12 99 12 pounds 99 You're welcome, princess. Sorry that I told you the wrong thing. £12.99. <coughs> I know. 24 blocks, 7 projects. And thorough, thorough, thorough instructions. Look. Beautiful. What's that one? Oh, yeah, known with a flower. £12.99. Now this book is available on the Long River. <coughs> at thirteen pounds and sixty-one pence, thirteen pounds and sixty-one pence. There it is. No, I didn't make it up. There it is. That's paperback. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, keep going through for that one. Keep going through. Keep going through. The hands have suddenly gone very cold. What does that mean? Yeah, maybe. Twelve ninety-nine. It is cold in here, but it's nice. There's no aircon on. Paper piecing all year round. Reduced, reduced, reduced to 12 99 Now remember the price goes back up at midnight tonight. Chicka chicka, boom boom. Graphics out. Yep, fat quarters. So this one, you've got your mixers, you've got your blue blender mixer, you've got your yellow, you've got your purple, you've got your green. Now your black is a solid black, then you've got your orange, your teal and your red, and your black. I've got some milk I can bring in, um, because uh, the boiler man was supposed to be coming this week and he never turned up. So I, I was by milking for them, so I've got a pint of milk I can bring for you. Anyway, look, 15 99 They're all fat quarters. Oh, there you go, there's a fat quarter. We well, can just fill in the screen at the moment. There's a fat quarter. What's the matter? Oh, ha Hannah's having powdered milk for the first time. You need to buy coffee, mate. You'll love that, Hannah. Oh! Oh, no, no, powdered milk is marvel. It's just powdered milk. Coffee, mate, is all... But it is coffee, mate, is it? Oh, I love coffee. I used to love coffee. But... Oh, yeah, because it's creamy. It's like you poured half a tub of fresh cream into your coffee, isn't it? I haven't had it since I was at the sixth form, but there you go. Might have changed since then. Well, what, 78? What year was that? How many years ago is that? 78, 88, 98, 108. Oof, 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 never mind. Never mind. So if you're going to buy the Fat Quarters, you want a Fat Quarter accessory book. By Susie Johns with the pink hair. There you go. Susie Johns. So you can make... Uh, this book is, is divided into like homeware, jewellery, things like that. I'll show you now. Uh, first of all, look, it should be 12 99 That doesn't matter. Oh, so it's supposed to be 12 99 We had it for 9 99 Hannah's in on one now. Since she's had her coffee, mate. Here's all your templates. Then you've got your luggage labels. I, I've just had to buy a new suitcase. Completely forgot. Uh, bought one from Matalam. They're not cheap, are they? And then I got it home, realised it's way bigger than my old one. In the shop, it looked like the same size. Key fob. Oh, that's nice, little house. You could do one of your house, one of your car. One of your office. Why would you have a dog? Why would you have a key on your dog? No, you could do that if you had a key for Tony's house to get the dog out. Then that one could have the dog on. And then that would throw the burglars. Because it doesn't, wouldn't say Tony's house on it, would it? Lanyard. Don't know what you'd put for Tony. What, what symbol? Tassel. <coughs> bangle, wrapped bangle. 
Just another manic Monday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> but anyways, I'm singing the song from the Bangles, though. You don't know Bangles? Oh. Walk like an Egyptian. Wasn't that the Bangles as well? Flower corsage. Butterfly brooch. There's loads in here. <coughs> Metal. John, the rain here is scary and freezing cold. Heating on, it's quite, very quiet and clean. Slow pace of life, lots of time for sewing. Hang on, rain is, uh, County for Manor. Ooh. I, t I have to tell you, I have to tell you, the rain that came down, no, not in Spain, in, in Long, in Strathpon Haven, uh, was that yesterday or the day before? And it was like, it was, in, and then it, it literally did it for about five minutes and the sun came out and it was beautiful, but the re all the roads were like flooded like this. They were really, really, um, anyway. Scrunchy, cloche hat, les trois cloches, head wrap, headwear, and there's a rolled bead necklace. So many projects in there for 6 99 25 actually. Lovely, moving on. Yep, Lynette Anderson, Colour of Love. Lynette Anderson, who we love, who lives in us. I wonder if she'll be coming over for a Festival of Quilts this year. 18.99. So you've got the pinwheels, you've got the little kisses, you've got the flowers, you've got the squares, and you've got the dots. I mean, it's called The Colour of Love. I presume she made it for Valentine's Day, but it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day at all, does it? It's that lovely. Love is all year round, says Hannah. Yes. Even if you want to... Uh, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Leave him in Portugal when you come back. 1899. Oh, it was all right on the aeroplane coming back then. Oh, now is he stressing because his holiday's over? Beautiful, 1899. He's changed jobs recently. He likes his new job rather than his old job. The old job was, yeah. Did he have to wear like a uniform for his old job? Here we go, moving on, oh, we'll take the graphics out for that one, okay. Dan Morris Blossom 10 inch charm pack. I'm thinking it's that one. This is the one, right? It's only been on there once before, I've had this right. Um, there's nowhere does it say on here it's Dan Morris, right? Nowhere on this package does it say Dan Morris. And you'd think that would be the number one selling point, wouldn't you? Yes, because it's been out and changed once before. There's some beautiful fabrics in here. <laughs> there we go. Look, so you've got your soft <coughs> blossom. There's 42 pieces in here. 10 inch squares. Look! Which one have you got on the top then? Lilies. Sunflowers. That one. That one? They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, this one? That one? That one? You sure I've got the right one? That one? Yeah. I think these are lovely. These prints are just beautiful, aren't they? Oh, look, that's got... Oh, Hannah, you'd have loved this. In Aunt Waitrose, was it yesterday or the day before? <coughs> They've got succulents that they're selling, right? But you know succulents are normally this big? Right, these were like this. Just one plant, that huge plant like that. Well, maybe if I got you one, then you could be on holiday all the time. It's outside. 
Well, I don't know. It was outside, in the outside plants. Maybe, maybe it was a cabbage. Frame. Beautiful. Love those. 42 99 for your 42 squares. Okay, charm pack book. And he's quilting that one. Charm quilts. Oh, these are for five inch squares, but you can cut the 10 inch ones down into five inch squares. Eight quilts made with pre cut charm squares. $8.99. This one's new, this one, this book. So, we've got the crisscross throw, we've got the fishtails throw. Hang on, why is that fishtails? A lodge or cabin in the woods. Julie Weaver. Why have you called it fishtails? Maybe that block's called a fishtail. Charmingly Mod. It's nice, isn't it, that one? I wonder how you made that one. Oh, it's a plique. It's a plique, that one. There's your template. This one's called Boston Charms. Baby Pinwheels. Oh, there's all sorts going on up there. Somebody's going for a meeting with Colin. Town Village Circle. <coughs> That's nice, isn't it? It's the kind of thing Delphine would design that, isn't it? Then, there's your templates. Touch of the Past. Yeah. Charm Sampler. Mm. Curved piecing, how to do curved piecing. Quilting basic, special thanks. They've missed me off, they put Nancy Scott instead of me. Which one did Nancy do, hang on. Boston Charms and Charmingly Mod. Beautiful, 8 99 That's like one pound something a pattern, isn't it? Outrageous. Outrageous. I have indeed creative, you mean um, stripology, yeah. Stripology extra large. Here you go. Now, uh, it hasn't been in stock for a while, has it? Oh, oh, okay, okay. There was some stock. It's the last nine now. Last nine, six, nine, nine times. Fantastic for cutting strips, for cutting squares, squaring off, doing triangles, doing... Um, it just takes so much of the stress out of cutting. Sixty nine ninety nine. Um, have we got a date when Susie Duncan has? Um... Oh no! Don't worry. Don't worry. I've just put in YouTube Sewing Street Susie Duncan um, stripology, and you'll get something. <laughs> you might get on a late night show. Sixty nine ninety nine. I know it seems like a considered purchase, but everybody, but everybody, we know that's got one of these has said, I don't know how I lived without it. Single figures on the company, and you know what this is like, once it's gone, it takes forever for us to get it back in again, doesn't it? Three months at the moment, three months. I know. It's brilliant to use, fantastic to use. You want to do uh, jelly rolls, design rolls, any kind of sashing, <coughs> any kind of binding takes the time out of cutting if you're squaring off. It's just brilliant. Right, moving on. <coughs> right. Moda Sunshine Soul. That'll be this one. Yep, this is this. I love this one. Now, one of the fabrics in here, talking about Susie Duncan, she's got on her wall in her lounge. This is lovely, pretty one, isn't it? Look, love that smudged one. Taking ten pounds off that price, butterflies, vines, flowers, smudge. <coughs> Thirty-seven ninety-nine. 
Ten pound saving. Beautiful the colours in here, aren't they? Look at that one with the purple background. Three left. <coughs> Excuse me, three left. Oh, look, that's one Susie's got, but I think she said her wall's in... Did she say terracotta or teal? Can't remember now. Look at that line. Oh, I like that one. Oh, hang on, where's it gone? Wait, 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 wait. There. It's very cafe, that one, isn't it? You've got your vines. Divine, darling. Splodge. Frozen ice, it is like. Yeah, they are like, are they pe yeah, peanuts, monkey nuts? Look, they're not, they're leaves. Butterflies. This, oh, that's nice. Two left, two left, two left. We're not surprised, just taking 10 pounds off, haven't we? Hang on, what's the one at the bottom? Gorge. Gorge, 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 gorge. We also have that in a design role. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, there it is, there it is, there it is. Could I what? Yeah, I can indeed, because I've got an open one here. Right, never been reduced before, but Hannah's going to do it now. So you just saw the fabrics. These are they in two and a half inch strips. £10 off 37.99. Exactly the same fabrics you just saw, but in two and a half inch strips, look. Beautiful. Nice, aren't they? Look. Imagine Amanda Little's oscillating squares or the Holby City one in these. Da -da 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 it's not on anymore, is it? The Holby City um, remix. Fairground remix. Beautiful. Look, look, look. Lovely minty one there. So, $37.99. No, it's not the same programme, Bruce, and it's shut down now. Beautiful. Thirty seven ninety nine. Thirty seven ninety nine. The the what the thing that Hannah's most upset about is she was in love with Cush when he was on EastEnders and he went from being a market stall holder one day to a brain surgeon in Holby the next day. <coughs> Then they shut down the hospital. <coughs> He's not really any of those things. I don't know who that is. Oh, what? The boy from the musicals? Oh, okay. Beautiful. Right, moving on. Loads of you coming in for that one. Not surprised with £10 off. Um. Oh, la, la vie de la bohème. Here you go. Uh, 4799, brand new, this. Beautiful fabrics. The cat loves this one. We had the 10 inch charm pack. It's by French General. One of Stuart's favourites. 4799. Beautiful. Lovely colours. The what, what? That, that one. Love Lily. Gorgeous colours. I don't remember this one, apparently it's not been on with me. Gorgeous colours. It's only been on air once before with me and Kat. Chica, 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 chica. 
Oh, my word, I really don't remember this one. I love the colours. Look. Oh, excuse me. It's got lots of bits of fluff on it, this. Pointel. That, I, have, I remember this because I was trying to remember what that pattern was called. Pointel. You've got love hearts and flowers. More Pointel. Colours are extremely beautiful. Very pure, they are, the colours. Then you've got your oranges. Then you've got your pink and green. Then you, oh, that's nice. Look at that one. $49.99, this design roll. Brand new. Florals. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Look at all the colours in there. Then you've got your love hearts and your flowers on red. Bouquets on red, Pointel on red, checks on red. That's nice. Delft. Oh, there's only one of those in the blue and the white. Then look at that one in multicoloured. That's lovely, isn't it? Then there's some purples under here as well. Very vintage. And then more colours. Oh, I've seen those colours. Oh, no, I haven't. Got your yellows. Your lime greens. Your apples. And then your blues. Lovely. That's beautiful, isn't it, that one? Love all the colours in there. That'd be really, really lovely to mix and match, wouldn't it, with all your bright rainbow colours. $49.99. That goes there with that. Beautiful. Keep going through for that one. Keep going through, keep going through. Ladybird. This one. That one. Moda Ladybird. Pretty colours again. Oh, I'll put it in shot, sorry. There you go. 47.99. Oh! She's surprising us today, isn't she? How many of these have we got? Oh, I can, too, too few to open. Have we got a picture of it, Bruce? It's lovely, you've got your blues, your greens, your reds, terracottas, mustards and gold. £37.99, 10 pounds off. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ten pounds off. Never reduced it before. It's Moda, Moda, Ladybird. Never been reduced before. Let's have a look at that. I'll just have a slurp of my ginger water. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely clover. Yeah, come on, Bruce. Don't talk to him. He can't multitask. He's a boy. There are all the prints in there. Beautiful, aren't they? Whoa. <laughs> what was that? That's seven ninety nine, ten pounds off. There's all the prints, gorgeous, lovely. <laughs> Moving on. Playful pre-cut quilt, fifteen blocks to mix and match, by Amanda Niederhauser. Eighteen ninety nine. Right, look at that. Right, before I even open it, right, that makes it one pound something a project. There's fifteen projects for eighteen ninety nine. How much would you pay for a quilt pro you know, quilt pattern? Now look, this is the four block quilt. I've done a wife's stuff at the back, but four block quilt. We've got the three block table runner, not keen. What I love that. Love that. 
Cozy farmhouse, not crazy. Cozy farmhouse. Yeah. Then you've got that lovely one. Look at that, the leaf block there, the leaf peeping. <coughs> Excuse me. Big, big leaf. Summer picnic. Oh, yes. Flower basket. Yummy. Newport Beach. I just think it's always clever. I mean, not so clever, but it's the illusion. It's all straight lines, but it gives the illusion of circles, doesn't it? This one will be Colonial Flowers. Gingham Patches. Oh, that's nice. You don't have to be gingham because you can put some other fabric in the middle. Where's the gingham gone? I ask. Sunday Drive. Oh, that's because it's a different quilt. Sunday Drive. Oh, look at the love hearts. Scrappy hearts. Mm. Vantage, vintage treasures. Or advantage, Miss Navratilova. Rise and shine. Garden cat. There's cats. Look, I'll show you. Look, there. We don't mention that name anymore now she's moved. There's only one cat at Sewing Street. <coughs> 15 projects with blocks to mix and match. Oh, the extra large shipology, down to six of those. Make your own pre-cuts with this, your own five inch squares, your own 10 inch squares, your own two and a half inch jelly rolls. 69.99 down six. Now remember, when these go, it sometimes takes us up to three months to get them back in stock. Beautiful. From Creative Grid, so it's got that lovely grippability on the back as well. Not going to slide anywhere. What's the matter? You went, um... Sixty-nine ninety-nine. So someone thought that the rain was scary earlier. Hannah thinks that grippability is strange. Sixty-nine ninety-nine. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Very few of those left now. Cave bundles. <coughs> We've got the purple and green one first. So they're called cave bundles, but those two are Rose and Hubble. The purple and the green are Rose and Hubble. Then you've got your rainbow and your pebbles, half metres. You're saving £2.50. Saving £2.50. At 19 .99. Would you use them all together? Would you have them for separate in projects? Hannah would use the spot separately, I sort of agree. At 18.99. Lovely. Cave, cave, Rose and Hubble, Rose and Hubble. 19.99, half a metre of each. The other cave bundle, which is like a uh, magenta and turquoise. There you two solids. And there's your rainbows and your pebbles in different colours. At 19.99. Gorge. Do you? Let me find it. Uh, I've only got day... Oh, over that's it, over there. Thank you. I thought that was my finished pile over there. It's called... Love, you're, no one can find it. It's not called Love Always. It's called Yours Sincerely. And I just renamed it for you. So these are all your lovely love hearts. Going to the lowest ever price now. £37.99, £10 off. 
Now, I know it's more like a Valentine's one, but it doesn't have to be Valentine's, does it? Look, because they're all love always, all the time, everywhere. So Hannah's going to get one of these. She doesn't need to make a quilt there because she's got love always there. In Tony next door. Oxo, because she loves an Oxo cube. My mum, when we were little, I know it was not so cubes. <coughs> she put bovril in hot water in a mug and then crack an egg into it. Tell me well chips, yeah? I don't use not so cube, Hannah, because it's just animal's blood. It's still made, isn't it? No, that's not, uh, that's not called a not... Oh, is it? Oh, can you? And it's got no animal in it. <laughs> now, I'm sure if it's a vegetable one, it won't have animal in it, will it? What, so you make Timmy Will chips and you sprinkle an Oxo cube over the top of it before it's cooked or after? Before it cooked, before it's cooked. Oh, I'll have to try that. I'll check that the Oxo cube hasn't got animal in it. Just sprinkled. Oh, are you giving Bruce ideas? No. Lovely. And the Slimming World chips, they're, they're slimming. <laughs> Third seven ninety nine. let's have a price for this design roll. Lovely. Oh, this is nice. Now, do you get the, both the panels with this as well? A oh, one panel with it, sorry. Okay, you do get the panel, but you don't get, it's not on the picture. Uh, hang on, hang on those six metres of fabric. One, two, three, five. Yeah, so they've counted that as half a metre, haven't they? The panel's half a metre. So let's have a good look at this then. Sewing machines, 79.88. Everything you get is here, right? So you get half a metre of your sewing machines on cream. Half of me to use scissors on pink. This is it now. When these have gone, they've gone. So I've got some of these by the half meter tomorrow, but not all of them. This is, I can't make a mega bundle again. Half a meter of your scissors on white. Half a meter of your threads on gray. Half a meter of your fancy buttons. Half a meter of your blue tape meshes. Half a meter of your fancy buttons on bluey gray. Half a metre of your notions on white. Half a metre of your orange and pinks on grey. Half a metre of your yellow tape measures. Half a metre of your blue sewing machines. Right? And then a panel of... Oh, yes, I remember this now. This is Hannah and Kat at home doing sewing. So what? So there's Hannah at the, no, that's Kat at the sewing machine. Hannah drinking wine. Oh yeah, we weren't talking about old Kat, weren't we? Could you dye your hair blonde, please, so you can fit in with this. Sewing machine, there's Hannah with her feet up. Bottle of alcohol. Cake. And then here, then I think they're a bit disgruntled here, look. Look at my lovely, well, that's Hannah. Then this one here, would you do the hem on my new dress piece? It's a little bit long. Yeah, you're doing everything the cat tells you, but you are drinking a lot on all of these. There's Cat doing her own sewing on her pantaloons. Here's Hannah on her bodycon dress. There's Hannah doing another hem. Oh no, which way round's that though? You got a wig on on that one. And I love quilting. <coughs> anyway, you get all of that five nine meters of fabric plus the panel, five pounds off. Seventy nine eighty eight. I know, fantastico. Tilda Cotton Beach design roll. That's this one. 
<coughs> excuse me. Lovely fabrics. This is one of the beautiful, beautiful range of fabrics. Oh, sixty-four ninety-nine. I don't know why she's doing this because it's not her last day yet. Could be at this rate. Forty-eight pounds and seventy-four pence. How much was it? Sixty-four. Sixty-four ninety-nine. Incredible. Two and a half inch strips, width of fabric, forty-four inches wide. <coughs> Forty-eight seventy-four. That's an incredible saving. Sixteen pounds twenty five off. Cotton Beach, hundred percent cotton, tilde fabric, beautiful colours, look. Only eight left now. Oh, I'm not surprised we've taken that much money off. Sixteen pounds off. Beautiful. Turmeric, turmeric, who said that? Uh, dear John, you need to try turmeric. It's made my hay fever bearable, antioxidant. Also help my arthritis. You have nothing to lose from can. That was that Carol with the scary rain earlier. She was from County for Manor, wasn't she? Turmeric, I could drink, I'll get turmeric pills, can I? I don't want to be swallowing. Oh, we put turmeric in water at the Uber driver this morning. Now, I need to ask a question. Because the petrol prices have gone up, have your Uber's shot up in price, yeah? I can't believe how I have to fill my car with petrol. It used to be like 24, 25 pounds, like 60 pounds now to fill my car. I tell you, I went past the petrol station again last night. It's gone up again. It was like 185, like 185 last night. Anyway, won't win, John. Forty-eight seventy-four, incredible price drop. So over sixteen pounds saving on that one. Lovely colours, beautiful teals and mustards and golds and reds and purples and magentas and soft greens, cornflower blues. Four left. Four left, four left. Well done if you got that. I'm going to put that on the other side deck so I might come back to that because that's going to sell out. So, Barley pop, barley pop, ooh, barley, barley pop. So this is called Sand Castle. This is how yours will arrive. 40 different fabrics. Not even any repeats in here. The what, and. Look at that. Afternoon, John and team. Looking forward to joining your book on Sunday morning. Thank you, Elizabeth. Half past seven. We'll be on pre-order half past seven. I'll be live with it at eight. Gorgeous. Right, have a look at these now from upstairs. 40 different fabrics, look. Ready? Everyone's unique anyway, aren't they? Hang on, can I open that? There we go. These are beautiful, look, aren't they? Rich. I don't want to say autumnal, I want to sort of say beachy. Oh, and leafy. And spotty. Flowery. Mosaic-y. Seaweedy. Sunflowery. Multi spotty. Look at them like big flowers, small flowery. Little squares, television screens. Florally. Barky. 
Diley, Greeny. We see when it says different fabrics, I mean the same patterns, different colours. So. <coughs> oh, I like that one. Leaf vein. Aren't they lovely? What's it called? This one, Sandcastle. Two and a half inch wide strips, 44 inches long. Laser cut, so they're absolutely precise. Easy to sew together if you're doing a, a jelly roll quilt or a, a design roll quilt. Aren't they lovely? 39.99 for 40 two and a half inch strips. Beautiful. Tula Design Roll 44.99. These are all two. <coughs> we had a quilt on the wall yesterday made to this fabric. It's beautiful. When I was on Hobby Maker the other day, I had this in a 10 inch charm pack. 34.99. Beautiful. You loved your uh, Elna 570A on um, Hobby Maker of the Day. Sorry, Denise, but there's nothing I can do about it. I've got my sa sanitizer here. I'm going home now, so you don't have to watch me anymore. It's a lovely thing to write, isn't it, for all to read? 34.99. $34.99. Keep going through. We can indeed. The tilde. This got over £16 knocked off. Today. Now remember the price goes back up at midnight. Should be $64.99. Four left. Forty-eight, seventy-four, six over sixteen pounds taken off your price tag. If there are any left, goes back up at midnight. Keep going through. Oh, too many of you got that in your basket now. Too many of you got that in your basket. Right, I've got one more thing to show you. Perfect patchwork, Pamela Jane Morgan, 16 applique embroidery and quilt projects for the modern cat people. Uh, what? 13.99, how much was it meant to be? 16.99. Supposed to be 16.99. Lots of, pro oh look, there's all your templates at the back there. And, oh, that's cute, isn't it, there? Laser cat quilt. Don't know why it's a laser cat, too. Ziggy kitty quilt. <laughs> cat on a bike. Well, it's in the basket, not right, isn't it? Whisker away quilt. Feline floral. Blooming Curiosity. That's a nice one, isn't it? There's your templates again. Dresden plate there. Oh, look, that's nice. So, self porch portrait. Pillow softy. Beautiful. Catnap pillows. The cat and that my two just slept on the bed all last night. They didn't come down, not last night, when I got home from work yesterday. Didn't move, didn't come downstairs or anything. Just came down for their tea. Just kitten around, pillow. Get your paws off the table, runner. Or should I say, get your paws off the table, runner. Stabby tabby pin cushions. Oh, I say. 
Oh, thank you, Wendy. Thanks, John, for a lovely morning. I don't mind you sniffing. Just love your and the team's company. I'm isolated with COVID, so you kept me smiling. Oh, Wendy, thank you. We've all had the sniffles today, haven't we? It's just, it's this, um, what's it called? <coughs> it's called, um, not storm. Um, basically, all the pollen in the world all being whizzed up, isn't it, by the, um, by the storm Alex. That's what it is, apparently. Anyway, thank you, Andrew. Oh, that's it, hurricane fever, that's what it is, yeah. Tuxedo cat wristlet. We're gonna have to stop now because I've got two I've got I've got two menus to read out. Right, so I'll have our menu first for tomorrow. It's me, it's all the same team tomorrow. All the same team tomorrow. We're the same sniffles, I'm afraid. Uh Denise, I'll give you a warning. We're all on tomorrow. So at eight o'clock we've got stash builders, which is Oh, lots of lovely things. Wadding, fabrics, all sorts of things like that you might need. Oh, look, Rebecca Harrison's in tomorrow. So over it. <coughs> oh, she's doing a skirt and a blouse in the first hour. 10 o'clock, we've got tools you will love. <laughs> then, <laughs> that's made me, <laughs> that made me laugh, that. So over it, Betty and Marguerite dressed with Rebecca Harrison. Oh, and sewing machines and overlockers. That's really well scheduled, as in next week is sewing machine week. So it's good that we're finishing the week with a sewing machine and overlock around. Right, let's have a look at Hobby Maker who are on next after me. Right, so, uh, brand new Gemini Fancy Centimetre Sentiment Stamp Collection. Two o'clock quilting... Qu Can I have it on the big screen, please, Bruce? I can't read. Oh, quilling, not quiltings, with Tilly Victor. Brand new Crafters Companion, companion Bell Country, I'm tired, aren't I? Bell Countryside Collection. 4 p.m. Let's Craft, Craft Room Essentials, that's their tool hour. And then 5 p.m. Crafters Companion, Timeless Borders Dies. Anyway, thank you ever so much for coming today. I do apologise for all my sniffing, but what can I do? Nothing I can do about it. You're not going to get any of these things anyway. These are the studio samples, so it doesn't matter. You're not going to catch, we won't catch anything from me anyway, because it's hay fever, isn't it? And we just can't help things like that, can we? Anyway, I'm going to go before I get into a right old rant. Uh, thank you, everybody. Make sure you check out your baskets. Remember, anything we crash, the price goes back up at midnight tonight. And I'll see you with Rebecca and Hannah and Bruce and Kat tomorrow. If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com 
or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again.